Well. 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 Mm hmm. Well. Well, well, well. Well. Yeah, that's enough of that. Anyway. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're all having a good day. Bah, I live. You cannot kill me forever. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. Came to reality. Yeah, you got like five seconds. And then I realized I don't like imitating dog noises. <laughs> Happy April Fools, everybody. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I could not commit to the bit. I refuse to commit to the bit. <laughs> but good morning. How is everybody doing? I need more dog. Cool bird. Oh, you were going to do that for three hours? Okay, you see, that would be really funny. And imagine how pissed off the people would be who came to watch Night in the Woods. <laughs> It'd be really funny if I just played the game the whole way through, just making dog noises and, yeah, not giving a fuck. But... <laughs> Everybody who showed up to see the finale of Night in the Woods would be absolutely fucking livid. <laughs> Happy April Fools. Yeah, it's been a weird day. There's a lot of weird stuff going on on Twitter and a lot of weird stuff going on on YouTube for some people. Finishing the game with dog noises. Oh, God, imagine. <laughs> you can train dog to stream. Maybe someday. Um, Welcome back. Today we're here to continue Night in the Woods and hopefully finish Night in the Woods. Considering we thought we were going to finish it last time. Disrespect to the cat in the game? Or is it respect to the dog in the game? In fact, there's lots of dogs in the game. There's only a family of... Well, no, there's a couple of cats. Crap. <laughs> Train cats too. Cats are not trainable. I don't know if you've ever seen them, but... Mm -mm. Best I was able to do with them is teach one of them to be a dog and give me the paw, which is weird enough as it is. They both meow on command, which is pretty impressive. Um, but yeah, the one of them still gives me her little tiny paw every time she wants pettings. But they are. Well, then I'm just not a good enough trainer. Or they are just too much brat for me to handle. I don't know. With full respect, bats are bastards. Did you mean bats or did you mean cats? Because bats don't really do much at all. <laughs> is it cat with a K? It is cat with a K. Cat with a K is like, yeah... Despite being the one who doesn't often get as cute or do as much, like, silly stuff, Cat with a K is the one that does actually give me the paw and thinks she's a dog. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to the stream, everybody. Today, we're going to be finishing up Night in the Woods. It should be a fun time. Um, I think we're close to the end. I think we, somebody said we only have, like, four to five days left. It's just that nowadays, the days take forever. As there is so much to explore and so much to do. And I was stupid enough to save my game, like, up here on top of the wires. So I don't know what I've actually done so far in this day. I'm going to assume I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> so, you know, I'm just going to go explore and hopefully we'll find some new things as we go. What up, everybody? I hope you're ready for the stream. Have a wonderful day. Let's dive in tonight in the woods. Hey, May. You all right? Yeah, I guess. Why? You look like you went through the dryer on the wrong setting. <laughs> yeah. Long week is all. I remember we're... Okay. Let us try to remember this. <laughs> I remember for a fact we started off with... Um, not started off. We definitely did like the dog quest where we had to go to the haunted house. I, I don't think... Oh, that's it. Tonight we're going to do the beer quest. Okay, so yeah, we're doing the beer quest today. I love Selma's. Selma's is awesome. She's so funny. I like her poems. <laughs> and yeah, this is Cat's anniversary. It was last year that I revealed the cats. You want to hear a poem? Cheer you up? Hells to the yes. Life goes on. It feels so long. But I report life is too short. <laughs> Here's another happy one. That one didn't sound happy at all. That... <laughs> Life goes on, it's too long, but I report it's too short. Whatever. Who hurt you, Selmus? Here's another happy one. Life is great, but life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. 
<laughs> Honestly, that makes any hard day at least a bit better, so I'm down for it. <laughs> Last time we did Greg's story, it was funny and scary. Crimes? Crimes. <laughs> Yeah, that's how we finished it last time. We saw the ghost in the creepy haunted old house. Thank you, Salmus. They cheer you up? They did. Yay. Chazikov's up there again. He ever, like, drop that telescope? Oh, no. He'd cry his eyes out. He loves that thing more than his kid. He has a kid? Yeah, name's Colin. Visits every once in a while. He's hot as hell. You talk to him? Nah, he works at some university research place. He's not interested in... This. Selma's. Eh. Damn, that's fucked up, man. Oof. So he's not close to his kid. Well, no. He just said he loved the telescope more than a kid. I guess that doesn't mean you're not close to the kid. But damn, the kid sounds like a bit of a douche. <laughs> Selma sounded genuinely hurt by that. It's like, eh. But at the same time, the whole idea of just like, I don't want anything to do with this town is just kind of fucked up, man. They do karaoke at Miller's, but only like twice a week. Should be every night. Oh, yeah. Karaoke's good all the time. Always cheers people up. What up, burb? Bad weather coming soon. I feel it in my bones. I feel like we heard him say that before. Is he just stuck on one sentence now? <laughs> Maybe he's been replaced by a robot. I knew it. This is secretly just not Shaun of the Dead. What's the other one? The Cornetto trilogy. Frick. Hot Fuzz. <laughs> it's just Hot Fuzz. I knew it all along. I want to see how hot he is. I mean, I doubt he'll be too hot considering they're all animal people. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe they'll just draw the animal real good. <laughs> You're going to make me burn my eyes on the telescope again because I swear to God. Murray, Mr. Chazikov, you look a bit worse for wear today, way. Oh, I'm fine. Made it up here, didn't I? Watch yourself, lest you fall. Will do. Here to see some stars? You know it. I'm have a look. I'm gonna find out all about the sky. There we go. We burned our eyes again. <laughs> at least she didn't complain this time. She's just used to the blinding light at this point. Oop. Up, 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 up. There we go. Have you all interacted with them at the end of the last stream? Maybe. I don't see why I would have, though. I definitely didn't interact with Selmas. It just... Maybe I just imagined that I'd heard that before anyway. Who knows? <laughs> I think I got one. Let's see. Ooh. Cole, the mountaineer. Cole. I knew a guy named Cole once. That's close. It is. So what's up with this guy? Cole was from a flatland. The Midwest? <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Whatever the Midwest or wherever he was. Baby, he from what? what? Whatever the Midwest of wherever he was from was. <laughs> okay. That's, yeah, everywhere does technically have a Midwest, I guess. That's a very confusing sentence to read. Every place has a Midwest. This is true. He dreamed of mountains. And devoted his life to climbing them. Because his hometown was flat. <gasps> Yo, that's actually a weirdly sublime character-driven plot. <laughs> Isn't this a common instinct? To seek that which is unlike where one grows up? Yeah, I think so. You want to try different things in life. I mean, people go to the city a lot. Like, they move there because it's got stuff. And there's more people like them, maybe. Sucks, though. Not everyone can just up and leave. Yeah, and people from the city move over to, like, the suburbs and, like, the countryside just to get away from goddamn noise everywhere and people. When I left my country, I felt the same thing. But I've not regretted it. You like Possum Springs? It's beautiful in ways perhaps invisible. Those who have seen it every day of their lives. So what happened to Cole? He returned home and complained that the sky felt heavy. He'd been up into the clouds. And now they rushed it hard upon him. It's a really specific complaint. <laughs> yeah. He missed the sky, man. When one leaves a place, one brings something back when one returns. One. One. <laughs> I love how May will just repeat, like, words just to be like, uh-huh, I'm listening to you. 
It feels like she doesn't always understand what other people are saying, but she wants to, like, let them know. Okay, I'm hearing you. I'm listening. I'm paying attention. <laughs> God, yes. Sometimes people want quiet even after the city. Yeah. God, there's just too many people. There's too much energy. You can't even leave your house at like 3 a.m. without seeing people on your damn street. It's bullshit. I read you exactly. Crime? Crime. <laughs> it's actually a good tactic, honestly. <laughs> gotcha. Ooh, which one is this? It's a funny little alligator. Adina Astra. Astra just means star. That's cheating. You know this one? Yes, I know this one. It's a common story. How Adina journeyed to the frozen lake. How she traversed unknown faraway lands. I was very into Adina stories when I was a kid. So you must know what became of her. Yeah. How she... In her quest, turned her back on the sky and journeyed down into the earth, where her stars were no longer over her head, and how she was never seen again. Yeah. Whatever. Is that not a sad ending? Yeah, I mean, she probably died. Disappearing isn't the same as dying. That's honestly true. When people disappear, you can't see them anymore. And to be fair, there is a chance that they did die and you'll never know about it, but you can also hope... Maybe they went a little bit sideways to the sun. Maybe they got, like, you know, taken off by fairies. Maybe they found the two of the Danan. Maybe they went to live off in their own little fantasy world. Maybe they just gave up on humanity in the world we live on. It's the countryside so much, even though I've been living in the city for my whole life. Wait, for your whole life, to, did you never live in the countryside? <laughs> you just mean you'd rather be there? No closing with them missing? Yeah, that can be painful. But at least you can imagine. I guess that's the thing. A lot of people, when their loved ones go missing, just want closure and just want to know what happened to their loved ones. But I mean, at least if there is no closure, there is no definitive, yeah, they like passed away or anything. I don't know what would be better, honestly. I've never had somebody in my life just go completely missing. I don't know how like much that would weigh on you or if you'd be able to take the optimistic look on it and just think, ah, they just don't want to be found. They just went somewhere else. They just don't want anything to do with their old life anymore. Sometimes they just want an answer, but there isn't one exactly. No, disappearing isn't the same as dying. I'm going to go with the optimistic look, especially since this is literally a star who came out of the sky to go underground. <laughs> she probably went somewhere else completely. Did all kinds of cool shit. Oh my. Yeah, so whatever. Oof. That's all for the day. <laughs> we made him go off. The man really said, I, I, I don't like the way you think. <laughs> that was nice. It's always nice seeing the stars. Pretty sweet. The stars, I mean. I am in agreement. Ooh, right. Call it Adina. God, we missed so many single pages. We were doing so well for so long. Like, we'd started to fill in the book more. What have I been missing? Anyway. Down we go. Bro went jeez. <laughs> yeah. Bro said, ah, oh, your unbridled optimism and lack of honest care about people. <laughs> it's the face. Fine. He's fine. I, I felt it was more optimistic than just like nonchalant, not giving a fuck. God, I really just... Someday that has to change into something else. Other roots? Oh, shit. Yeah, it could be other roots. I guess that makes more sense. Can I steal? I can't steal these anymore. No, my rat babies grew up and left me. I don't get to feed them anymore. Uh, at least that's one less thing to slow us down every day. I'm gonna talk to this kid. So, like, are you always together? Yeah, I guess. That's cool. Friends are cool. <laughs> God, mate. Why do you keep trying to hang out with the pre -to Not even pre-teens, probably young teens. Safer. Safer? Yeah, like the buddy system. Safety in numbers. You're a little paranoid, you know that? Kid, you don't even know. Anyone hear anything about anyone around him missing? Uh, yeah, actually. There's some girl I know online. She hasn't been on since Harfest. Okay, well, I think we might need a bit more than that. 
Okay. Is she from here? I could ask my aunt. Some place called Mulve. <gasps> Mulve? You know someone from Mulve? Yeah? Do you know where Mulve is? Do you know what Mulve is? No? I heard about Mulve. My dad drives a bread truck. What? <laughs> I've never heard somebody specify a bread truck before. That's kind of awesome. Mulve used to be one... No, wait. Why did I start to the... Mulve used to be one of his stops. What happened? He doesn't stop there no more. They had to pay some other guy to do it. Sounds about right. That's Mulve. I'll take you out there this weekend. Don't! It'll be fine. We'll just drive through. This kid's 16? I genuinely thought he was like 14 or 15. <laughs> Maybe he supplies cake too. I, I'd imagine he just delivers the bread. I just, I've never heard somebody specify bread truck. You hear like fire truck. You maybe hear like milk truck. Like, I don't can't really think of it. They just say milkman, like the milkman delivery back in the day. I've never heard bread truck, but it's just interesting. <laughs> Was the graffiti on the wall before? Ah, oh, yeah, that's been there for a while. <laughs> I need to get back in the sun now. Goodbye, small children. Enjoy the fact that one of your friend was kidnapped. Why did I just drop that? I asked about where the girl lived. And then when I found out it was Mulvey, I was just like, Mulvey. I was more excited about that than anything and just completely gave up the line of questioning. <laughs> May's so funny. <laughs> the teens probably think May is the local crazy. I mean, they literally all know that she put somebody in hospital for pretty much never any reason. Of course, you never heard of a bread truck. You never visited. I don't need bread. I got cake. Let mama deliver the cake. Why would I need a bread delivery truck? They don't have bread? Then let them eat cake. So I says to her, Mabel, get off the dang table. <laughs> and she goes, why don't you just climb up here with me? No way. It's true, we both danced on that table. Really broke the damn thing. Somehow I can't see it. Well, you had to be there. I really didn't. <laughs> he does not give a fuck. Oh yeah, I can't get up from there. That's okay. We have to go. Why can I go into this apartment? I just realized this happened one day as well and I forgot. Oh, right. It's because I can visit Angus and go on his adventure. <gasps> a shortcut upstairs. Have I ever been up this high? Oh, what the hell is a malt? You know, I've never known either. <laughs> I've always wondered that myself, mate. I know what a malted drink is, but I never know what the malting process actually is. Because there's like malted milkshakes and there's like malted sodas. So I've never been sure. Shortcut? Yeah, we've never been up here before. This is awesome. Whoa, what are you doing up here? Uh, um... What are you doing up here? I live here. On the roof? <sighs> no, in town. <laughs> Noted. You're gonna fall and kill yourself, says the other person on the roof. <laughs> Noted. I'm like trying to see the town from above. Oh, okay. I'm gonna draw a map of the town center. Is this the first sheep-like character we've seen? I don't even know if he's a sheep or a cow. His ears aren't very cow-like. Maybe a goat. Either way. He's a cat. It's okay. True. She always lands on her feet. Sounds like a you problem if you fall. True. Is it mold a type of syrup? It's a type of grain, isn't it? It's a ferminating process. <laughs> Nobody else knows. I'm so glad I'm not the only uninformed one. Go alpaca. Could be an alpaca. Oh, alpaca likes you perfect. Yeah, no horns, pointy ears. That's almost definitely an alpaca or llama. Malt is a roasted grain, I think. Fermenting process for grain. Okay, some people know. <laughs> it's Monday. It is Monday. What's the point in actually, uh, you know, trying to figure out malting processes? Just enjoy the tastes. Don't they have maps? Like they make them with satellites from space. I like making them. They're delightful. I like maps. Everything's so tiny. Right? There's a big honking map of town in the historical society. Oh? 
I've never been. Yeah, watch out for the ghost and the weird painting. It's like, don't go at night. Don't go in the attic either. <laughs> I, I love the long pauses it sometimes has between dialogue lines where I'm just like, oh, can I move now? And then I try to move and I'm like, nope. They're just staring at May, flabbergasted by the shit that just came out of her mouth. <laughs> Hopefully we won't figure out the molding processes either. Nah, this isn't a puzzle game. We'll be fine. <laughs> Noted. Okay, well, be careful. I'm up here because I'm a professional. I have the shoes for it. Okay, thanks. <laughs> she just keeps talking. This poor guy. I see you on the news with a broken spine. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Probably won't be saying anything. All right. Good point. Have fun. <laughs> I love me. May is me 1000%. May is awesome. <laughs> May is just like, I don't give a fuck what anybody else is. That's, the worst thing is, if she was trying to just chill and hang out on the roof and somebody was constantly talking to her, she'd be pissed. What the fuck? Hella birds. Is this a different building? Holy shit, that's a lot of birds. Yeah, it is. Um, uh, hello? Hello. I'm May. Sadie. What are you doing up here? What are you doing up here? Um. I mean, do I need a reason? Does she need a reason? <laughs> nope. Did you know? This is the only stage in town. Oh. Why don't I practice here then? You know what? This is a better place. You on stage a lot? That's not true. That's not true. We have a stage downstairs in an abandoned building somewhere. We just did a play at the hardware store. We, we were on top of tables. Okay. <laughs> Somebody actually found the answer? Okay. Hope you're having fun with the game. I am. <laughs> I love how our feelings towards may have changed. Don't get me wrong. Well, she's been growing a lot. When she first got back to town, she was like constantly trying to one up everybody. It felt like it was like she was trying to explain to them. I'm more worldly than you guys. Look, listen to all the knowledge I know about psychology and um, uh, uh, political systems and monetary systems and shit. And now she's just calmed down a bit more. She's more relaxing. She's hanging out with her friends properly. She still has moments, but <laughs> I don't know. It just felt like she was looking down on everybody before. Where it was constantly like, May, you are a child too. So yeah, I, I, I respect her more now. She is, she's just a baby. We just did a play at the hardware store. We used the counter as a stage. Okay, this is the only stage in town. That's only a stage. Huh? <laughs> okay, I, th th that's another stage in town, though. Looks like no one's played here in a long time. Yeah, been a few decades. Are you going to, like, put on something here? Oh, I don't think anyone's going to be putting anything on here. At least not anytime soon. No electricity, probably structurally unsound. Infested with rats and pigeons. Oh, that's an audience right there. That's all you really need. <laughs> Do we know what major she took? We don't. We still don't know what happened to her at college. They need to explore that. Like, I know they're completely used to the general idea of leaving things open for interpretation. But man, something happened in college. Something happened during her, like, psychiatry sessions as well. I need to know these two things. Other than the electricity, that's like most of the town. <laughs> that it is. That it is. Funny. What? I just met this guy over by the church steps. He was also hanging by himself and playing music. I don't think I did yet, game. I haven't been to the church yet today. <laughs> Wait, are these gonna... Did the four musicians from my dream come into reality? Oh. Small world. <laughs> wow. Small town, at least. Definitely. See ya. Get out of here, birds. No audience for this poor saxophonist. Oh, some of them are braver than others. Get out of here! No! Ah, oh, fuck, they're coming back. I'm out. I'm outnumbered. Huh, pentagram. Upside down pentagram, which is even more exciting. 
Or I think you did go to the church last time before you ended. I'm gonna go ch <laughs> Oh no, somebody actually changed their name. I just noticed Odyssey was. <laughs> God dang it. We. I saw a lot of people doing like the blub blub thing before the stream started and I was like, uh oh, this is gonna, hey. Oh, I've never been on top of here. This is gonna be like a whole thing. But yeah, I didn't see that somebody changed their name as well. <laughs> well played out of flower. <laughs> Quite many people did. Yeah, but most people kept like their main names. They just have things extended in like brackets, which is cheating. Um, come in there right at the end. She's going to be the route we go down. Oh, yeah, that guy moved. He changed jobs. Kitty cat. Okay, let's go to the church and find out. Maybe I did. I just don't see why I would have. <laughs> And there's still nobody by the church steps. Did I? Maybe I just forgot an interaction. Maybe it happened a couple different days ago. Huh. Interesting. I mean, you like Nyan Olga profile pictures or seahorse names? No. No, I prefer you guys being normal confidence. <laughs> It's been a lot of fun seeing everybody do art for like their seahorse version. So it's been a lot of silliness going on. What do you mean cheating? I didn't hear any cheating. <laughs> if we change too much, will you still know us? Truly, probably not. But I'd still care about you, even if you guys turned into a worm. Because then you could make good fishing laws. Hey, can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you tell Pastor Cage something for me? Sure. But don't tell her this till tomorrow. Can you do that? Sure. <laughs> Fucking May, I love it. Tell her I said thank you, and I'm sorry I caused her trouble, but I'm not worth throwing away her job. She's a pastor after all. Folks need her. Pastors don't have the same thing as like priests and nuns where they can't get married, right? Why would she be losing her job? Is it just because the town council's fucking with her? Huh. Why am I telling her this? Are you leaving? That's what it sounds like. He sounds like he's disappearing and saying, forget about me. You're a good woman. Yep. Got to hop a train tonight. Headed east. Where will you go? I'm going home. Oh, really? Never going to touch a bottle again. Oh, shit. Let's fucking go, Bruce. That's such a big moment. So he's not only going home. Like, maybe he'll run into, like, try to connect with his estranged daughter as well. You can get married depending on the denomination. Ah, okay. Ship of confidence. Huh? What kind of ship? <laughs> At first I was thinking a boating ship, but then I was like, wait, are you guys going to start shipping each other? Like you ship VTubers? Because I, I don't think that's a safe thing to do. <laughs> Never going to touch a bottle again. Never going to lift a hand to my, no man again. Sit on my daughter's front porch. Watch my grandbabies play in the yard. They'll all be there. When I get off that train, my kids are gonna be there. They'll have a sign made. Nothing fancy. Poster board and markers. Welcome home, Dad. And I'll be home. I don't. I. Ah. That's <laughs> no. Ship of Theseus reference? Oh. I see if it was that kind of ship of. Hmm. In which case. I just missed the reference completely. But yeah, if you change too much, you do become a completely different person. DC has taught us this. I I don't like that. He's talking himself way in the kind of direction of like, oh God. Like he's just lying to himself and possibly lying to Kate. Like he's telling May this, hoping that May will tell Kate this tomorrow. Maybe he's just gonna disappear and just doesn't want people to worry. Like, he said he was estranged with his daughter, too. So this whole, like, fantasy of them letting him just come back and hang out with the grandkids and, like, even putting up a sign for him and stuff. I hope he's not doing anything dangerous. That sounds great, Bruce. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for talking to me. It was nice to get to know you. You too, Bruce. Gonna miss you. We'll all meet again. Oh, no, he totally is. Fuck, Bruce. I hope so. Hope's important. The last thing you got. 
Oh, which really also sounds like he's hit rock bottom in it. Oh, no, Bruce. You take care of yourself. You too, May. I'll be fine, you know. I'm an old hand at this. Maybe older than I should have ever got to. But I'll be fine. Bruce. Oh, no. I was so happy for him when he talked about... Well, I guess he is never going to touch a bottle again or throw a hand again. See you around, Bruce. Goodbye, May. The whole, like, we'll meet again event. Oh, no. Yeah. He's not planning on seeing anyone ever again. Oh, God. Am I going to find him? No. Is that why the music always fades off here? Oh, no, 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 no. He went... I'm going to go tell the pastor. I don't care what he said. I'm telling Kate what just happened. May doesn't understand what was just suggested, but Kate probably will. Fuck this shit. I am not listening to what he asked. That's dark. Yeah. And there's always the chance that I'm just completely misreading that. But yeah, no, it sounds to me like someone who's just like, oh, no, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Like staring like gallows humor kind of thing. Not even gallows humor, but more like. A gallows discussion, I guess. Hey, hon. You're still having headaches? Yeah, but being out and about helps. Fresh air. Thanks for visiting me here, hon. Mine's my day. It was weird being here today. Like, there's so much empty space. Yeah, it's Easter Monday. Why would anybody possibly be at church? <laughs> oh, it's Sunday. Even better. Oh, come on, Sunday. Damn it. Come on, Sunday. It's full then. I bet it is. Sorry you have to work because we have money problems. Hey, I've always had a job. This is just another one. Aw. I love her mom. Her mom is such a real character. Like, she just gets on with things. The fact that she did have those couple of moments where she snapped at May and was just like, Hey, grow the fuck up. We have money problems because we sent you to college and then you dropped out and won't even tell me why. I understand that. May's mom's a great character. I'm gonna get back to work, sweetie. See you, mommers. See you, daughters. Daughters is such a cute term. Holy shit. Come on, let me in. Let me... I'm never gonna get into the golden room. That's a parent thing to say. That is a very parent thing to say. To be fair, it's also a parent thing to, like, try to hide everything that's going wrong in your reality and, like, keep your kids safe and just be like, no, everything's fine. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'll deal with this in a second. Maybe they are just angry at Pastor Kate for something. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's also a very much like a parent thing to do to just constantly tell your children, oh no, everything's fine. Don't worry about it. I just really want to work 12 hours a day. So I'm picking up extra shifts every day. <laughs> and then eventually when kids get to a certain age, they start to catch on and they're like, wait a minute. Have we been having trouble the whole time I've been growing up? And I've not been helping at all. God, parents can be awesome. Sometimes. Sometimes parents can be shits, but sometimes they're awesome. Because there will be children here. And this is a historic church. Oh, was she trying to move Bruce into the church? Tough empty. That's your job to fix, not ours. Population drain in this region. You have to know this place will never be full again. We have the space and we have people who need space. We have resources and we have poverty. We're not in some far off place or some big city. Right here, right across the street. Katie, it's our number one job right now to bring business into town. Businesses mean jobs and jobs means people. We have to do what we can to get the attention of the market. Having a half dead church sacked full of bums. Wow. Yeah, Kate was just like, you know what? I'm not going to argue with these people. These people are shits. They know nothing of my work. Jesus would have fucking loved that idea. Bring the homeless into the churches. Oh my fucking God. Anyone who's a proper Christian who's read the Bible properly would be like, huh, you know what? We do have a lot of homeless people. Maybe we should open up the churches to let people in to sleep at night. Thanks for your time. I'll see you for the vote tomorrow night. Thank you, Kate. You have a good heart, Kate. Thank you all for coming. Man, did you just say bribal? 
I slurred my words. <laughs> Look, man. Uh, it's early is my excuse now. If it's before midday, then I can complain that it's too early. If it's after 3 p.m., I can complain that we've been streaming for too long. <laughs> Anything in between is the only time where I have to just admit like, yeah, I fucked up. <laughs> <sighs> Stressful day. Some days you need grace more than others. What was this all about, Bruce? It was. Yes. Whatever. It's out of our hands now. There are better hands than mine. Especially since you has wings. Anyway, how are you, May? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's yo that's such a serious i have definitely used that response so many times how are you Fuchan? Uh, <laughs> sounds serious i guess so like things have been rough lately i can see that what seems to be the trouble i think i met god I don't think Kate's gonna like us much after this. <laughs> what? It was a dream? I don't think it was a dream. Uh, it, it was definitely, well, I mean, it did talk to us for the first time. Still feels like a dream. Fuck it, let's go with this one. This one's more fun. Oh, wow. That happens, right? Or it like, happened. Sure. Can you tell me about it? So in this desert, it was like the shore. Oh, I much prefer the idea of it being the shore on like a beach. With this giant black ocean, I could see like forever into the sky. And below it was just sand. As far as I could see, I was wandering through it, but I was like drawn to something. And I came up over this, what do you call a hill made of sand? A dune. Hey, hey thank you, Kate. Like, come on, you ain't read the book? Watch the movie? Multiple movies? Yeah, dune. And there was God, just sitting there, up on another hill. Or Dune, whatever. Just hanging out? Yeah. Now tell Kate that God is a cat, because I want to see a bird's reaction to that. <laughs> Seemed like they were really into just hanging out. Did they say anything? Yeah. They, like, didn't care. <laughs> they were kind of a jerk. They weren't. Uh, they didn't care, but it was more that it's just that they were like, hey, things are going to happen. They weren't a jerk. They were just saying, this is your own problem, mate. Eh? Deal with it. They didn't care if you were there? No, I mean, they didn't care in general. They went on and on about how annoyed they were. That people kept coming to them with questions. And annoyed that anyone thought they were God to begin with. Well, I don't think that was God then. Yeah, teach her about agape. Why? If something tells you it isn't God, you should probably believe it. <laughs> yeah, it's just a fourth dimensional being. Don't worry about it, man. No, what I mean is that the thing we call God isn't God. It's just a thing. And it doesn't care. Someone definitely read some Nietzsche while they were in college. Hmm. <laughs> they kept talking about how nothing matters. This giant hole. Let's go with the giant hole. In the center of everything, growing. Like alien? Yeah, but at least they knew that engineers weren't like gods. They happened to create humanity, but that's different. It sounds very lonely. You've been feeling lonely lately. <gasps> She's analyzing my dream. Yes, yes, I have. I had this problem when I was in high school. I did something really bad. You probably heard about it. Your mom has mentioned it. Yeah, I figured. Uh, since then, there's this deep down loneliness. Been there for years. Since... Oh, it's just been a long time. I've been there. I mean, I'm there all the time. I think that's where, if we open ourselves up, God can enter our lives most effectively. Um, I guess. <laughs> the bussy verse. The bussy of the universe. Guys... Guys. <laughs> I think the sad fact is that at some point that's going to be the type of language that NASA starts using just to actually connect with people. <laughs> They're going to be like, yo, what's up, my fellow teens? 
Ah, uh, today we're here to explain to you the existence of black holes, aka the bussy of the universe. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Imagine Gen Z NASA. I don't want to. God, they have to go through so much training, so many years and decades of education and physical fitness. And then they get up there and it's like, hey, we need you to connect with the children. <laughs> We're not getting enough funding because people don't care about space anymore. Do some TikToks. Do some tucky ticks. Today, NASA says, NASA? Today, NASA says Bossy is going to be a blast. That's the day I give up on this. <laughs> Ayo, hey, dark matter is straight fire. Yo, let me tell you about plasma. It's what makes up the stars and it's fucking fire, but not fire. It's a different state of matter. <laughs> Sometimes that's the best you've got. Yeah. I feel like that's maybe not a good enough answer for you. Is that a good enough answer for anyone? Faith is a process. You have to keep getting up and choosing to go on. Do you really think there's a god? Like, literally someone up there listening? Is that something you completely believe? Hmm. I don't know. That's a big thing to say for a pastor. I'm impressed. Oh. On my best days, I think I do. There are times where I don't. But... But you stand up there every Sunday and tell people you do. And even you're not sure? It's your job to believe. Well, I think it's more my job to serve others. But you're lying to people. How? You stand up there and tell people to believe in something you don't 100% believe in yourself. Maybe you're right, May. Maybe I should get up there every week and give some sort of tally of how much I believed that week. But who would that help? Absolutely no one. You're right. The whole point of a pastor is to keep establishing faith. And the fact, honestly, I would like pastors to just be like, well, we don't know anything for sure, but here's what I want to believe. Because that's the thing. We do all have bad days. We do all have times where we start to, like, be shaken by things. I like the fact that Kate's being so down to earth with that. But yeah, you don't bring that to the congregation because, you one, you're going to get taken out of the congregation. <laughs> and two, it's just going to make more people have their faith shaken when people go to church to have their faith affirmed and to be reminded that God is always watching them. Some people need that in their lives. You're a pastor. You can't tell me whether or not God is up there. Whether anyone is watching. Anyone who gives a shit. No, but... And what is the point of you? May, what? Mm. Oh, God. I know May's going through her own shit right now, but so is Kate. She's trying to help a homeless person. She's failing. The homeless person's gonna leave tomorrow morning and possibly do something very terrible to themselves. Jesus, May. I have to go. Okay. Oh, the fact that that's how the conversation ended. Even Kate was just like, okay. Kate didn't even care after that. She was just like shaking herself. God damn, dude. This is very true. Don't belong to faith. But to me, it's kind of my life insurance in the end. Yeah, for me, I don't believe in any established faith, but I'd like to believe there's maybe something after death. I just don't necessarily believe that either i'm fine with the idea of just like switching off after death and it being like going back to the, the way it was before i was born i could use the sleep <laughs> more importantly i won't fucking know what happens at that point why shit did i go all the way right i didn't <laughs> no way i did okay sorry but yeah for me i don't need it but i know there are lots of people who do need that who need to feel like the faith will help them go forward and that something above is looking out for them. Whether it is like a mainstream religion or something more... unique. And that's completely up to them. <laughs> Damn, man. <laughs> Just look forward to the peaceful nothingness. At least I hope it's peaceful. See, that's the thing. There's also the opposite end of that where it's like, if certain faiths are real, anybody who doesn't follow those certain faiths... We do not have a fun afterlife. So. <laughs> God damn it. Obscure. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not wording too good today. The brain ain't broiding. Again, I don't know why I do better speaking when I get like two to three hours of sleep than when I actually have like a full eight hours. Sup, dude? Hey. How you holding up? Surviving. I had the weirdest dream last night. Annie? I met God. 
saw some space bugs. We saw a space cat. Did we see a space bug? No, not space bugs. Like, not bugs. And not in space. Like, things beyond bugs. In some place beyond space. I fell asleep on the couch watching Judge Kathy. <laughs> I fucking love Greg. <laughs> May straight up here, like, yo, I saw a god. It was kind of mind fucky. There were also bugs and shit going on. Greg's just like, cool. I fell asleep watching trash TV. <laughs> oh, awesome. She's the best. Yo, the distraction is so good. She really is. She takes no crap. Boy, you ain't lying. So what's up? Just checking in. Yeah, just checking. Wait. No, I don't want to hang out with you. I did that the other night. You have checked in officially. I checked thee. So what's up? Oh, shit. My bad. I didn't realize. So I could just not even do Bea's route or Angus's route. I could just keep hanging out with Greg the entire time. That's kind of crazy. I can just give up on the investigation and just fuck around. <laughs> He's like, this is something equally important. That's what I love about him. Like, Kate took May seriously and tried to help her. Tried to help her work through her thoughts and feelings. And May ended up turning that around on Kate and making it a terrible day for Kate. Meanwhile, Greg's just like, ah, oh, cool. I watched Judge Kathy last night. And May's like, oh, Judge Kathy? Let's fucking go. <laughs> That connected with May way more than the pastor doing her best to help. A goat? Yeah, we've got so many. Finally, confidant cousin. Look at the tattoos, too. I don't like ear gauges. The tattoos are sick, though. Hey. Hey, Angel. This is my friend, May. Hey, May. What's up? Cool name. Gracias. Much obliged. Angel's just in town between trains. Going west next? Yeah, and south for the winter. Like a dirty birdie. Down to the gulf. Lay in the sun. Eat me some crawfish. Yo, he's got life figured out. God damn, let's go. Actually, Angel, you might be able to answer a question. Shoot, bruh. You heard anything about a ghost in town? It literally is in town between trains. What? Have you met anyone named Casey out on the rails? That's the more interesting question. And you only wonder if air gauges are painful. I don't think they are once they're done, but I mean, you stretch them out slowly, so it's probably just like a discomfort thing for a while. But I've known people with air gauges. I've had friends who had air gauges, and it always just... I don't have, like, full tryptophobia, but I definitely get the thing where, like, certain hole-related things... Like, I've talked about the that toad thing. I think it's a Samarian toad. Um, things like that, and, like, the lotus pod seeds, I think they are. Yeah, set me off a little bit where I'm just like, Ugh. the gauges have that kind of feeling for me as well, where it's like, there should not be a hole that big in an ear. But as long as people like it, it's all that matters. <laughs> Please stop. I'll stop after this. You guys brought up the fucking universal bussy and now you're angry at me talking about trypnophobia? How dare <laughs> you guys started it. That's on you. <laughs> Hmm, let me think. You know what he or she looked like? He, he looked kind of like me. A little taller, orangish hair. Nah, man, I don't recollect. But I seen like a thousand dudes out there. It's okay. I tell you what, I'll ask around and if I find him or someone who's seen him, I'll say that May from Possum Springs is looking for him. Thanks, that means a lot. I owe you. Nah, nah. It's a cold world, run by the worst people. And good men die for God knows what reason. We gotta take on, like, duties for one another, you know? Shit, I really like this guy. <laughs> he's really chill. And he's, like, really chill in, like, a world understanding kind of way. Not in, like... Mm. You know how... Ugh, some people... Do the whole like i know everything i'm above everything and they want to tell you how intelligent they are this guy just seems like very wise he's been through some shit he's got some city miles on him and some country miles on him he's just doing his best gauges equal air bussy should i end this stream right now because <laughs> i swear to god yeah thanks again What's traveling like? Let's 
scared, scared. Never could stay in one spot. I have like the exact opposite problem. Alright, partner, it's time for me to shove off. See ya. Wait. See ya, Angel. Wait, no, I didn't give him the... Oh, fuck. I was giving him like nerd voice. Um. I'm a he, he angel. There we go. Stay safe. Adios. Wait, with all the Spanish, maybe it's not angel. Maybe it's unhow. Fuck. <laughs> No, what? It's fine. Well, now oh, that's over. No fun? No fun. Something bad's coming. I know. It's a ghost, Jum. A real life ghost. There aren't ghosts. Ghosts aren't a thing. How do you know? My brother would have visited. Fuck, Jum. Yeah, I didn't, have, I didn't even realize May was also pausing there. That did stun me into full silence. Holy shit. Jeez. Well, dinner time. Yeah. <laughs> God, I respect Jum. He is so mysterious. <laughs> He's like what people with fedoras wish they were. <laughs> people with fedoras that do the whole like, Um, yes, uh, nobody understands my brilliance. I'll have you know. I am a true gentleman. Uh, if I was born into a different era, 100% people would respect the shit out of me and my... Classic style. Meanwhile, Germ is just like, he genuinely understands himself. He doesn't give a fuck. He hangs out with all the people by the railroad. He just does shit in his day to day. I like him. I like him a lot. You mean Scorpios? How dare. <laughs> okay, he's a Scorpio. Fedora wear is on Scorpio. Scorpio is on Fedora wear. <laughs> Scorpios are supposed to be like really cool, but really hard to understand. <laughs> like one of the few things I actually know about astronomy? Astro Wait, which one's the space one and which one's the stars one? Astronomy, astrology, whatever. Anyway. Hey, me. Hey, dude. Totally, what's up? Nothing. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, don't mind me. Good chat. Oh, fuck. I can't even do Angus's thing today. Wait, he doesn't want to drive me out into the mountain anymore? Uh-oh. Zali Raid! What is up, Ban Ban? How was your day? What is up, Vez Kits? I hope you're all having a lovely day. Thank you for being here. Um, uh, yeah. What, what was the stream like today for Ban Ban? <laughs> I, I saw a lot of people doing a lot of interesting things. Please do let me know. Touchdown. Touchdown. Wilson, I mean Zali. Oh, that's what they were doing. I was wondering. I saw a couple different posts on Twitter and I wasn't sure like what was linked to what. I know there are some people who are rule 63-ing themselves. I did hear, okay, yeah, identity crisis. Nice. <laughs> Touchdown, hi, dog Ovid. What's up? Um, Yeah, I did the dog thing for like the first 30 seconds of the stream and then I was like, no. Very normal, not weird at all. <laughs> crisis and crisis today. <laughs> That's what they should call this arc. Crisis and crisis. That's the perfect name for it. A little bit more Canadian than before. <laughs> that's a good way to put it, honestly. <laughs> God, that's such a cool idea for this day. Oh my God, but welcome. D Wait. Does that even... Oh. Does this even count as Vezkids then? Or is this Wilson is? Um. Either way, thank you for the raid. Bon bon. Willy? Someone. <laughs> and welcome to the stream, people. <laughs> Whichever you want to be. Um, we're playing Night in the Woods today. It's a nice little adventure game where we've just like, we're with this cat, this cat girl named May. She's 20 years old. She dropped out of school. Uh, she dropped out of college and came home to a sleepy, like little quiet town somewhere in Pennsylvania, I'd imagine. Somebody said Pennsylvania and it does feel a lot like Pennsylvania. Um, but yeah, there's creepy shit going on in the woods at night. People are being kidnapped and murdered, possibly. We found like a bloody severed arm and stuff. We're just trying to work that out while also going through a bit of a, you know, identity crisis of our own as we become more mature and realize that we're in the adult world now and have to deal with some shit. The identity crisis is working. Yeah, it worked on me. I was just like, ah. <laughs> Vez Crooners. Ah, okay. Vez Crooners. That works. What is up, Vescunis? <laughs> what is up, Identity Crisis fan? <laughs> but yeah, feel free to head out if you're not too interested in this. This is the third part, so we're already like 
in actual gameplay terms, we're probably only like six hours into... No, no, probably like eight hours into this game. But I'll probably be finishing up the game today, but it'll probably take like another four to five hours. Um, so yeah, that's what we're up to. <laughs> but thank you so much for the raid. I hope you guys are all having a good time. Thank you guys for swinging by. Can we see Dog Ovid? You know what? Sure. I'll bring him up down here. Uh, but wait, did I delete it? I deleted it! Okay, well, I can show you on this screen. There you go. That's Dog Ovid. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun being him on Twitter. Actually, just like trying to respond to people in certain ways that actually get their attention. Well, other times it doesn't work. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to continue the game now. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope you've all had a wonderful day. Happy April Fool's Day. Hey, Via. Hey. You all right? You seem down. <laughs> Ike, welcome to the stream. Woof. Wan wan. Wait. <laughs> oh, no. You know what the funniest thing is? I didn't even re realize at first about the emoji. I was just like, yeah, I'd use that emoji. That's fine. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, Ike, I hope you're having a good day too. Happy April Fool's Day. Had a lot of fun seeing your posts on Twitter because I'm just like, hey, that's just me every day. <laughs> you all right? You seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. You want to talk about it? Nah. Okay. <sighs> what are you up to today? Wandering around town? Whatever you want to do. There we go. This ship will sail, even if I have to fucking pedal it. Proximity. Oh, that sounds cute. Oh, shit, we're going to a party. That's never good for me. Well, if you want some cringe Kino. <laughs> May is... Oh, the chat is gone. Shit, thank you. I didn't even notice. I'm just like so chill when you guys aren't here. <laughs> Not even true. Why isn't it reloading? What the hell? Uh oh. Are you guys gone forever? It was just a joke, guys. Um. Maybe we'll hide it for like 30 seconds. Uh. Boom. There we go. Okay. <laughs> YouTube's having a weird day. Rude. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Dog ate the chat. Dog do be hungry sometimes, man. But yeah, May is not good at parties. May is not good in social situations. We're probably about to get incredibly drunk, make a fool of ourselves, and ruin any chance we had of actually becoming friends with B again. <laughs> so what kind of party is this? Um, a Jackie party? What's a Jackie party? You remember Jackie? Yeah, she hates me. Yeah, she's intense. Let's put it that way for now. She's serious about serious stuff. It's a lot of fun otherwise. Didn't Jackie have like a one woman band? Yeah. Trans world order, give them hell. Whoa. T W O G T H. Two goth. Yo, that's a fucking sick name. Yeah, it's actually really great. She's got a great scream. I'm sold. Even if she does hate me. That sounds good. And does YouTube not have a bad day? <laughs> Days that don't end with a Y. They seem to be pretty good. Tooth. Hey, Bia, say it. Say Tooth. 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 <laughs> Fucking love me. Maze. <laughs> she started off really annoying, but I do love genuinely when she just repeats things and just stares off into space. She just entertains herself. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, please get the conversation back on track. This is a party, and Jackie invited me. Look at you. We're going to secret parties and shit. They're not secret, May. Well, I wasn't invited. I mean, do you remember what happened at the last party? <laughs> Okay, I invite you. You're now invited. Woohoo! Okay, we got like a 90 minute drive ahead, so... Jeez, it's better be some party. Becky's parties are worth the trip. 
think I went here once. Oh shit, we went to an actual city. This is fucking awesome. The Girl Scouts. To see some sort of longest night play. Yeah, I was there. Oh yeah, we were kind of stuck together back then. Why'd you start talking to me? What even was that? Like, screw the play. Why'd you even start talking to me? That's more interesting. 90 minute drive. <laughs> some people being surprised by that. Meanwhile, th there's a reason that my sitting problem is such a problem with getting around. If you live in like a tiny town, <laughs> a 90 minute drive is just like the natural thing to an actual fucking city. <laughs> so yeah, you have to get, take like a three hour drive to get to like a proper big city. <laughs> 90 minute drive is nothing exactly <laughs> get a 30 minute drive just to get to the nearest fucking grocery store i was new in town you seemed cool that's it that's actually really nice she could have just chilled out and just been like i was new in town i didn't know any better <laughs> so that was actually nice it was smart and fun what am i now you know fun <laughs> the quotation marks it's like super shitty that you keep saying i'm not smart i mean we all have to figure it out someday may i'm not smart either admitting is the first step <laughs> 90 minutes is a lot to be honest unless you go to a different city it's quite a bit but i mean that's the thing they did go to a different city they were probably driving most of the time down like winding roads and like mountain roads as well where you have to go like at maximum 50 miles per hour because there's chances of like giant falling rocks and shit and you know roads just being landslided or broken down to the point where you have to avoid giant potholes and shit <laughs> freedom <laughs> i'm sorry i'm mostly kidding mostly you're not smart either i was valedictorian of our class that means anything in the real world. May, why are you like this? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> she hadn't even said anything actually offensive. She just didn't call her smart. She didn't call her dumb. <laughs> All right, let's go. Papa Tease. Oh, hell yeah. Kind of nervous about this. Stay close, all right? She's going to ditch you immediately. I'm sorry to tell you this. The introverts always get ditched at parties. Nothing to be scared of down there. Just a party. Not too late to throw ourselves in traffic instead. Hey, Jackie. Oh, shit. That's Jackie. The one who badmouthed me the whole time I was getting drunk at the last party. Oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> me, this is why you're not smart. Bia kind of started it. Yeah, but Bia didn't, like, directly call her dumb. That's the thing. I was surprised that she said you seemed cool. And she still said she was cool nowadays. That's something. <laughs> Me with Greg. Crimes. Crimes? Me with Bia. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> At least she is saying sorry now instead of just, like, you know, blowing up and then leaving. It's development. She cares about Bia. That's something. <laughs> hey, Bia. Oh, weird. It's May. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm just tagging along. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to be attached to Bia all night. Hey, Jackie. Oh, the little wave. No, 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 no. You brought May. Yeah. Is that okay? Sure. It'll be fun. <laughs> Come on in. It's a good one. Is there, like, dancing and stuff? The world is ending, May. Of course there's dancing. Cool. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Jesus. Also, yeah, jeez. Nope. No, God, no. It's a fucking nightclub. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to throw up so hard. That's why you got to take it seriously. Put your foot down. No fascists at this party. <laughs> right. You don't talk this shit out. You punch that shit out. Oh, yay. We're hanging out with Antifa. <laughs> Do you think that's best? Uh, yeah. Carry a knife and learn to throw a punch. Can't have no sense of humor about this shit. Mace works too. Mace against fascists. <laughs> oh, May. Uh, uh, hey. 
Hey, this is May. Hey, May. Yep, that's May. So where are you guys from? Suburban Bright Harbor. Couple of born bred harbor rats. Wow, what are you doing out here? Long story for both of us. I got time. Hold up, we're gonna go yell at the DJ real quick. We know him, he's a total dink. Okay, I'll be here. Bye, boys. Okay, I thought they were gonna walk up the stairs. I thought they were just gonna be like, we wanna go talk to the DJ and then just leave and never come back. <laughs> that would be such a dick move. <laughs> May is Tamagotchi coded. Yeah, she'll just stand to the side of everybody hanging out and occasionally she'll be like, I'm hungry. Can we get a drink? I'm ready to go home. <laughs> the music slaps though. Yeah, but I mean, they're playing it real nice. At actual nightclubs, you can barely hear each other even when you're shouting. I hate that shit. They seem nice. This is very cool. No drinking, May. Okay, fine. You guys want to dance? Yeah! Can you dance, May? And like, anyone here dance? Yeah, everybody's just standing around talking. Oh, no. <laughs> Apparently no one can dance. Everybody's just doing their little sways. <laughs> Honestly, that's all you really need. Oh, do it. Come on. Oh my god, look at be a fucking go. They just bending her knees. <laughs> I love this. This is so silly. Wait, can I move? Boom, but a boom, but a boom, but a boom. I can twerk! Put your hands in the air like you just don't care. Now drop it like it's hard. Drop it like it's hard. Drop it. Oh no, I wasn't done! I wanted to twerk on beer. <laughs> Look at that move. Yeah, they're crazy. <laughs> hey, I think those guys are back over there. Oh, yeah. Should we go talk to them? Yeah, we should. Go, go, go. Girls, there are two guys over there. There's three of us. Maybe, maybe we should just hang out together. G girls night. I can dance. I never knew. <laughs> I'd like to imagine that was May's first ever time twerking. And she's just like, oh, that's how you twerk. <laughs> I'm going to keep dancing. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I don't think I've ever danced at a party before. Okay, we'll be like 10 feet away. Within eye shot. And I'll watch you. Don't drink anything someone gives you. Bia, I know. No, seriously, if any... Bia, I'll be fine. Let's go, she'll be fine. Okay, okay, okay. Twerk it! Yeah! Now do the wave. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Jump, 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 jump. Hands in the air, just don't care. Hands in the air, I just don't care. Twerk, 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 twerk. Diamond City lights illuminate what's inside and all the love I feel in my mind. Can I do anything else? No. Okay, <laughs> these are my only options. I have four dance moves. <laughs> Dancing is easy. What's the big fuss? You have any control or is it dance control? Oh, yeah, no, no, I have control. Like, I, each different directional button, I have four different dance moves because of that. <laughs> Dancing is easy. What's the big fuss? Uh-oh. Now we're moving. That's when things get bad. I don't like the look of you. You're fuck boy coded. You, on the other hand, look pretty badass. Psst. Hey there. The eyes kitten focuses not on that which is lost, but on all that remains. Okay, that's definitely a dealer of some sort, and I'm supposed to know the other half of the line, and I do not know the other half of the line. <laughs> okay. Wow. You just hanging out in the back of the party? Dishing out wisdom? Oh, they're dishing out something. They didn't even respond. <laughs> All right, well, I'll keep that in mind. Have a good one. Run, 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 run. <laughs> oh, my God. Yo. Arenthina, the safety dance reference? Let's go. Why have I not sung that on karaoke yet? 
You can dance if you want to. You can leave your world behind. It's a sick song. Hey, yeah. Hey, you. Do I know you? Nah. What's your name? Samantha Stevenson. Let's go with that for the love of God. Samantha. I like it. Sounds like a magic spell. It's a very common name, but okay. <laughs> you found me out. It was magic. Now you're good and hexed. Wow. So that's your story, Samantha Stevenson. I'm a grad student studying, uh, vampires. And I play bass. <laughs> I'm a college dropout, a ghost is chasing me, and I recently met God. Fuck it. Let's creep the shit out of him and see if he actually moves on. Let's see how much he really wants to <laughs> chase this down. <gasps> I've had these dreams that I'm not sure were dreams. Where I was running around jumbled bits of like history or something. Like it was all a hairball stuck in the shower drain. And yeah, there's a ghost. And I'm pretty sure it like kidnapped someone on Halloween. Pretty sure I didn't imagine that. And my friends don't completely buy it. And I have this thing going on in my head. And I dropped out of college and I don't even want to get into that. All I wanted to do was come here for the things to be normal. And that's not really working out. And I found out tonight I can dance. And then I saw you. I've never just listed all of that out at once before. <laughs> Fucking love me. The cringe is so good. Wow. I stole your life story. <laughs> I guess. Hey. Give me a hand. No. Oh, God damn it, May. Oh. Uh, all right. Can I? You know what? Let's make this real awkward. Damn it. Miss 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 it. <laughs> I don't think I... Okay, let's take each other's hands. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is actually hard to... There we go. Huh? We, we made a pentagram? Oh, wow. Secret handshake. Wow. Wait, is this... Maybe they're related to the person who was playing sax for the pigeons? Maybe that's like their band thing. <laughs> wow. It worked. Wow, okay. Okay, I should go find my friend. Let her know I'm over here. Oh, yeah, you should. Samantha. <laughs> Hexed again. Boom. <laughs> I'll be here. Wow, okay. Be right back. You know what? They weren't so bad. <laughs> I might have misjudged them a little bit. That's on me. That's on me for being a dick. Fear saved me. I met people and people are scary. <laughs> Secret handshake. Give him your phone number, girl. Not that far. He, he's off in his own world. But yeah, that, that, that was okay. It was weirdly cute. Yeah. Much better than the person who just had like a secret comment that I couldn't figure out. <laughs> hey, Bia. Oh, hey, May. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey. Your friend Bea is pretty cool. Aw, she's okay. <laughs> You're laughing a lot. <laughs> Beatrice. That's like an old name. Like a book you read in second grade. Oh, Bea's down bad. <laughs> well, a book you liked? I liked ghost stories. May, do not interrupt. Oh, God damn it. There's no option. You just be quiet. Um, I used to be a big reader. Then I got bored with books. My granddad used to read to me before he got dementia and died. Jesus Christ. I love you, May, but God damn it. <laughs> Sorry about your granddad. It's okay. It was years ago. His mom is... Fuck me, dude. She's just trying to have a good night. His mom died. <laughs> May. May. Stop. I'm sure everyone here knows someone who died. My dog died last spring. 
when my house exploded, because there was a gas leak, and when my dad hit a line, trying to dig up the dog we had before that. <laughs> Why was he trying to dig up the dead dog? What? Because we were going to move. Dad said he had to come with us. That's oddly sweet, but Jesus Christ. Now everybody, you know what? May you hang out with Bird Boy. Me and Bird Boy, we're going to have a good night just talking about everything. <laughs> What up? I, I, yeah. God has favorites and it's none of these people. I mean, <laughs> Jesus. Well, May is right. We all know people who have died. It's just most of us don't just casually say, yeah, it was awesome before my granddad got dementia and died. Yeah, I knew people who died. My house exploded. My dog died. And that was because they were trying to dig up my old dead dog. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How are you doing, Ayaya? How is my little pog champ night? <laughs> wow. So, Chris, what are you majoring in? Poli sci. Oh, that's cool. Are there are a lot of jobs in that. Oh, I don't know. I just find it interesting. I feel like you have to be pretty materialistic to go to college just so you can get a job after. Eh. That's interesting because... <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Oh, fuck me, May. Come on, dude. No, just don't. The smug face as well! God, get her out of there. Get her with Bird Boy. Get her back with the black magic person. <sighs> Check out Rich Kid over here. Gonna pay zillions of dollars to go to college just because something's interesting? Yeah, yeah. Check this dude out. You ever worked a day in your life, Chaz? You haven't... Oh my god, I got that. I interned at my uncle's firm, yes. Well, I bagged groceries. <laughs> okay. <laughs> May, do you want to dance some more? Please. Fuck, do I want to lean into this? I don't want to piss off Bia, but I need to see more. This is so good. Nah, I'm good. You sure you don't want to go dance? Yeah, my parents own their own business, so... And here come the Nepo baby comments. Ooh, tell me about it. I know a bit about running a small business. Want to go across the street and get some pizza? I could eat. And it's small business. We'll speak their language. Get us free spices. Bia doesn't like spoiled rich kids. Chuck. Fuck, dude. I'll come along if that's okay, Bia. Yeah, let's go. Okay. No, no, no. How are you like this when you're not drunk? Hey, Cody, let me tell you about Beatrice Santello. Does not sound good. Bia knows all about business. Is probably going to trauma dump more about Bia, who's just trying to have a good night and found a guy that she likes. <sighs> Bia knows all about business. She's super on top of things. Super smart and responsible. She runs like the biggest store in Possum Springs. <laughs> May. No. What even is Possum Springs? It's west in the mountains. A rich kid over here is studying politicians or whatever. Bia's out in the real world. Not like you college kids. You were literally shitting on people who stayed in towns up until like three days ago. May. What? <laughs> I'm kind of over the whole college thing myself. B and I basically run Possum Springs. Except there's like a ghost or something. You two live in Possum Springs? Yeah, got a problem with that? Wow, you drove all the way here from Deep Hollow Country? Isn't that like two hours away? No, I... Ah... Uh, why would you do that? Hey, Rick, Bia here drove in from... Oh, no, they're saying Bia specifically. They're not even saying May. Bia here drove in from Deep Hollow. Are you not a student? Oh, no, has she been telling them she goes to college? Oh, fuck me. Yeah? What? Yeah, I am. I'm... <laughs> Bia, no! Bia, wait! What was that about? I think she doesn't go here. So? Dude, I don't even know. Oh, 
fuck me. She just wanted a day away from being the fucking girl who runs this store. The girl who had to stay in fucking stupid possum springs because her mom died and she had to take over the store. Bea just wouldn't even give her fucking that. What did you do? I was going to ask the same thing. How in the world did you mess that up? She needs this. Now she's God knows where. Something happens to her. I'll personally punch your teeth out. Okay, geez. All right, I'm going to go up the street. You go down towards the river. We find her, make sure she's okay, and meet back here. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Back in school, I always told Bea that you were an asshole. I really thought that was true. It's good to know I was right. Fuck. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Where are you, Bea? The roofs. You can get to the river quick on the roofs. Hey, move! Alright. Move it, goth dorks! No. I need to get up on the roof. You're not jumping on my car. It will end you right here in this pizza place parking lot. You cool down. You F off. Don't tell me to F off. Don't tell me to cool down. Get away from my damn car. Wow, god damn it, man. You don't get away from your damn car. I'm going to run it over your damn head. Can you even drive? Want to find out, citizen? I'm going to call the cops. If you don't move right now, I'm going to probably make you eat this entire car. And I can do it. Yeah, I'd like to see you try. The last person I hurt physically, I hurt him very, very badly. Physically. Seriously, I'm about to... You're about to what? You know what? I don't have time for this. No. You don't. Shit, man. He's actually kind of scary sometimes. <laughs> Move. Hope you break your spine. Jesus. I mean, I know she's worried about Bea now, but... Oof. We... Oh, fuck. Call the cops on me. RSS. What's she waffling about? I mean, now she at least realizes she's fucked up. It's just... This certainly isn't helping anything. Oh, I hoped I could ride in the shopping cart. She needs proper therapy. Yeah. She thinks this is the right way to handle her emotions. The worst thing is, Jesus Christ, everything she did at the dance club was just so absolutely painful. From the direction she'd already been at where it was like, yeah, I'm smart. I went to college. So what if I dropped out? I still like got to college, unlike the people here. And now she's like, yeah, fuck college rich kids. Me and Bia understand. We're Possum, possum Springs kids. We run that shit. <sighs> wait, wait. Oh, I don't want to go this way. Shit. Well, I guess you're committed once you go a bit left. She just has no social awareness, and it's painful, but that's so real. Yeah. And I mean, to be fair, I, I did choose the worst choices because <laughs> I was interested. I wanted to see just how bad it would go. And the answer was very bad. Are we ready for this? She's elitist in every way. Yeah, and I know part of that is just her putting shields up around herself. She's scared that, one, if she talks about being a college dropout, people are going to look down on her. And two, if she talks about, like, having been in college, people are going to judge her for that as well. She's just putting up shields in every direction and it ends up attacking everybody. Ugh. Meanwhile, everybody else was just trying to be nice. Bea's just trying to escape her shitty life for a day. <laughs> Drove 90 minutes away so that she could talk to people she has no idea about and pretend to be just like everybody else who's just going to college and following the general path in life. <sighs> Bea, there you are. Are you all right? Why did you run? That's like extremely dangerous. You're alone in some college town. You don't even know what... This was my party. These are my parties. I come to these so I can feel normal. For like two hours a month. This is normal? It would have been like mugged or something. Let's, let's stick on this one. Let's try to not make it any worse for now. 
All over some idiot guy? College is stupid anyway. Oh my god, you complete asshole. You will never understand this. Ever. You know what I do when I go to sleep? <laughs> this is so freaking sad. I think like obsessively about going to college. Like really, really think hard about it. And if I'm lucky as I fall asleep, I dream about it. I have to dream about this. This thing you're so over already is like my wildest fantasy. You have a life. That is so sad. God, I hate it when they don't give me any good option. You do have a life. This is true. No, I don't. I have obligations. I have a routine. When my mom died, my life ended too. I had to take over the business because dad had a complete breakdown. And the bills from my mom literally dying were so bad that we lost the house. The house I grew up in. Gone. Some shitty family with their shitty kids live there now. Now we live in an apartment. My dad wastes away. Like any idea I had of the future, this big bright thing just gets smaller and darker every time I wake up from a dream about nights like tonight. And you can't get that for your thick effing skull. Fuck. I knew there was a reason I loved beer because we kind of, we did read into this a lot fucking earlier. But that actually hit so fucking close to home for me as somebody, yeah, who had like parental issues during their formative years. Had to take on some stuff. Poor fucking beer. That's not fair. I had no idea about any of this. Uh, duh, yeah, I had no idea about any of this. We're talking about it now. That's good. How? How could you not know this? I work hard. I take care of what's left of my family. My life is slipping away and I'm trapped in that stupid hardware store. That stupid town. I'm just... Doomed. You're not the only person stuck here, you know. You gave up the thing I can't have. I... Kinda hate you. I can't not hate you for that. A little. You don't know anything about it. You don't know why I had to leave. So tell her. Share that with her. This is how we fucking interact with other people, May. Oh, I'm sure it's a brilliant reason. You just sit there judging me. Have you ever even asked why I left? Yeah, she literally did, May. Your mom has. So many people have. Yeah. First day you were back. Oh. Right. So, why did you leave? I... I... I don't know. My head is in pieces right now. Any answer I could give would sound nuts. Oh. Well, that's illuminating. Oh, shut up. All this shit going on this past week? Ghosts and shit? I met God. He was an asshole. Uh-huh. Ah. Look. We're both trapped. We're trapped together. I did to be trapped with someone... Oh, let me move myself. I technically don't need to be at the top like this today. Yeah. Normally that way because most text things happen at the bottom right of the screen. But nowadays in this game. I did to be trapped with someone else, right? Listen. I'm sorry. About, like... It's okay. We're like... The best available friends. Why would you put it that way, man? You're not trapped with each other. That's not the only reason you hang... If that is the only reason you hang out, then what's the point in hanging out? That's just misery loves company. You're just going to make people more miserable around you. <laughs> oh, God. What river is this? Red winder. All the iron in the water turns the rocks orange. Must be weird for them. All the rocks on land get to keep their colors. The river rocks are always looking up at them. Hmm. So, 
like actual question do you think we'd be friends if we weren't like stuck together in the same town like we were stuck together in girl scouts like uh is this just what's the word proximity yeah i don't know i honestly don't my entire life feels like running after something keeps moving away into the distance while I stay in the same place. I guess proximity counts for a lot right now. Hmm. Proximity. Stuck in a basement together. Again. This crazy old basement we call life, Beatrice. Thanks, that's uplifting. <laughs> I know, right? Do you want to go back to the party? Nah. We can come to another one sometime. I swear I won't screw it up. May, you are not getting invited to the next party, my dude. I'll learn to talk good. I'll learn to talk good. Oh, damn it, May. To whatever guy you're obviously trying to get with, don't put it that way either. It's not about the guy. It's about getting away from Possum Springs. Oh, good. Thanks. Bea, you should have told me about everything. I was embarrassed. My entire life is embarrassing. Bea, I'm like more embarrassing than you'll ever be. You're like stronger and smarter than anyone I've ever met. Thanks. And you're not as big a total idiot as I act like you are. I'm a jerk sometimes. I know that. But you're a genuinely... Good? Person? <laughs> I love that sentence. May's trying now, at least. I mean, she's always been trying, but yeah, she's calmed down from being insulted. And she's at least, like, trying to reconnect and being like, but you're amazing, is she? She is! It's just... Oh, God, it's so much. And even when she's trying, she does occasionally stick her foot in her mouth with the whole, like, oh, come on, I'll, I'll help you get with whatever guy you're clearly trying to get with. Like, it's so obvious from everything she said. She didn't care about the fucking guy. It was just about being someone else for a night. I'll take it. You know what? The Fort Lucen fish fountain would say. What? Beatrice Santello, we should get burgers and shakes on the way home. Oh, wow. A revelation from God. The good God. The fake one. <laughs> Jesus Christ, mate. <laughs> Crap, I didn't get her info. Ooh. This super cute girl I met at the party. We did a secret handshake. <laughs> it was a girl again. Well, shit. It's hard when they're all animals, okay? They weren't a fuck boy. They were a fuck girl. <laughs> Is that a euphemism? Crap. Yeah, we need to come back. Okay, you. Let's go home. Home again, home again. Oh, that's a fucked up achievement. I just got an achievement called Best Available Friends. I guess proximity counts. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, well. Well, at least we definitely have 100% confirmation May's either bi or into women then. Did she have a boyfriend before? She did. Okay, so yeah. Bye. Hi. Hello. Oh, wow. Are you okay? She, every time she talks to her dad, her eyes close over so aggressively. And it's just like, yeah, you had a bad day. Everyone could see it. Just, just chill. Maybe he had a bad day too. We never see what's behind his eyes. The glasses are always in the way. <laughs> no idea if that was cute. It was... It was good for them. That's what I'll say. It was definitely good for them in the fact that they finally communicated. They are should not have had to explain all of that to may but may wasn't getting it so communication was fucking good for them it, it felt genuine exactly it felt genuine and even though may had just like ruined Bea's night at least Bea realizes that may does care about her um yeah and Bea clearly does care about may as well even when she completely ruined her night she was able to calm herself down within like five minutes and just be like okay i guess you're trying you're a good question mark person 
even though that's painful. But that's one of the things as well. Like sometimes in relationships, friendships or whatever, you do have to have those painful moments. You have to force them through because if you don't, you're just living a fucking lie. You're just hiding who you actually are from people. People have bad days. People get angry and annoyed at things. The fact that be a straight up told her, I kind of hate you for dropping out of college considering she always just wanted to go to college, have a normal life and still be, she would still be studying now. She'd still have at least one year left of just like a bachelor's degree, let alone like going to any kind of extended courses. She's never going to have that opportunity. She's never going to have the money. She's never going to have the time. And she knows that. And seeing May treat it like it's nothing now. <laughs> and just throwing it all away. Yeah, that would be pretty fucking devastating. Even if you do like May as a person, it's kind of just like, wow, oh, you had everything I've ever dreamed of. And you did not give a shit. <laughs> May is actually going to get socked one day. Yeah, I mean, the way she started a fight with those dudes about climbing on top of the car as well. For all we know, there's a warrant out for her now. I mean, that dude may have actually reported it to the police. Who knows? Not let her mental issues bottle up and affect her friends, her available friends. Yeah, that's the thing. She needs to work through her things. And the thing is, she is now. She talked to Bia. Now she has to talk to Greg, her mom, and her dad. She still hasn't told anyone why she dropped out yet. That's the annoying thing. <laughs> she still didn't give Bia the answer she asked for so many times. <laughs> still also don't know what drove her out of college though. Yeah. I mean, the only thing she said was just like, nothing. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe it was just like general depression. That happens a lot as well. I go through that a lot. But you just wake up one morning and you hate everything. Everything tiny gets to you in a huge way. You're just constantly like, of course, it's fucking raining. Ah, someone made fun of my speech patterns. God, I'm just so fucking tired. That kind of shit. Depression just be like that sometimes. Sometimes there is no source. It's just a chemical imbalance in the brain that fucks up everything else in your life. So who knows? I hope we do find out, though. I hope they don't just leave it as, like, use your own headcanon here. Oh, wow. Are you okay? No. Okay, so what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're gonna have to start talking sometime, kitten. I wish I could. Why can't you? I don't even know. Where to even start? Let's go with that one. It's just... I've been having these dreams. I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost? I've had these horrible nightmares that feel really real. I think something really bad is going to happen. I've been running and around and doing all this stupid stuff. Where's it all going? What even is my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight. But like, everyone is on their way somewhere else. I had that big fight with mom. Kitten. It's okay. That's not even counting the money problems. Yeah. Money problems make everything worse. I know it. I can't do anything about it. I don't even know if I could hold down a job. How am I even going to survive? And, and, and... Shh, kidding. Take a breath. Okay. 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 Is he going to say I want to watch some TV? Okay. <laughs> I thought that would be the most dad response ever. Because that was perfect, telling him to take a deep breath. That's, yeah. Sometimes that's exactly what you fucking need when you're spiraling. It's just, hey, calm down. Take a deep breath. You can deal with these problems one by one. Everything has its own time. If you stress about everything at once, you never get anything done. I feel like that's a lot of May's problem right now. But yeah, I often expected him to, after that, like after the deep silence, just be like, well, kitten, do you want to watch TV? <laughs> Which would have been like the perfect, like, ah, oh, he's trying. He just doesn't know how to. But yeah, why don't you get some sleep is a good thing as well. I wonder what time it is. I'm going to check the clock. Because she always wakes up at like 3 p.m. I wonder what time we're going to bed. Why don't you get some sleep? Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like. Aww. Ah, and here comes Yay. <laughs> I fucking knew it. Sometimes that's exactly what you need. Just hanging out with your parents, watching stupid, terrible TV. Is it is. 
My Garbo, do you think there's someone up there watching? Hey, I just hope anyone's watching at this time slot. <laughs> These are the big questions, Garbo. Don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a churchgoer, Garbo? Hey, the last time I was in church, they hadn't invented religion yet. <laughs> you were making it up as we went along. Okay, so we all think there's a god, right? We should have potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks. You could, Malloy, but it would be... A whopper! <laughs> that catchphrase isn't actually too bad. It's growing on me. <laughs> this is very Mun's eye as well. Coming up next, Garbo and I contact the dead. See, they could have turned that into a good joke. The, the instant response to that should have been, yeah, we're going to talk to our viewers. <laughs> we have zero viewers. Get it? Lo, lo, lo. When they stare right at you, oh, God. Yeah, they're just like, audience, that's the time to laugh. Imagine if you just... Oh. My bad. <laughs> but yeah that was cute i guess i'm ready to go to bed now i've had enough okay it is it is not even 11 o'clock yet i should healthily wake up at like 7 8 a.m this is good it's gonna be 3 p.m isn't it it's totally gonna be 3 p.m <laughs> you actually made me chuckle good <laughs> it's like 10 45 yeah that's what i'm thinking it's not even 11 p.m yet so this should be fine Honestly, as much as that hurt to watch, that is like that was a big step for me and beer. It's important. This game is so horrible, it's so good. <laughs> right? Why is the second floor clock different? I don't think the second floor clock actually works properly. It's just kept because it was their granddad's. Hey kid. Went to a party. Danced at a party. Ran around in the rain. Met a hot girl. Totally didn't get her number. She's a bombshell though. <laughs> oh shit, she really liked her. <laughs> Wow, sounds like an awesome night. It was a mixed bag. A little no odd party again. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. We need to do more parties. You are very right. All right, I'm off to bed. Laters. Hey, you. Hey, me. So tired from tonight. I bet. Did you run all the way to the river? Yeah, on the roofs and stuff, but I did fall off halfway through. <laughs> That and dancing really take it out of you. That's like really... That's really nice, May. That you did that. Oh, I do not like that response. <laughs> that sounds like Pia is still holding on to some resentment after all. Uh, it wasn't nothing. Go get some sleep. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for running after me. Oh, I never go away. You'll never be rid of me. Never. You can never escape. <laughs> I can think of worse fates. Okay, they're not so bad. It's fine. Let me go check the grandfather clock time. Grandfather clock says it's what? 7.15? Yeah, it's not moving at all. Okay. It just froze on 7.15 at some point and we never fixed it. Bedtime. time. Hell yes. See what kind of creepy ass dream we're gonna have tonight. <laughs> She's a parasite, but one with scary eyes. Jesus. <laughs> she. Ah. If anything, hopefully, like, Thea will realize college isn't all that great. Oh my god, we didn't have a creepy dream. We're fine. Maybe Bia will, like, realize maybe college isn't that important, considering what happened to May when she went to college. <laughs> Bia seems to actually appreciate that May chased after her when she was worried. Oh, yeah, no, she definitely does. That definitely brought it back. I didn't like the beginning bit where she was just casually like, that's good. I'm glad that you did that. I think there's just always got to be some level of resentment there. It kind of feels like May has a bit of, a, like, a protagonist syndrome thing going on. Where even after, like, everything that went on, May was still, like, yeah, I'm tired now. I'm going to get some good sleep. I danced, I ran around, and Bia's just like, oh, good for you. That's what you remember from the night, huh? Lovely. <laughs> but then she was genuinely like, well, I'm glad you came for me. And I'm sure she is glad that they actually had that chat. There's some actual proper talking. 
Okay, wake up, kiddo. He's no longer haunted. Not by ghosts or gods, at least. Wait, I can't use the PC. Oh, I can only use the PC. I can't use the bed. <laughs> what up, big boy? Oh, away message. Why does it keep making me read his away messages? They don't change. <laughs> hey, kid. Snack falcon in. Work, work, work. Till I die, die, die. Hello, May. Pickaxe. At it. Me. You know the drill. Aw. Okay, good. He is just back to normal now. She's like, you know what? We are proximity friends, I guess. Hey. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Sharkle. I love him. Why don't I have that up on my PC? I missed the important part. You sure did. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm sure there'll be many more important parts. Jeez. It was like it's been years since I got back and saw this again. I like that she's got her mom's creepy demon eyes. <laughs> I wonder if her dad has the same eyes. Hey, bird. Things are like really intense right now. Pray to your go bird gods for my soul, bird. <laughs> Yeah, let those bird gods know. May need some help. I think there's an extension that enables Sharkle. <gasps> Yo! I wouldn't be surprised if somebody's made one. Good morning. There's my little sunshine daisy. Feeling any better from the other day? Sleeping a lot, but feeling worse? Holy sh- Oh no, it's still 3pm. I thought it was 9am for a second. I was like- <gasps> Yeah, no, she's definitely dealing with a fucking lot. If she's sleeping for... 10 p.m. to 3 p.m. I can't do math right now. 2 plus 12, 14 plus 3. Fuck me, my dude. You're sleeping for like three quarters of the day. Okay, well, I'm going to make you an appointment with Dr. Hank. Oh, jeez, mom, it's fine. Very much not fine, hon. An adult, I can make that decision. Can you though? <laughs> when you're here, you're still my baby, and I'm making you an appointment. Mayhan, I'm worried about you. I'm okay, Mom. Listen, I keep thinking about the money problems and the house. I'm just so sorry. You. We. Wouldn't be in this situation if I wasn't such a massive screw up. I just want to fall into a pit and die right now. Bruh. Hey, it's okay. Really. We'll figure something out. This isn't on you to fix. I'm sorry if I made it seem that way. What's done is done. We're a family together regardless. Please stop worrying about it. Whatever happens, I love you. I need you to know that. Me too. Okay, I'm gonna go. Oh, I wasn't sure if the sniff was her smelling something or sniffling. I guess she was sniffling. They're talking? Yeah, that was actually really good. She really learned a lot from last night. Uh, somebody asked, are you going to be looking up the uh, Greg route after this? I am. I am interested. I don't think I want to play through it myself a full time. But I'll just watch somebody else's playthrough, essentially, and just watch the Greg route. I want to know what happens with Greg. I want to see if, like, Greg has, like, a big emotional, like, cathartic moment at this point as well. You sure you don't want to stay home and rest? Nah, I got stuff to do. What is it that you have to do? I don't even know, honestly. Oh, hon. Please take it easy. I will. I love you. Love you too. Thank you. <laughs> will you be doing it on stream? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not just going to steal somebody else's content and just react to it. <laughs> so, no, I won't be doing it on stream, but I may talk about it on, like, the Zatsu dot after I get through it. Um, I'm going to be busy for a while, so I'm not sure when I'm going to do that, but I am interested in seeing the Greg route. I keep the really good prescription headache meds on my nightstand. I can, like, give you half of one. The really good prescription? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Only half? Honey, you're... Y y you know... Short? Half would be fine. It's fine, Mom. Okay, let me know if I can be any help. Thanks, Mom. What about the DLC? There's DLC for this? Does it, like, continue the story? I didn't know there was even DLC for this game. Going with Angus, it's a really nice scene. Ah. 
I might look up that one too then. Shit, I never went to the right last time. That's what I forgot to do. Frick. I forgot how big this town is now that they've finished the roadworks. Called Lost Constellations. Interesting. Does it do like a proper like storyline kind of thing? Or is it just like... I mean, if it just adds some like bonus understanding of the characters, that's one thing. But does it have like a full storyline? It's prequel stuff. It should come with the game these days. Oh, prequel stuff. <gasps> Yo, Mr. Possum's back. Whoa. Hey, Rabies. Who's a good little trash king? Is you? So tell me, Rabies. What do you make of this ghost stuff? Sure is something, eh? Ah, yes. Good point. Guess I don't entirely know what to think. I like... Feel it, though? Wish everyone just believed me. Thank you, Rabies. Your support means a lot. You're a good-ass possum, Rabies. All right, I'm off. Stay safe. Need some trash. And common pests. Th <laughs> rabies? Oh, hell, Rabies. Achievement? Okay. <laughs> trash King Rabies. <laughs> Fucking love it. Good-ass possum? Yeah. You ever heard anybody say, like, good-ass before? It's just a slang way to say, like, really good. Welcome to Historic Possum Springs. Where the town ends here, like, bam, right here. It's like a line somewhere that no one can see. You can put it on a map. I've always found that weird too. Sometimes you don't know when you're crossing over like town lines. Fuck that. Even state lines and country lines and shit. Can we not go down anymore? Oh, I guess that was a one-time thing going down to the trash area. Oh, hell, rabies indeed. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. I love the little hops. <laughs> oh, I'm glad we didn't miss that. We. Oh, I missed the mailbox. <laughs> I could actually play it. Oh, shit. Hey, Ant Mark Up. I would actually play a platformer with these controls. They're pretty damn good. The titular possum, the most important one of all. Didn't think I would hear I love rabies during my life. Okay, I love rabies, the possum. King, trash king, rabies, not the rabies. Oh, God. What do you want? Hello to you too, May. Well, I wanted to let you know. We ran a test on that arm you guys found a few days back. Oh, really? Yeah, now you're interested. How dare. Yeah, I thought you'd be interested as all. Well. Don't tell her. Just drive away. Fuck this bitch. Definitely. Arm belonged to a middle-aged man. A medium build. He was dead when it was removed. Whoa. Oh, fuck. So they cut him off. Cut him up after he was dead. It wasn't even like part of the attack. So that's somebody trying to get rid of a body. Whoa. That means... It doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. You always liked detective stories when you were a kid. Oh, is that something her and her mom used to bond over? Because I know her mom still reads all the true crime stuff. Oh. Okay, yeah. Thanks. This ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? Wasn't no ghost involved in this, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me. I get it. Be careful, May. Strange stuff going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Have a nice evening, May. I love her aunt. She needs more respect, man. <laughs> Hey, Selmas. Jeez. May, are you sick? Nah. Just tired. Got a headache. Why are you out running around? I'll get over it. Yeesh. Take it easy, neighbor. And do. Wanna hear a new poem? Fuck yeah. The star sorry. The stars, the stars. Like lights on cars. Drive across the dark and never park. <laughs> It's true, they are like that. I got one ready for longest night. Oh? Longest night, longest night. Night so dark, but stars so bright. Nice! Thanks, I'm feeling festive. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, Selmas. I wanna hear more of like your serious like slam poetry. That shit was incredible. You notice anything like weird around here lately? 
Squid is in. Ghost Man! Missing kids? Let's go with that one. I don't think so. Not recently, at least. That Casey kid last spring. But he weren't a kid no more. Maybe someone else but from another town? I'm sure I'll remember. You know, I asked that, but didn't expect you to know. I read the paper. <laughs> Forecasters think it's snow soon. When? Soon. Gonna get cold soon. Oh, uh, we're heading out of autumn then. We really are coming to the end of the game. Probably longest night. Oh yeah, night in the woods. That makes sense. <laughs> we're probably gonna spend the longest night in the woods. Jesus. I can read. She can write too. Her poetry is fucking amazing. I don't know why she only shares the... Wait. Does she only share the baby ones with us because she doesn't respect us? <laughs> And then when she actually goes to the poetry club, that's when she does real shit. God oh, damn it. <laughs> Getting cold early this year. Don't bold well. Yeah. Well. At least it hasn't already started snowing. It's the solstice that it's not already snowing. You guys have gotten lucky. Longest night is perhaps winter. But yeah, I'm thinking it's the winter solstice. Because, I mean, that's quite literally the longest night of the year. That would make... Fuck, I missed it. That would make sense to me. One, two, three. All oh, right, you can stand on that bit. It doesn't look like you can. <laughs> okay, no stars today. May looks at the camera. I was the knight in the woods. <laughs> to be fair, I do like when she just stares at the camera and starts thinking out things. I would love if she just straight up, like, at the end of the game. Yeah, just after they get out of the woods, she was like, that was some crazy night in the wood <laughs> fade to black <laughs> witch dagger hell yeah he just has fun with them and may is the only one who listens to the little ones maybe maybe or maybe the little ones is just because she has so many of them and she just saves the longest ones for her biggest moments ba -ba -da -bum. the heavy stuff is a lot to share so maybe she's only comfortable sharing the poetry in certain environments it would make sense Ogre, say my name. No, get timed out for five minutes. You can go read my chat rules. Don't tell me what to say, or you will get timed out and possibly bland if you continue to do it. I said bland again. Why am I just adding L? Do I just, that's BL for me. It's because I played the guy no Chi yesterday. <laughs> Every B word has to have an L right after it. Will tunnel fish always be there? Or tunnel drain can that be bare? I would miss the tunnel fish. To have them back would be my wish. Are they gonna drain the tunnel or something? No. It's poetry, okay? Just making stuff up. These don't listen. <laughs> but you're a really good poet, my dude. You actually genuinely, I love his poems. Short or not, they're all thematic. They're interesting. They rhyme real good. I like you, dude. You should share them more. <laughs> careful next thing you know you're bleating oh god well so what happened to the old woman i want to hear more tales about her smashing my granddaddy his poems were good yeah i like them <laughs> surprisingly his ones were worse when it came to sharing them with the poetry club but like his daily ones i really like they're really relaxing blessed <laughs> Ian, that one at least actually has an l best isn't it well make it a t instead of an ed <laughs> Well, that's it. Dripping out tomorrow. I believe you actually landed the new job. Yep, moving on to better things. It's excited. Oh yeah, they'll love it. Might take a while. <laughs> well, yep, yeah. well. Maybe just one more, huh? Yeah, one more. Ghost Melters! Yeah. Aww. Fuck, everybody's leaving this town. Well, no, I guess the guy at the telephone telemarketing gig just actually found a different job in the same town. But damn, even that dude's leaving his best friend. That awkward moment when they both freaking paused at the same time and were just like, well, yep. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. Reddit as well, that's shipping. <laughs> Maybe he's been getting the BL in his mind too. So I said I could like take you up to the park. You did indeed. I'm so tired. You gotta be okay. Yeah, I'll be fine. 
You're up for this park trip? Not right. Oh shit. If I say nah, I can come back, right? I want to go. I didn't know I could do all three. I summoned, somebody had said I could only do two. Oh, wait. I didn't do Beatrice's trip yet. I just went to a party. Okay, no. We're going to do Beatrice's. You can? Yeah, at least I do have the option. Um, but yeah, no, I forgot. Yesterday wasn't actually Beatrice's trip thing. We're going to the cemetery, I think. Yeah, I'd prefer to go to the cemetery than the mountains. But first, everything else. <laughs> Oh, nobody even hangs out outside Teller's off anymore. Everyone's noticing May looks tired. Yeah, I mean, she's been having a rough time. Lots of nightmares. Lots of long days. Lots of sleeping. When you sleep too much, it actually does end up detrimental to you. Okay, I'm hoping nothing happens here, but let's see if we find any sign of what exactly happened to Bruce. The statues of stern dudes for miles here in Possum Springs. We. I don't see any difference. Where's the sign that May's getting tired? Ah, we can't see it. But her friends can. Oh no, Kate. Now I have to tell you some things. I mean, his tent's still up. Okay, let's talk to her before we go to the cliff. Sleeping too much hurts your back too? Yeah. Just in general, if you sleep too much, it's bad for you. Too much of anything is bad for you. I wonder where Bruce has got to. Actually, I know. Really? Yeah, he told me not to tell you yesterday. Tell me what, May? Bruce is going home. He... What? Oh, shit. No, I just fucking realized. He keeps talking about his daughter and that they don't talk anymore. Is his daughter... Dead? Yeah, he's going home to his kids. I guess they're all waiting for him. Oh, he seemed pretty happy about it. Okay. Thanks, May. Are you not happy about this? Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, she knows about his kids. Talked about grandkids too. He did, but that could have just been a cope kind of thing. Or it could have been just like, maybe they did have grandkids. Maybe they all passed away. Who knows? But yeah, he's left all his stuff here. He's disappeared. And like, as soon as she heard he's going home to his kids, she just went silent. She's dealing with her own shit. Okay, well, there's no sign of anything, at least. I mean, I guess this is the same thing that we were discussing earlier. It's like, you could either look at it in a bad way and be like, oh, no, he, he totally... um." took himself off the playing board um or you could look at it as who knows maybe he did go somewhere maybe his kids and grandkids are out there and he's just happily living his life and you look over the edge i i don't think so i'm pretty sure i've tried that before i've tried to jump off of it i'm pretty sure if you could look over the edge it should just be like more of the town below right because this is just above um other parts of the town as long as he really went home i hope nothing bad happened to him yeah, I don't think that... That's one of the ones where I don't think they're ever going to give, like, a conclusive answer. You're just supposed to, like, read into it. Whee! Nah, you just stand here and stare. God oh, damn it. Bum, bum, ba -da, ba -da, bum. Sudden happiness is such a huge warning. Yeah, Bruce wasn't exactly happy either, like... He wasn't like, oh, mate, it's awesome. I'm going to go home to see my daughter. I'm never going to drink again. I'm never going to fight again. Nah, he was just more like, yeah, I'm going to be gone. Yeah, I'm going to visit my daughter. Like, he wasn't, like, smiling. He wasn't excited. It wasn't any sudden reason that he decided to do that. And it, especially, like, talking about the fact that he didn't want Kate to get in trouble. It was very much a feeling of, like, yeah, I've caused problems to people all my fucking life. I'll just stop being a problem. Which sucks game would be pretty morbid if it did show you like that something down there yeah i was just expecting like some sort of sign e you can't resist coming here that's god calling you oh jeez i'm betting not god's patient hun like nature that is such a creepy statement i find it comforting 
I've got this creeping dread thing going on. So just ignore me. Okay, hon. Can I do anything? Not really. Love you. Oh, at least she said love you. <laughs> That's very true. Sometimes you just can't do anything. What is it? I don't know. Purposely committing this scene to memory. <gasps> oh, that's nice. Yeah. Remember the happy moments, especially when they're just like small moments like this of just visiting your mom at work. You never know when you won't be able to in the future. Thinking a brain photo. <laughs> yeah, just like when I was a kid. Your dad was great with the games to keep you quiet in the car. He sure was. I still do it now. That's your picture. Snap, snap. That's yours too. Love you, sweetie. You too, mom. I'm so worn out. Why don't you go take a nap back in the library room? Oh, wow. I haven't been in the library room in years. It doesn't get a lot of use these days. It's nice and quiet and peaceful. Okay. I might do that. Door back there is unlocked now, so have at it. I'll be out here too. Thanks, mom. No problem, sweetie. <gasps> finally get to go in the golden room and of course the golden room is the library it was made for me oh it's such a big couch can i actually i can actually nap i like the way they talk to each other now yeah she's communicating properly and that whole like i'm committing this to memory that's such a nice sentence especially since it is just like a daily occurrence for her to just chill with her mom it's just like i want to commit this to memory this is important those are the important things. You just don't realize it at the time because it's just something that happens daily. That's not how you nap, May. Lay your ass down. Oh, okay. I thought she just faded away. <laughs> there we go, May. Get a good sleep. Oh, Dad? You good? The Dad? Maybe this is granddad. He looks exactly the same as dad, though. Wait, no. Dad didn't have that ruffle in his ear. <gasps> granddad. Aww. So I'm imagining this is just a memory. Or just like a dream she's having. But either way, kind of beautiful. She said she hadn't been here in years. So maybe this is something she used to do. Maybe she used to come back to the library room with her granddad read. Oh, yeah. She did say he used to, like, read stories to her. He didn't even, like, read the actual books books. He would just, like, make up his own stories with the book in front of him. Maybe she slowly fell asleep in this room back in the past. Maybe that's why, even though the room wasn't locked, she never wanted to go into this room again. It was just like, oh, that's me and Grandpap's room. She's hugging herself. Yeah. sleep oh <laughs> okay i didn't expect it to just immediately take me out here <laughs> this makes me miss my grandpa yeah that's what i mean i mean somebody said earlier that's so sad that's so morbid when i mentioned um you should like remember the small things because you never know when they're just not gonna happen anymore it's a fact. You never know when that'll happen. That's why it's important to treat each day like it's a special and unique thing. Even if you're like, oh, it's not my grandpap, though. It's just a friend of mine. They'll always be around. All kinds of accidents happen. You never know what's going to fucking happen. So, yeah, you can't help it when you have, like, a bad day and shit goes wrong and you snap at people or do dumb shit. But you can at least try to focus on the good things and enjoy the little things while they happen. You'll find that life's a bit better that way. It doesn't always have to be a big thing. Sometimes it's just something tiny that makes your day really happy. Cherish the time you have with them? Yeah. Enjoy the little things. If you enjoy the little things, you realize that there's a lot more of the little things than you thought there were. Shit, how do I get up there? I'll go visit my rat babies. Wait, the window was actually closed this time. Just came in, didn't expect to get hit with emotional damage. <laughs> yeah, welcome to this game. This game is all about... Well, I mean, it's set in autumn. It's called Night in the Woods. It's all about, like, things changing. And the fact that, yeah, the seasons come and go. That's the saddest thing, is that this is, like, such an autumn game. Which means winter is coming rather than, like, spring. 
Even after all of this, we're about to go through the saddest part. The part where everything living dies. Oh, there's always a hope of spring after that. <gasps> Violinist! We are fi These are all the people I've dreamed about. Maybe they're going to play at the Longest Night Festival. Still up here? I mean, I left and went to work and so forth since we met. Did I meet the violinist before? Hmm. Is that a fiddle? It's a violin. It's like the same thing, right? It's a violin, I assure you. Oh, fiddler on the roof. We did meet him before, you're right. Somebody made that joke before. <laughs> I just, I have God. Yeah, I'm bad at this. I wonder if this is who, she, no, because she said church steps and he's definitely on the roof. I've forgotten so many of them, but like, I guess, yeah, all my dreams are coming to life. I just met someone else playing by themselves. Really? Yeah, across town in the abandoned building by the click clack. I fucking love click clack. <laughs> they had one of those big saxophones. Hmm. I just thought it was an interesting coincidence. Small town. I maybe I'm maybe I have to collect them in the real world too. Maybe that's what life is telling me. Find all the musicians, bring them together, create a symphony, and then stop whatever evil shit is going on. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I'm like only half here right now. I'm just tired you sick or something i don't even know anymore you should get some cold medicine some crackers and ginger ale Stay in bed and watch bad movies thanks for the advice doc dude he's trying to help you he's telling you like how he de-stresses i feel like that won't fix this one um let's go with that find your own coping mechanisms may preferably not beating the shit out of other people or talking down to other people one time, I got pneumonia. I had to go to school anyway. Isn't that contagious or something? I don't know. Fuck, I was pre-med and even I'm questioning it. Pneumonia is fluid in the lungs, so it shouldn't be contagious. <laughs> no, it's not contagious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. May, you okay? <laughs> the way she's glaring at him after that question. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey. Sorry, spaced out there for a sec. You should, like, see a doctor. <laughs> a lot of people have been telling her that, and she's still not listening. <laughs> I'll get around to it. Thanks. Uh, no problem. All right. Well, probably see you later. Probably. Nothing certain, I guess. Okay. See ya. Oh, we're getting very dark about things. <laughs> okay, now he's just talking about death. I mean, yes, that was what she was suggesting. Oh, God. When she talked about nothing being certain. I space out way too much. Oh, yeah, same. Damn it. I want to get back. No, you know what? I don't need to see the cat. I'm sure there's nothing special about the cat today. We'll be fine. Okay. Need to see Greg. Then I'm going to need to go hang out with Beer. Day just means it can infect other people. This is correct. It's contagious. Bacterial infection spread through droplets, I think. So you can catch it. Fuck. Wow, I really have lost a lot of my memories. <laughs> I thought pneumonia was fluid in the lungs, that it's more like a symptom of something else. Like there are other infections involved, but the pneumonia in itself was just fluid in the lungs and can come on from like a bunch of different things. Even if it wasn't contagious, walking around, not lying in bed, definitely slows down the process of healing a lot. Oh yeah, 100%. Too many people try to force themselves out into the world while they're sick. Yeah, the contagion is one of the biggest things. You end up infecting more people and that becomes a problem for everyone. But at the same time, yeah, take care of your fucking self. Sleep, man. You can catch pneumonia, but you can't You can catch what causes pneumonia. Ah, I got ya. Maybe it's like that. I kind of want to Google that after this. Pneumonia used to be one of my favorite... <laughs> diseases. Favorite diseases is a weird thing to say. <laughs> but anyway, I used to know about pneumonia. <laughs> hey man Hey How you holding up? What a splitting headache I feel like I barely slept Even though I've slept a lot Jeez, you okay? I don't know Can I do anything? Kill me Wake me up somehow Let's go with that one You can catch pneumonia But you can't catch these hands 
<laughs> Weakened immune system, ops risk for pneumonia too. Yeah, that, I, I know for sure there's a lot of things that can lead to pneumonia. Um, like a whole bunch of different infections. I just, for some reason, I thought it wasn't contagious. It can be viral or bacterial, which is contagious. But it can also come from other non-contagious stuff. Okay, oh, th that's what I thought. So it is like a symptom, essentially, of other things. Like there's something that leads to fluid in the... I'm Googling it after this to be sure. I want to remember that. <laughs> hey. Oh. Wake up. I'm going to be honest, Greg kind of reminds me of Luca. He's very Luca coded. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm awake now. So, what are you up to today? Just saying hey. Hey. Later. Okay, yeah. So, there are certain days where you just hang out with people. And then there are certain days you can do, like, your mountain trips and your... Oh, 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 visits to cemeteries and stuff. I could see it. Yeah, just full of positive energy. <laughs> You're not wrong, and I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, everybody's always known him as the puppy dog, and that's how Greg is. <laughs> okay, let's see. If we oh, we do get germ today. Holy shit. Hey, germ. Hey, me. Tony, what's up? Other than the obvious, you seem... There's something to... Totally see Greg saying Pog. Yeah. If this game wasn't set. Oh, wait. This game is set in like 2017, 2018, isn't it? It wasn't too long ago. But I guess, yeah, if he was like 20 in 2017. Yeah, I guess he is too old for Twitch lingo. Oh, unless he was like into it. Um, Luca and Greg are absolutely built differently. <laughs> Do I look any different? For me, you do. Thanks for your attention. No prop. Gotta get home. Where do you live? Mm, across the parking lots up the hill. Back in the woods. D do you have a house or are you just camping? Never been back there. Yeah, I have. Yes, you have. See ya. <laughs> I fucking love him. <laughs> I have never been back there. Yeah, I have. Yeah, you just told me you live there. Anyway, I must go. My people need me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love Jum. <laughs> oh my god. Who is the big bear that keeps calm then? Oh god. I don't even know who would be May is the thing. Like Greg, 100% Luca. Bia? I'd say a tiny bit. No. No, I don't want to cast these characters. These are very real characters that have, like, very serious things going on. I Greg is fine to cast. Because Greg, we haven't seen his backstory. We don't know too much what's going on about him. He's just a happy guy. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> Isn't Bia just you? I am offended. If I am anyone, I'm either the big bear or I'm, like, May's dad. How dare... <laughs> God damn it. I may have not figured out everything in my life, but I have figured out way more about myself than May has so far. <laughs> May has a lot of growing to do. And that's not being offensive this time. That's just straight up. She's 20 years old. She just dropped out of college. She's literally said it. She has no idea why she's depressed or what's going on in her psychologically. She has to start figuring things out. Especially like this whole, like, she's constantly tired. It may be that she's just getting sick or something. But that sounds like severe depression. Like, when you get to the point where you can't do anything, you don't want to get out of bed anymore. But then even, like, sleeping more and more just makes you more tired and more achy because you need to be, like, walking around and exercising and living life. Otherwise, your body starts to break down. It sounds like she is severely depressed, but trying to ignore the reasons that she's gotten there. Also, Loki might be an insult to cast someone as me. Yeah, you seem like a total mess. Thanks. <laughs> Well, that's why I stopped at Bia. I was like, I know some people who have like similar personalities to Bia, but goddamn, all of these characters have like deep flaws, which none of them are their fault. None of them are bad people. They're just all dealing with shit. Other than Greg. <laughs> Greg is just a happy puppy boy. I'm sure he's dealing with shit as well. It'll be interesting watching his story afterwards. Min compared you to Bia, not May. Oh, wait, did I read that wrong? Isn't Bia just you? Oh shit, my bad paradox, man. Bia just you. Bia! Fuck. I mean, yeah, when I was like the same age as Bia, <laughs> actually. Jesus Christ. Except I did go to college and then dropped out. God, am I a mixture of Bia and May? 
Fuck my life. Thank God I grew up. I mean, I've got 10 years on them. That's the important thing. <laughs> Give them another 10 years. I'm sure they'll be way different people. But yeah, I did have a very similar, like, teenage to early 20s as beer has right now. So Lechan is beer? No, Archan would be beer. Lechan. Lechan is just a grumpy guy. Lechan had no fucking childhood. There's no character in this game that compares to Lechan. <laughs> very different stories, very different words. Words, worlds. Why am I losing L's and adding L's? Just an L kind of day. I'm taking all these L's. Well. Whoa. Dude. Wait, wait, that's not her voice. Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I guess. Sure. Tired, had a headache for days. You should, like, go home and rest. Feel like you'd be able to, like, veg out pretty well. Nah, I'm fine. Doing stuff helps. How are you feeling about the whole ghost thing? Ghost? <laughs> Did she forget about the ghost? Or is she just happy that B is actually talking about the ghost and not pretending it's fake? Well, deciding it's fake and me is crazy. <laughs> Sorry. Ghost. Thanks. Wait, what? Wait, did I read that wrong? And I feel bad. I mean, since it happened, I don't feel rested in the morning. I feel like someone else is in my head. My skull is going to explode. So, yeah. Not good then. Nope. Hmm... Still want to check out the graveyard? Fuck yeah, I did. Let's do it. My brain is still developing until mid-twenties, I think. The graveyard, yeah. Oh yeah, no, 100%. Um, I think your brain stops properly growing at like 23-ish, 24-ish. I don't know the exact time. It's also different for different people. I mean, on average, it tends to be faster for girls than for boys as well, from what I remember. Um, but yeah, different people. Oh, 25. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, chat. <laughs> I thought it was like 23, 24, but yeah, 25 makes sense. Um, but yeah, it's definitely different for different people as well. well. That's another reason that I can always talk about the fact that you're not really an adult until you're like in your mid, mid 20s. And all over 25. Holy shit. You must have said it sarcastically. Oh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Certain experiences could affect it as well. Yeah. Foggy. Always got that evening full fog. Legs between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know. It's spooky. I get really sad because it's not here year-round. A beer? Yeah? Sorry again about last night. Ah, it's cool. Who needs a social life? This is social. It sure is. <laughs> Fuck. She did say she wanted to do something here as well, so this will probably be another emotionally devastating moment of her visiting her mother's grave or something. To be fair, our brains never stop changing. That's also true as well. The neuron pathways are always being, like, remade and everything. Um, and everything's also constantly being replaced in your body, like all your different cells and things. If you do something within three months, it becomes part of your brain chemistry. That, that was a... No. You do something continuously for three months eventually it becomes part of your brain chemistry and it becomes like a natural thing for you to do. You can even rewrite your DNA if you do things for long enough. It's crazy. Human bodies are wild. Well, there's the statue. It does look like the janitor. You're right. He has the same like little goatee kind of thing, even though he's a bird. I guess it's more of like a plumage <laughs> and the hat. Ooh, also spooky. What you were like actually kind of afraid i mean i am but like whatever so we wait here yeah and a ghost shows up this isn't dumb don't act like this is dumb hey i'm along for the ride how about you just chill may she didn't say it was dumb just have a picnic pass the time know any ghost stories <laughs> yeah that's exactly what we need <laughs> Not off the top of my head. Okay. What's scary? Uh... Things are, like, monumentally screwed right now. No one in power gives a shit. Or they're actively making it worse out of spite or profit. Oh, jeez. I mean, like... A skeleton or something. <laughs> I fucking love it. What's scary to you, Beer? Reality. The politicians who control our lives. 
the fact that no matter what we do, they'll always be in power because they have all the money and all the control and all the control and all the money and they take over people's minds and they control them through blown out advertising and ridiculously good corporations who write everything that they say for them and tell them what to say and control the media and everything else. And oh my God, he is just like serious shit. <laughs> all right, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. We'll have a spook off. I say something and you make it spookier. All right. How about this? Skeleton in your hallway at night. Skeleton outside your window. Well, then it can be a flying skeleton. That's already better. A regular stranger pierce person outside your window. You're not wrong. <laughs> Skeletons are like a classic horror thing, but yeah, really, they should just fall over. They don't have any, like, connective tissue. He's smiling. Yeah, no, let's go with he's smiling. That's creepier than frowning. And he's from the bank. Oh, come on. I've, f fuck, she literally said what I said. He's here to tell you they're going to take your house. Fuck, BR. This is just a memory, isn't it? This is just depressing. And he's a zombie. Okay, that works. There we go. <laughs> zombie bank guy. All the things you're afraid of are boring. Well, they're more terrifying that way. <laughs> but you're literally just saying, hey, reality's more scary than your stupid horror stories, May. The scariest stuff is like really, really boring. Oh my God, Beatrice. What were we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something? This is dumb. Let's go. No. Go deeper into... Wait. Bea hasn't even done what she was supposed to do yet. She's right, though. No, ah, she 100% is right. Horror stories, they're all fiction. Once you turn off the video, put away the book, stop looking at the scary shadows, they're gone. Meanwhile, real life issues, they're always there. Okay, so... I'm gonna go visit my mom. Yep. She's right down there. Oh. Okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Totally no problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? About your mom and all? It's okay. It happens. Cool, cool, cool. I'll check out some graves. Alrighty. Took a class on death and dying. What kind of class is just about dying? <laughs> I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back at school. It's like something I actually know about. Cool, I'll meet you back up here then. Let's check out a grave or three. Again, May. Oh my fucking god. She just said she was gonna go visit her mom's grave, and May's response was, sure. I learned things about death in college, you know, that thing you didn't get to do that you still hold resentment towards me for and you feel bad about. Anyway, go visit your dead mom. <laughs> Shit, my god. Philosophy, could have been a philosophy, could have been anthropology, could have been biology. It was just the way she worded it. I did a class about death and dying. It's like morbid in the most literal sense. <laughs> Rose, age 95 years. Pretty star. Hmm, standard headstone, nothing fancy. Clearly religious. I'll really be sad about this. 95 years, wow. Yeah, that's a long life. And she was born the most high-tech thing with horses. She had to look like, she had to like look out the window to see a horse. Now we have, like, pictures of horses on the internet. Like, any horse you can think of. She saw us from horses to internet horses. Decent run. <laughs> Fun way to look at it. <laughs> from horses to internet horses. Oh, fuck. 14? Catherine Fish. Ah, oh, dang. They have, like, 14 years. It's not enough time. Poor family. Okay. I'm just sad now. Oh, fuck. Not to mention internet seahorses. We don't talk about internet seahorses. Those are dangerous. Hey! I guess this is the groundskeeper and not just a random creepy guy with a rake in a graveyard. <laughs> My university, there was an actual class about death and dying. Did you take it? I'm actually very curious about what kind of things they did in the curriculum. <laughs> hey! Good evening. Evening. What's up, too, bird? Give her a ghost while my friend visits her mom's grave. You? 
I'm the grave digger, groundskeeper, what have you. Can we talk shop for a sec? Shoot. You dig the graves with a shovel? Did you get spooked out here all by your lonesome? God, I really hope he doesn't dig the graves with a shovel. That takes forever. In the pale moonlight? When the ghosts stalk the rose? Nah, we got a little backhoe. <laughs> that was my college nickname. <laughs> Sorry. Scares the ghost away too, I reckon. Does job pay well? Thinking about digging graves? Depends on the pay. How much? Oh. I'm a wedding DJ on the side. Freaking sweet. Yo, part-time, well, full-time groundskeeper, part-time DJ. Let's fucking go. I will rock you hard. Okay, now that sounds creepy. Sounds great, my man. I'm just gonna walk away. Well, see ya. Good luck finding your ghost. Jen, Greg's cousin. Okay. Grave guy, career idea, grave digger. I think I'd be an awesome grave digger. I still think I'd be an awesome mortuary assistant. Too much work, though. <laughs> Such a leap in jobs. I mean, he's multi-talented. Sometimes he'd be digging the graves. Sometimes he'd be celebrating life and people joining their lives together. It's till death do you part. So actually, they're very closely related. He helps them get married, and then he digs their graves for them. He works throughout their entire life. <laughs> He works weddings and funerals. Our whole life is either one or the other. Exactly. <laughs> Grandpa could freaking lick a wedding. Yes. <laughs> Took a death-related course-ish. To do. Oh, interesting. Next semester, I'll be in a philosophy class called Life, Death, and Immortality. See, that's philosophy, though. If philosophy related to death, that makes sense. If May took, like, a philosophy class that was all about death, that makes sense. Today, class, we're going to learn how to prepare a corpse for the morgue. I mean, that's just straight up. <laughs> so many people have to do those classes. Brad Boyson. Oh, he liked bikes. Doesn't say how old he was. Ooh, fancy. Got a bit of a little misfortune thing there. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to guess he crashed his bike. He was hit by a bike. He loved his bike. Physically. Emotionally. Mentally. <laughs> he loved it so hard, he smooched it. Yep, thank you, mate. So right. Jeez, Bea, how long does a mom visit take? Tick top, Beatrice. We've got places to be. Holy crap. I'm a jerk. At least you said it, May. I was thinking it. But you delivered. Mortuary assistance isn't a lonely job. You got all the dead people to talk with. You actually have a lot of alive people to talk with, too. <laughs> My university got that class too. The syllabus is basically about different funeral cultures and how people deal with grief. The final assignment is plan your own funeral and write a eulogy. That's actually fucking sick. Sorry, I'm distracted by chat right now. In the death and dying class I took, we talked about things like what Bruce probably did. The moral dilemma of doing it assisted. The injustice of gay couples not getting their partner's assets. Jesus. I took the death and dying class at my uni. It talked about death and its effects throughout the lifespan, different cultural views and customs. Okay, so more like anthropology-related stuff. Very cool. Okay. Well, I just guess I've never heard a class that's just literally called death and dying. <laughs> like, if it's like a part of a uh, philosophy syllabus or an anthropology syllabus, I'd understand it. A lot of people took death classes in chat. That's cool. <laughs> hey. Uh... How'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Were you worried that... You know how we've been having sinkhole problems in town? Yes. That's what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mom's were buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill. So I was worried. <sighs> Jesus, that's a terrifying thought. That the grave and your loved one's corpse is just going to be swallowed up. Like, you're worried the ground's just going to cave in? What part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard. You shouldn't make these where sinkholes are a problem. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood. And yet, here we are. Okay. You ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill. And, like, voices. Huh. 
that's uh, uh, spooky. Yeah, not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh yeah, sure. Wait, no, I want to visit the grave first. Wait, why can't I go back down? Let me. There we go. I want to go see the grave. Checked out all the other graves. B is not gonna like this, but I'm interested. Oh, we can't look at any of the grave. Oh, that's gonna be the grave. That's big. Yeah, that's gotta be her mom's grave right at the bottom of the hill. Jesus, there's like none else in the area either. My dad died. The mortician got his birth certificate wrong three times. So we had to keep going back. That fucking sucks. My dad died, yeah, it took like forever for them to actually release the body just because there were so many people dying at the same time. Everyone having a class of death? Buchan just had a date with death. Man, living the dream. <laughs> oh, there's no cult shit happening at the top of the hill? I mean, I guess with chanting and music and stuff, maybe. Maybe the goth kids are up here again. This would definitely be a place they would hang out. Oh, that's why I can't jump on that. It's all just background stuff. Oh, now that's getting real fucking spooky. It is one of the goth kids. Oh, it's all the goth kids. They're everywhere. <laughs> you really said ho weary travelers. I fucking love these kids. Ho weary travelers. You seek answers among the dead, but they shall give you none. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, guys. Do you know these kids? <laughs> yeah, we've met. What are y'all doing? Okay, so... We're the keepers of the gate. There's a literal gate you're sitting in front of. We govern who shall pass. And who shall remain. Uh, all right. Well... Answer, answer us these questions. Truthfully. What? Then you may pass into the realms of the dead. I, okay, okay, fine, whatever. Get on with it. First question. You ever done it? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? You can just call it sex, my child. We're grown-ups here. Well, we are at least. Answer. I mean, why would I tell that to a child? If I say no, they're going to make fun of me. If I say yes, they're going to be gross. And, yeah. Um, fuck it. No. Never got around to it. And you? Yeah. What? When? Summer before 11th grade. Really? How did I not know this? That was when you weren't talking to me. Who? Who did this happen with? <laughs> the funny thing is, even though I shipped them at the beginning, I really don't ship them anymore. But this shit's still just always funny to me. But it's just like, huh? Who is? When? How dare you graduate from being a virgin? <laughs> 11th grade? What age is that? You know what? I probably don't want to know. Ah, uh, you don't know him. It was it math camp? Math camp? Where is math camp? You go and do, like, math stuff. 16 to 17? Ah, uh, yeah, I think that's about average. And camp stuff. Apparently I have lots of sex. I mean, if there's nothing else to do but math, you gotta, you know, add some together and hope you don't multiply. <laughs> That's terrible. It wasn't good. Top notch math, though. <laughs> I love it. She's like, well, the math was better than the sex. I'll tell you that much. God damn it. This is boring. Next question. She's fine. Describe your dream date. These are stupid questions. Yeah, don't you want to ask something like spooky at least? Dream date. <laughs> They're just shy kids that want to learn about like dating and adult relationships. Chill, man. <laughs> they changed math to chemistry. See, that's better than what I said. Fuck, that's way better. Okay, fine. Uh, he'd be tall, dressed cool, really smart, likes good music. We go to the movies. Boring. You? Wrestling. <laughs> like you're gonna wrestle or you're gonna like watch wrestling? We go to see wrestling. I could wrestle. Fuck yeah, May. That's what I'm talking about. I don't care if it's a guy or a girl. They'd have to be like 
Because I don't even want to date someone who's not. You're going to wrestle this person. Yeah, it'd be super tough and cool. We'd be all tired and dirty and bleeding. And then we'd like lay on the floor and tell each other secrets. <laughs> She's a fan of enemies to lovers. Let's fucking go. A state, a street fight. Yeah. You don't meet me like that. Nah, you ain't my soulmate. <laughs> it's actually really sweet. Mm, I guess. What do you want from me? Next question. What is your most embarrassing experience? Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, how many parties do you want me to tell you about? What? Just go with it. Answer. One time I farted in front of the class. <laughs> that's it. What were you expecting? Okay, that sucked. Now you go. Uh. Oh. God. One time in junior high. One time in high school. One time in college. Do need to know more about the college. Junior high would definitely be the most embarrassing, but let's find out some secrets about college. Wasn't there that guy who did backyard wrestling? Yeah, but I think he was too old for me. <laughs> but yeah, maybe May should join the Federation. Just fuck it. Start wrestling. Maybe she'll eventually find a perfect person. <laughs> there was this cute girl I saw at the cafeteria like a few times a week. I guess our schedule was lined up or something, which is weird about college. It's like a little town. Back to the chase. Jeez. Okay, so got up the nerve to talk to her and I followed her out into the hallway. I don't know why, but I shouted, Hey! And she turned around and, and, and all I could do was wave? Oof. This is funny. And, and, and. Then I turned around and tried to walk away or cool, but I ran into this door frame right behind me and it hurt and I staggered back and, and fell into the trash can outside the cafeteria. My face went right into trash spaghetti. <laughs> she didn't even drop spaghetti. She went face first into spaghetti. That's fucking awesome. Holy shit, dude. Continue. And I like flailed until the trash tripped over. And I got up and the girl had, 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 she'd watched all of it. And I tried to give her this smile like I'd somehow meant to do that. But it turns out I'd swallowed some of the trash. Spaghetti. And, and, and... I puked all over myself. No wonder you came home. <laughs> Shut up. True, though. At that point, just give up on anything social. <laughs> I love how the music cut out for that story. Now it just cuts back in as well. This is a sick BGM. It's nice and relaxing. <laughs> wow, that's messed up. I'm gonna show up. Thanks for nothing. You've come face to face with your lowest moment. You may pass unburdened. Unburdened? Yeah, for real. Okay, let us pass already. The power to pass was in your hands all along. Yeah, I know. You're like 15. Get the fuck out of my way, small fry. The effing hell? You may go. God damn it. Go to hell, teens. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, what, what did you guys expect? You're acting like they actually defended the gate somehow. <laughs> I hate everything right now. Forget it. Let's go. They're just having fun their own way. Let them enjoy themselves. May is like a tornado. Yeah. It rolls into town. Fucks around with everything. Oh, well, hasn't been too much of a disaster. Just to the people she likes. <laughs> so, like... Ghosts. Ghosts? Like, I don't know if I believe in them, but... Mm-hmm. You know how you said you've been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, I don't super believe it's not just dreams. Because obviously it's dreams. <laughs> Fucking love beer. Okay, that's certainly your take on it. But, like, did you ever see my mom? Oh, shit. Um... I am not saying yes. That opens an entire fucking can of worms. I saw a giant crocodile alligator. It may have been, but I'm going to go with no. I mean, I can't really tell. I don't think the ghosts were like people. Like they're not sitting around being ghosts. It's more like echoes. Echoes of shit that happened and people that were here. 
Huh. Trust me, none of the places looks like super much fun. Your mom was rad as hell. Too rad to hang out there. <laughs> That's like... I appreciate you trying to turn this around. I'm doing my best, Beatrice. You actually did do really good there. <laughs> Alright, anyway. But the bad news is that we're locked out by that big-ass gate. Why make a giant gate in a graveyard? Um, to keep people like you out. Stop what you're probably going to do. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll never know for sure. All right, well, I'm not climbing it. Go do your thing. My thing? We're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and shit. Jeez, got to do everything around here. It's your ghost. I'm just the driver. Fine. Hang out. I'll be back. Honestly, it was nice. Yeah, I can just jump over it. it ain't about brute force. It's about dexterity. And charisma. I got all the riz I'd ever need. Do not hear my story about telling that girl. Hey. <laughs> Maybe she did it like Uncle Aaron from Into the Spider-Verse. Maybe it would have actually worked if she didn't, you know, fall into a trash can and face first into a plate of spaghetti and then swallow the spaghetti and then throw up the spaghetti on herself. <laughs> Suddenly the embarrassing moments that hold me at night aren't so bad. That was honestly fucking impressive. That... I mean, yeah, May is just cringe all over the place, but not in necessarily in a bad way, just in like a, oh, my poor precious baby kind of way. Sometimes in a bad way. <laughs> Sorry, I don't dare to ask nonsense anymore. You're good, little flame. Don't worry about it. You broke one of the chat rules. I'm sure you've read through the chat rules by now, so don't worry. I hope you enjoy the streams. Thank you for coming back. It's just, yeah, one of my rules is not to ask me just randomly to say specific things. Uh, so yeah, welcome back. Lovely to have you here, and I hope you continue to enjoy the stream. EGM is beautiful with a whistle. Yeah, this one's really nice. I liked the little, like, one up on top of the hill that was playing through the goth kid's music as well. There's no way I'm going to leave Bea behind. Ugh, Beatrice. Just learn to jump. What are those scrawny legs, I guess? How do I break that gate open? There's got to be a way to break that gate open. Okay. Guess that's what we're doing now. <laughs> what if I knock down the tree? I could totally knock down that tree. I'm a beast. <laughs> Can't even get back up onto the tree, can I? Oh, I can. There we go. Yeah, boy. I'm a hardened criminal now. I'm not just break. Well, that is breaking and entering. I'm not just entering. I'm breaking and entering. That's a much more lucrative cry. <laughs> she's not a cat like you, girl. Yeah, she's doing her best. <laughs> uh, I sure hope nobody saw that. We're going to get sued. I don't think anyone's back here. And it's getting late. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, see? I told you you're good at this. My back hurts. So, <laughs> yeah, I bet. Even being a cat ain't going to save you for that long. <laughs> what do we need to do? Uh, I'm going to go find little Joe's grave. If he doesn't show up, I'm going to knock it and knock on it until he does. You're not allowed to destroy anything, May. You're about two minutes late, Bia. <laughs> okay, fine. Whatever. Let's go. It was actually very smart of her to bring Bia in. Because if I saw a ghost by myself, she would not have fucking believed me. And that would have been just so embarrassing. <laughs> Rhymes? Rhymes. <laughs> Joe Shade. Yeah, this is him. Down here is all swampy. Ugh, gross. So what do we do here? Um, I, I guess I'm gonna just look around. Or... Ghosts? Ah, oh, don't make this a thing. It's not a thing. It's cool. May, I am here for you right now. Sorry. He had a tone. Tone stowed. <laughs> she probably has a tone most of the time. It's a resting bitch voice. It's no big deal. It's not her fault. Thank you. He is a good... Uh, I thought you were here for me. What? Where? Where? Bia? Okay. She lied to me. Any ghosts over there? No, Bia. You'd know. 
I'd say. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> At least they're communicating. It's fucking adorable, honestly. Nothing better than a swampy, wet graveyard. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is where the sinkhole is going to happen. What if I just sink straight into Joe's grave? Oof. Found some old stuff. What kind of old stuff? Graves? Wow. <laughs> Graves in a graveyard. Amazing, May. <laughs> At least you got the fireflies around you. This grave is for a horse, I think. I don't think they ever buried horses in people graves. Actually, you'd be surprised. A lot of people bury animals in people graves. If you have the money, they'll let you do it. Imagine the big horse-sized coffin. Imagine. <laughs> Come to think of it, I would have to be a big-ass coffin. <laughs> I'd imagine they just turn horses into glue for the most part. And lasagna. Are there animals too? Yeah, I, I, they might be doing like an odd taxi kind of thing in this game. I don't know. Um, or like a Bojack Horseman kind of thing. They really never mention it too much. <laughs> Nobody really mentions what type of animal they are. And they have like pet animals as well. So it's very confusing. Lasagna? Yeah. Yeah, that was a big scandal in the UK at one point because a certain big retail chain. It found out that what they were selling as beef was like 12% horse. There was like a lot of horse meat in one supermarket chain's like frozen lasagna meals. This is stupid. You chose to be here! What were you expecting? Something? It's just stupid. You didn't pop out of the ground or anything. Is, is that what you were expecting to happen? This is stupid. I'm gonna smash his shit up. She just told you not to do that. Ah, <laughs> oh, whoa, dude. Hold up. No. Wakey, wakey, little Joe. Okay, that didn't sound right. We're literally going to create a sinkhole. Fuck my life. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. What did you do? You were right. About what? I didn't tell you to do that. About the sinkholes. Lucky it wasn't deeper. Wait. Is that... Yeah. That's a coffin. Oh, crap. So we're gonna... Open it. Right. No, we're not going to open a coffin. The rotting corpse in it. Bia, it's been a long time. He's not rotting anymore. We got more of Mr. Miranda situation going on here. I do not get that reference. Either way, pop it open. If there's no skeleton, something's going on. Living in a country where horse meat is completely normalized. That's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, I, uh, I don't think it was the dangerous part of parts of horse either. I think it's like the livers of horses that can royally fuck you up. Like your kidneys can't take all the iron. I think it is. It's either it's, it's some sort of thing. But yeah, horses, kidneys or livers. One part of them can like really fuck up human biology. Uh, Mrs. Miranda is the old lady who... Oh, mummified her husband. Thank you. Okay, I forgot about that. I forgot the name. But it's the guy with the missing arm. That would be fucking funny. Oh my god. They just replaced the body. Do, 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 do. Man, I wish I could become a glue. Can you like sign a paper so they can turn me into some glue and make slime with glitter and fragrance out of me? I don't think so. I think the glue comes from like the horse's hooves. It comes from like the collagen or something, right? So I don't think humans can become glue. You turn yourself into a diamond or a tree... Or like coal? There's lots of things you can turn your body into. Jeez, God, we are not doing this. You're leaving. Aren't you kind of curious at least? Yes. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Crack that bad boy open. I mean, you've already gotten him out of the ground. Go for it. You're doing it. I'm standing here. Okay. Okay. I'll count to three. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, the shaking hand. <laughs> Poor May. She's doing her best. Come on, pull, mate. Harder. Ah! 
except that's exactly what you want to see that just means it's just a normal decomposed skeleton <laughs> what <the>? guys <laughs> that's the good ending <laughs> okay <laughs> we can be turned into crystals i think yeah we can there's a bunch of different things you can do to like human biology carbon goes in a lot of different directions what did somebody say it's not all right to disclose what kind of meat you're selling <laughs> don't worry about the meat i'm selling Oh, traveler, you can't handle my meat pies. My meat pies are too powerful for you. <laughs> ba -ba -ba -bum. Fat can turn into soap. That's how some of the famous corpses that won't rot happened. Yeah. Um. Also, depending on like the kind of stuff that was in their grave and stuff, a lot of them got preserved. Like it was like basically embalming fluid before we knew what embalming fluid was. But yeah, fat does turn into soap. You can actually extract it safely as well and make your own human soap, which is crazy. Is that another nickname you had in college? Foul play? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. <laughs> so what? Foul play? Who knows? We're detectives. We're not. We're like criminal vandals. Or like grave robbers or something. Those two. We're a lot of things, right? <laughs> Shh. What? Is there someone back there watching us? Oh, God. I don't know where they went. Just like, out of the corner of my eye. Is it? I don't know, but we need to leave now. It could be the ghost. No, we're gone. Now. Okay, fine. Jeez. Yeah, maybe it does. Oh my god. Hey, you see, ghosts don't have to chase after you, so... Probably not a ghost, but definitely somebody wearing one of the old miner uniforms and chasing us around. Interesting. Want to be turned into crayons? <laughs> we got a knacker out in chat right now. <laughs> or if, would you donate your crayon self to the knacker Because I know they love crayons. <laughs> Sometimes I go to our local graveyard when I don't want to think anymore. Oh, think to, oh, talk to anyone. It's weirdly calming for some reason. Graveyards are actually some of the most peaceful places on earth because yeah, people actually respect them. There are some people who are scared of them, but there are mostly just people who just, you know, you don't fuck around at graveyards. It's disrespectful. So yeah, they're a good place to just hang out, chill, walk around. Nobody questions while you're there, why you're there because they just expect you're not, you know, visiting someone. So yeah, it can be a good place to take a stroll. Imagine turning your body into pure plasma in the last way with a blast. You can turn yourself into a firework. However, I don't think you could turn yourself... Maybe? Plasma? I mean, that's more the hydrogen, so maybe. Who knows, actually? It'd definitely be really fucking expensive. If I had a choice, I think I'd just ask to be turned into a necklace. See, I just don't care what happens to my body when I'm gone. As far as I'm concerned, that's just meat. Eat me if you want. Throw me in the river. Do whatever the fuck you want. Just, you know, get rid of me. It's only so much of me that's flesh anyway. Just bury me with my cyanets. Nobody gets to steal my cyanets. Respect the dead. Killed a mosquito. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> well, that was weird, huh? Weird. That was not weird. It was a crime. Did you see the ghost? He was there. How do you know the ghost is a dude? Okay, fine. But he was there. <laughs> May, it was the groundskeeper or something investigating who was ruining his graveyard how do you know the groundskeeper is a dude oh shut up she visits her mother all the time and you know the groundskeeper's a dude <laughs> ah, i saw the effing ghost why does no oh are we blacking out May really does need some more sleep. Uh. Uh. May? What's wrong? Uh. Holy crap. Uh. Oh, my head. Jeez. Uh. Let's get to the car. I've got migraine pills and we can get you home. No. Need to talk to everyone tonight what everyone okay 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 i need everyone 
Stop talking. Go get in the car. I liked how her ears drooped. You could really see how tired and messed up she was there. This isn't everyone. This is just the group. <laughs> Bia is such a good bean. Yeah, she is. She's taking care of her friend. I wonder, is it just exhaustion? Maybe. No, no, we'll see. We'll let them. We'll let them figure it out. Let's just give it time. Thanks for, like, coming. Again, we live here. <laughs> I fucking love Angus. It's so good. That was weird. Yeah, I mean, it could be just about anything at this point. It could be exhaustion. It could be the fact that she's not sleeping properly or getting too much sleep. It could be, like, some sort of actual, like, neurological condition. It could be anything at this point. Well, who knows? Maybe there's a real fucking ghost haunting her. Maybe it's just the pure stress. Yeah, you're in my living room. I'll accept the thanks. So, like, do you have any idea of what's going on? There's a ghost that's in my head. <laughs> There's a ghost following me. I have no idea. Yeah, let's be honest here. Let's explain what we think we're seeing, but... But there's a ghost, and it's after me. I know you guys don't believe me. It's not that I don't believe that something's happening with you. I just don't know that it's a ghost. Yeah, dude. There are like 50 better explanations for all of this. Like what? You have like sudden stress migraines. And you saw something that freaked you out. Makes you stress out. I get migraines. May, you've gone through a lot of life changes recently. And I don't know. Stress does weird things to people. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. See, this is the problem. Every time she hears this, she doesn't like say, you know what, you're right. I should go to a doctor and a psychiatrist and start talking to them about this and check that out. She's just like, no, it's a ghost. They won't believe me. I'm going up into the woods. I know this thing is up there. I know what I saw. If you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll go alone. You're really going to hike up past the basketball court? It's late, dude. What do you all care? You don't believe me anyway. Bro! Oh, God, Bea did the exact right thing. She said she believes something is going on with you and she wants you to get help. I'll go. Listen, I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in you. Angus, you fucking legend! Ah, dude. Well, let's go find your ghost. I was fixing to say something like that, but you said it better. Aw, you guys. It's not even ghost hunting season. Yeah, it's Buck. You're outlaws. But thank you for believing me. Mostly, I just don't want you wandering around up there alone at night. Close enough. All right, let's hunt some ghosts. <laughs> I love how happy Greg got as well. Like, Greg's happy a lot of the time, but the fact that he was just like, ah, oh, that's my man. Oh, they're so fucking loving as well. I love, oh, my God. Fuck, that is dangerous to be out in the woods then. Especially, well, at least none of them are fucking bucks, but yeah. They should at least have high-vis clothing on. You never know when some hunter's gonna see something moving around in the woods and just shoot first and ask questions next. I haven't been on a night hike in a long time. I listen for hours. Why? No reason. <laughs> okay. All right. I got work in the morning. Let's go catch us a ghost. Yo, this music is sick too. Skull hole. Little Joe's dang skull. Is this why his spirit wanders? Must he be avenged? Saw him. Time for the night in the woods. Hell yeah, roll cr I wonder if this is the finale, actually. Maybe this is when we're going to finally find out exactly what's going on. Or just the bridge will collapse and we'll die. Oh, I can't jump down. How have I never been back up here? Hence his work. <laughs> nah, people are up here all the time. I came here when I was like 12. What's up here? You just old junk and trees and animals. What is it, Bia? Nothing. Nothing? I was praying. 
Wow. Really? Yeah, let's go. Huh, I didn't know Bria was religious. Interesting. Love everyone being together. Yeah, we finally get the whole group together. I don't have to like select one at a time and feel like I'm missing out forever. Wait. What? Oh, I don't... What? I think I heard an owl. Oh, hon. <laughs> he calls him hon. Oh, that's so adorable. Greg got attacked by... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. That's why he wanted to listen out for hours. <laughs> when we went to the building. Oh, my God, that's adorable. Greg got attacked by an owl, Bia. What? When? When we were breaking into that history place. I don't think they attack groups, bug. He calls him bug too. Jesus Christ. Well, if I get mauled to death, I warn y'all. I'll punch any owl that gets near you. Aw, thanks, Cap'n. Bug? Cap'n? Are they just trying to make us all feel single as fuck? It's not even singles day. Get out of here. Big dangerous Greg. Scared of birds. I almost died from that owl. They're so cute. Yeah, they are, man. They have all the fucking pet names and all of them are adorable. They don't go for the boring ones like, ah, sweetie, cutie pie, honey buns. Ugh. Wow. Gotta put all this stuff somewhere, I guess. You remember this from when you were 12, Greg? Yeah, I was scared of it. How do they even get all of this back up in here? The <laughs> shudder. <gasps> What's up? Nothing. Just like all this old, old stuff out here. It's here every night when you go to sleep. So? It's out here in the dark. So old. So old. So old. So old. Is, is that what you're afraid of, May? You're afraid of growing up? Do you just want to be a kid forever? Is that what's been stressing you out so much? Dude. Hey, May? I'm fine. We should go back. This is stupid. No, it's fine. Ghost hunt! Woo. Fun. May is cracking. Yeah, she is. I mean, she's already had multiple migraines, been sleeping like 16 hours a day, and still feels tired all the time. She needs to see all of the doctors. Uh-oh. It's going red again. May afraid of wasting away. Maybe. I mean, she just had her grandfather pass as well, who was like one of the most important people to her. Maybe she has been thinking about like what actually happens after death, especially since she's not religious and she's been having some questions about like Christianity and stuff since her mom's religious and stuff like that around her. Maybe that's it. Maybe she's just dealing with mortality. And that Peter Pan syndrome or something. I don't actually, I know that that's a syndrome. I don't know exactly what that entails. I mean, yeah, it just sounds like she's scared of getting old. She's scared of being like an adult, of having to like go out into the world properly. Maybe she dropped out of college hoping she could just go back home and everything would be the same as when she was in high school. But yeah, she also studied death and dying. True. What the? Huh? Oh my God. Oh my God, there's an actual fucking cult. Are you shitting me? You fuckers have been joking about it all this entire runtime. Wait, did I joke about that at some point? Oh shit, I did. I said I really hoped there wouldn't be like a cult thing going on. God damn it. Oh god, it really is. Um ba 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 ba, ba Sally face all over again. <laughs> I wonder if this is Bruce who's tied. Well, actually, it looks like they're wearing cultist robes as well. Unless they're just tied up in something. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume it's Bruce for now. We'll see what happens. No. No. Ah, oh, hell, he's awake already. I wonder if this is the town council then. There's more than just the town council though. There's more people. Anyone got any juice? No. No, guys. Ah, oh, hell. Guys. Guys. Wait. Larev, you knew this was gonna happen. You knew it the moment you screwed this whole thing up. Ain't like you weren't on the other side of this before. It was a mistake. Okay, so it's not Bruce. And it is one of the cult members that they're now doing to themselves? He fucked up somehow. I owned up to it. 
Uh, this is you owning up to it. Am I allowed to make one mistake? One mistake? You have the goddamn arm in front of the click clack. Because you god knows what's going to happen to this town. Oh, it's 100% the town council. I wonder if Love's the little old man with the mustache. <laughs> what was I supposed to do? Is your screw up? Ugh, his leg's stuck. It wasn't like you couldn't have called any of us. I panicked, okay? I was embarrassed. Oh, wish you'd called me, Love. Think any of us want to do this? Guys, we could figure something out. Nothing to figure out. But... But... but I got family! Love, uh, don't insult us. You know you don't gotta worry about Jeannie and the girls. They'll be completely taken care of. I never want for nothing. He's not gonna butt edge with that ledge sticking straight out. Ah, oh, hell. But Dave! Rick! Benny! Guys, you know me! Alright, Dave, you hold him. Sorry, love. You know we got no choice. I'd appreciate it if you stopped laying a guilt trip on us. <laughs> yeah, how dare you make us feel guilty for murdering you and cutting up... Oh, well, well, I guess this time they're cutting up the leg before they even kill him, so that's different. He said all the names, damn, yeah, and I do not recognize any of them, which... Me being stupid, probably. No. 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 No! Hold him still. No! Still, this will go easier if. <laughs> All right, he's free. Oh, they didn't cut off the leg; they just broke it in multiple places. Fuck me! It sounded like they were slicing, but no, they must have just been breaking. Love. <laughs> Love. Ain't no one can hear you this far out. You're just putting yourself to more anguish and... I... Oh, hell, let's get this over with. We should just make this easy. Oh, God, his bone's sticking out. <gasps> the hell? Shit! Did May just fall? Oh, my God, they recognized her immediately. May? May Borowski? Run! Jesus fucking... Oh my god, can I control this? No. I can jump though! Okay. Don't get caught on rocks. How are they not jumping over the rocks? This is bullshit. Oh, they're fucking gaining on me. I don't want to die. No! I wonder if this just goes on forever until they catch you. I'd be kind of fucked up. Wee! Oh god. Wee. <laughs> Wee. Oh, Jesus. They got real close. Where are your friends? Hopefully, they got the fuck out of there. I think I slipped a little bit and maybe fell slightly down the hill before I ran. So, hopefully, they're just gone long before me. I'm sorry. What? But for the end of everything. Also, I got an achievement called The End. Oh, no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Uh, guys? Number one, where the fuck is Angus? Ooh, they're playing the Xbox. Number two? Huh? Nice. Nice. Yep. I barely remember how to play this. Like riding a bike. I play this game in my head when I'm falling asleep. Hmm. I like go over the plots of the books I've read. Ah, oh, look at this smarty. I try to remember every place I've ever been. In order. Whoa, that's intense, dude. They playing Smash? Uh, possibly. I mean, they didn't really give it away, so it could be anything. <laughs> Smash is like the classic, though. Wow. All right, well. I'm beer now. What the f... Is, is May dead? Maybe May dead. <laughs> Did they like erase everybody else's memory? 
a dream it could be a dream it could be a flashback it could be anything it's just interesting so no word from her parents yep did you leave a message that's bad right that's probably well let's go with this one yep this game had a great soundtrack very high school summer i just didn't like half the bands on it we're gonna go see the blank tones in a few days or we were i don't know so definitely not smash a game with a bunch of different bands could be like any of the racing games or a lot of fighting games like guilty gear and stuff i don't see anyone out there just wait he'll be back so we still have no idea who this is the cops let's go with that one uh big guy dirty coat or several they could swap out i can't tell oh have we been captured by the cult I thought they were talking about anchors at first, but maybe they're talking about like a cult person is keeping us locked up here. Getting dark earlier. Oh, Angus! Okay, so, got brownies, got sodas. Want some brownies? Making brownies. And, yeah? Maybe lasagna. Oh, that sounds fucking heavenly right now. Especially right next to the solstice, right when it's getting super cold. Let's fucking go. This is like days after it happened. I genuinely don't know. I think they're talking about May when they're talking about like have her parents cool yet. So yeah, I'd imagine it's a day or two or three after. Maybe she's in hospital and hasn't woken up yet or something like that. I don't know. They are part of it. Oh my god, imagine if they were. No fucking way. <laughs> no, I don't want to believe that of them. Lasagna? Brownies? I could go for some brownies, too. I got some mix last week. Buy all the food. Need to eat. Everyone needs to eat. Aren't you, like, scared and worried? Good dinner makes everyone feel better. Someone's got to take care of you. Thanks, Angus. You're extremely good. Ah, uh, no more than anyone else. No, you're better than the average person, Angus. You're a good dude. Brownies would hit good right now. Fuck yeah. Stress cooking? Yeah. Some people just like to feed other people when they're dealing with their stress and pain. What up, germ? Um, there was a gunshot at the end, right? It kind of... It sounded like some sort of crash. It could have just as easily been like a tree breaking or falling down or something. But it could be that, yeah, I mean, they said it was buck hunting season. Maybe there was a hunter out there. Maybe May got lucky. Maybe somebody saw like May getting chased in the woods, happened to have a rifle and was like, wait... Who's chasing that little girl over there? I say little girl. <laughs> Who's chasing that young woman over there and just like took a shot to try and scare people away or just saw something running through the woods and was like, ooh, buck, I'm gonna shoot it. <laughs> I played this until I broke out one of the sticks. That's harsh. I don't screw around. Fuck yeah. It was a stressful time, senior year. I remember. Sorry about your mom. Thanks. See you, May. That's how you do it. I am so tired. Could, like, curl up on their bed. Like a whole living area under there. Yeah, that's actually really cute. I love that. I hear voices and footsteps. Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> I fucking love these guys. Wait, everybody shut up. Oh, that's the real footsteps. What? I heard it too. Seriously, what? There's someone standing outside the door. What? Everyone be very quiet. Oh my god. What in the name of fuck is going on in this game anymore? <laughs> I'm gonna guess this is May waking up again in the woods, but what the shit was that scene? Oh. I like fell down a mountain. So maybe it wasn't a gunshot. Maybe it was the sound of me like slamming into a tree and breaking some branches on my way down. Yeah, we're not going that way. 
She's alive for now. Oh, the sun's rising too. Shit. She was out here all night. And she looks like she's about to seriously pass out. This is really a night in the woods. Now it's a day in the woods. <laughs> oh, God. The time skip mechanic. Jesus. How lost are we? Or is this the afterlife? Oh, no, wait. I think I'm getting back to town. Maybe this is... Maybe I was the one at the door. What are mailboxes for no houses? Four poles like the dreams. This does feel very dream-ish. Is it snowing? It could be snow or it could be like falling flower petals. They did say it was going to snow soon. It was getting like really cold. I don't know yet. Need more context clues. So empty here. Oh no. Out of energy again. Yo, the blooming effects are so good. Every time she has a migraine and passes out. Church? Are these the cult members? Or did somebody just find me and bring me to the church for refuge? Because... This would be fucked up if these were the cult members. God is here. In this room. I believe that. Times like this, we can call out. I know that our cries are heard. Why is mommy looking at me with such angry eyes? She doesn't look worried. She just looks annoyed. One is missing unless they're behind Fu. Oh, yeah. Yo, baby girl, sell me. Better not be sell me. Sell me better not be part of... Oh, shit. Let me move myself somewhere. I don't know. Um, I'll move myself up to you guys so I don't block any of the text or the characters for now. Oop. The guy with the stars. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's my old teacher. And I vaguely remember the goat dude. I don't remember the old crocodile. Oh, he was the one who insulted me on the first day. Facial expression is a bit scary. Yeah, she doesn't look angry, uh, like worried. She looks angry. <laughs> I know that our cries are heard. While we're here, maybe someone would like to say something about May? That'd be nice. May is a good girl. She and I explored the stars. And she loved to hear about them. She... I'm sorry. It can be difficult. Anyone else? Okay, this has to be a fucking dream. This is like a funeral. And you wouldn't have a funeral with the body just laying out like that. Unless they are the cult members and they're about to kill her. <laughs> I've always known Maine as the kid down the street. A little younger than me, but tough. I've been through it in the past couple of years. Addiction, jail, rehab, divorce. Divorce? I, I didn't even know you were older than May. I thought you were like 18. And I just think it's not fair. But May of all people should have trouble. Where's the god in that? Where's the higher power? It's all a bunch of bullshit. Thank you, Selma. Anyone else? I'll say something. May Borowski's always been a menace. I called the police on her more than once. I hope she wakes up and learns a lesson. That's all I got to say. Okay, so she is not dead. This is good. That was a dickish thing to say in front of a comatose child. But at least we now know she's just passed out or comatose or something. Uh, okay. Thank you, William. Ah, oh, speak up. Go ahead. Hey, he was a daughter to all of us on the block. Speak for yourself. Sometimes folks in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hope we find out what exactly happened to her. Oh, we know. Friends told us. Yeah, they were out in the woods at night, down the end of Center Avenue. 
Someone was out there hunting illegally. They got shot at. A May fell and... She must have fallen off a million things a million times. All it takes is landing the wrong way one time and... Oh. Well. I hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about it. See if she remembers who done it. I'm sure she... Now that's creepy. They were actually in the hospital. She was just imagining the church. She like half conscious, kind of hearing them in her mind. Interesting. I wonder if the people who show up change depending on who you talk to the most in the town. I definitely did talk to Selmy and the old man quite a bit. Well, the old man didn't even say anything. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. What happened to this one? Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? Nah, supposed to be fixing the door. In here? Nope. Okay, so... She's gonna be fine. For today, leastways. What? What? Who are you? Janitor. I reckon he's the... Oh shit, she's speaking. Sorry, I was just going to jump in on the fact that the other kids didn't even talk about the cult at all. They talked about them being chased through the woods and a bullet being shot. Are they trying to hide the cult thing? Did the cult thing not happen and may imagined it in her head? Like, there's a lot of interesting things. Is it a cult member? I don't know. He looks exactly like, like, the... What is that statue even? I think they said it was the town founder or something. Um, the one with the hat. Like, he does look exactly like that. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. The house is gone. May. Oh, thank God. Did you say May? It's dead. What's dead, honey? May. Honey. Everything. Everything is dead. If you told someone not in the cult there's a cult that tried to kill their kid, they would probably not work out for them. Like if the police are in the cult. Maybe, but if you don't tell anyone, it makes it way easier for them to kill absolutely everyone and get away with it. Now I'm just back in bed. Okay. Which dagger saved me? Uh, uh, what the fuck is going on now? Where's my mommy and daddy? Okay, can't go that way. Like in Hot Fuzz. See, that's what I was expecting when it came to the cult. It was the idea of like the town council thing. Trying to make the town more habitable. Getting rid of the things that they did not like about the town. They were waiting for May to wake up. Maybe. This may just be a dream as well. Is this church my god oh shit this is angus's house i got to angus's house oh my god may holy shit it's may it's me he came back to life i don't think she was dead pizza party fucking love greg greg she's barely able to stand my dude I'm feeling woozy. You should lay down. You can sleep in our bed. I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? My dude, is that what's important right now? No, sound is good. Mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So she just, like, wandered out of her house. Yeah, and all the way here. Jeez. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out there. I sure hope she's all right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Germ's just playing games this entire time. He does not actually give a fuck. <laughs> Both of you. Shh. No. 
What? It's less noisy. <laughs> Fucking hell. So, how well do you know this guy? We order pizza, what, twice a week? At least. I'm out by the highway now since past abilities closed down. But you two were trying to save money. What? Don't police our lifestyle beer. <laughs> okay, well, just as long as we're sure the delivery guy is safe. Okay, so the cult thing did happen. They are still worried about the cult. I can spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide here until he dies. Until we die, whoops. <laughs> All right, well, as long as there's a plan. Hello? Look who's awake. It's him. It's the pizza guy. Pizza's here. Um... Oh, okay. You, you guys are all sharing? Um, wait, which one's beers? Greg, oh, the, this is beers. Mine. Oh, they're just holding them there. Why are they? Are you guys okay? What the fuck is with the... Why are you putting the pizza back? So what happened? We called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were like in a coma. Did you die? No, I just took a very long nap. Nice. Uh, yeah, nice. My crust. Be the crust. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, food is not making her feel better. I had this dream. Like a vision. Right. Time traveled. Oh no, I'm like in and out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. Didn't she walk out by herself? Right now, I think we just have to roll with it. I, we don't know how much of this has been May's imagination, and we don't know how much of even this is right now real. I, for all we know, she's gonna wake up in like another five to six scenes and she's still gonna be kidnapped by the cult. Sorry, Mom. Scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. We'll come pick you up. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna just sleep here. Bia is there? Bia is here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Have Bia drive you home. I will. May? I know. If it's a call, if you need to come home. I will. Love you, Mom. I love you too, sweetie. She might be sick. She's definitely sick. Just a question of if this is like the ongoing... Ooh, now the screen's shaking slightly. This is like the ongoing thing she's had a problem with in her brain, mind, whatever. Or if this is like something new from like, you know, falling off a mountain and shit. What a brownie. No, I can't really eat right now. Like, I'd puke, but there isn't anything in there. So I'd, like, puke my actual guts out. All right. We need your guts. For the moment, at least. Thank you, though. These guys need to offer her some, like... Bland-ass food. With some nice rice congee or soup or stew. Good. Wild week, huh? You could say that. Can we get out of this? I don't know if we're getting out of this. Well, even if we don't, and we're ghosts, we should hang out more. Deal. <laughs> Fucking love crack. <laughs> yeah, even if we're ghosts, we should totally hang out more. <laughs> mashed potatoes. Oh, I feel like mashed potatoes would sit a bit heavy, but maybe. People did say she looked sick before the fall off the cliff. Yeah, and she was having migraines and stuff. She's full of, like, stress and everything else as well. Bananas, rice, applesauce, and toast. There you go. Perfect. All of that shit. Oh, I hate most of it. I like bananas. <laughs> I like rice. Toast, though. Ugh. What even was that game? Where... God damn it. Um, actually... Werewolf Shredder Gear 3. Oh, I played this at Casey's house, like, years ago. I played it yesterday at home. Cool. 
Nice chat, Jerem. <laughs> I fucking love him. You don't like toast? Nah. Too plain for me. I don't even like toast when it comes to like putting things on it. Like peanut butter, jelly, all kinds of other things. Just go for bread. I'm lazy. You've got Wi-Fi. Nice. Like we're in a real... It's like we're a real place. At least within range. I don't even have a phone because of this place. It's the 1800s here. In May? Yeah. Really glad you're not dead. Me too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Fucking... These relationships are so funny to me. They're like close but not good at talking to each other. <laughs> Can we all hit the sack? Gonna like wander around the apartment. No, fuck it. I, I talk. Well, actually, I'll have one more wander. Don't push yourself. Just to make sure I didn't miss anything. <laughs> God, she's so slow now. Poor May. How is she not in hospital? Unless they haven't taken her to the hospital because they're scared about the cult. But her parents shouldn't know about that. I don't know. Now I already interacted with everything. God damn it. Now I have to go all the freaking way back to beer. Okay. Still don't know where Casey is? Nah. He just went off somewhere. I think that whole like, hey, if they just disappear and never come back, you don't know if they're dead thing. I think that was meant to be like linked into Casey. Why are Fuchan noises so cute? They're not. They're cringe. <laughs> Build faster because of purring. Aw. That's how cats be. Can we all just hit the sack? Cool. I'll be right out. Hey, kids. Can we do lights out now? I'm going to drop over. Yeah, dude. Thank you. See you tomorrow. You sure it's safe for you to leave? None of this got anything to do with me. No weirdos are following me around. Oh, right. Yeah. Hi, John. Aww. That's fucking cute. You know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? No. We weren't talking then, and I thought it'd be weird to bring it up now. And I was playing this video game. You were, like, dating ghosts or something. I've done many games like that. They're always fun. Okay. I was really into it. Played it like 24-7. Till this one afternoon, suddenly like everything, something broke. Broke? It was just like pixels. Characters on screen. I felt like I knew them. They weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. Their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either. And it felt so sad. Like I just lost these real people. This whole thing we had, it was just... Me. Alone. And like, that realization, like, dumped out of the screen and into real life. Went outside and the tree out front. I looked at it every day like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing. Just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by and he was just shapes. Just like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried. Because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff. Stuff in the universe. Just... Dead. Wow. That's... Aww. And the next day was that softball game. Andy was the pitcher when I was up. And he was just shapes too. Just lines someone wrote. Nothing in there. I was just so scared and angry and just... I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him. Smashing his face in with the bat. Shapes. Red shapes. All over the grass. Oh my god. 
God, May. Did you talk to anyone about this? After it happened, they made me go to therapy with Dr. Hank. Oh, God. He's the worst. And he made me start a journal. A journal? Yeah, he kind of just said it would help to be able to get my thoughts down. Did it help? Kind of. Sort of. Since this whole thing happened, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes. Like back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while, but I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. And there was this statue of, like, the founder or something. A really shitty statue, like all rusty metal. Oh, yeah, she said it was like an abstract piece, so it was all just shapes. Fuck me. That just brought her back to everything. And it was these shapes. And he was pointing down at me. And I was so... scared. I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat or I ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. Finally, I got up the courage to leave. I came home where everything was fine. Fuck me, that's like so many different things at once. So she became incredibly attached to fictional characters when that broke it theme. It was probably like her form of escapism and coping mechanism. When that broke, it just broke something in her. And then she had like the big dissociative episode. Beat the shit out of a kid so that everybody started treating her like she was weird. The therapist didn't get her to actually talk to anyone, just told her to write everything down rather than to actually start dealing with things properly. Went to college. College just made it worse because there was a bunch of new people who didn't understand her and nothing felt safe. Hid in her room became like hik hikikomori, like agoraphobic for a while. Going between not eating anything for days and just shoving pizza full of your face, which has like no nutritional value, and chugging cough syrup. God, she fucked with herself so bad. And then, yeah, she just wanted to come home. At that point, it's like PTSD level kind of shit. She just wanted to return and hoped everything would be normal like she left it. Which, of course, it wouldn't after two years. God damn. And the whole shapes thing. Jesus Christ. I wonder if it is gonna have that revelation of like, hey, we're not even animals. We are just all people. <laughs> Fuck me. I heard some people say it might be derealization or depersonalization. See, I don't know the proper terms. I... Dissociation is normally when you just don't see yourself as yourself anymore. You feel like you're watching yourself rather than in control of your own actions and body. So yeah, I don't know enough to actually like diagnose anything or say the exact thing. It was just, yeah, fucked up, man. But yeah, I can't imagine like just seeing other people as if they're not real, not being able to connect to anybody. Jeez. I knew everyone and it wasn't just dead shapes. Watching me. Jeez. Something broke. In my head. In my life. I don't mean to be like... Whatever, but... It sounds like you're suffering from some serious stuff. Yes! And like... I can help you find some help for it? Dr. Hank already tried. Not every therapist is a good therapist. I think Dr. Hank should stick to family medicine and dentistry. I'm sorry, he's a medical doctor and a dentist? And the half dozen other things he does. Oh my fucking god, why are they letting this dude do every medical kind of thing in the entire fucking town? What the shit? Maybe leave the mental health services to someone else. Like, there are such things as depression and anxiety and like, I don't know what you're going through. It exists. I... I thought when I came home, it just... I felt so safe here. Everything made sense for a few days. And then all this. And... 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 Shh. It's gonna be okay. We'll figure this out. I'm so scared. I know. We're all scared, but we're going to make it. You should get some sleep. I... Aww.
He is so good at all this, just telling her, hey, we're going to find help. We're go no, May! The fuck are you doing? Stay in the fucking couch. Sleep. Hi, guys. Love you. No! What the fuck are you doing? The hole in the center of everything. See, I told you it was holes. It's all about the universal bussy. Game is way too fucking relatable. Yeah, the whole thing where, like... Her favorite game where you were just dating ghosts, essentially, like... It was a coping mechanism. It was escapism. Um, and I've definitely had that kind of feeling before. When I had, like, my agoraphobic episode, actually, one of the biggest things that kicked it off was Persona 4, of all things. I was playing Persona 4, and I remember, like, crying my eyes out when the game finally ended and, like, you get on the train at the end and say goodbye to everyone. It was like, those were my friends. Those were the people I played time with. Those were the people I enjoyed. And then, yeah, shit like that. Dropping out of college and just not wanting to do anything for a while, not wanting to be seen by anyone. It sucks. It's rough. Train hits hard as fuck, yeah. Oh, shit. What are you? I mean, he's just shapes, I guess. <laughs> are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy. What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk! Fine. Let's do this. Oh, shit! Fucking hell! God damn, Greg got his sister's cro a cousin, his cousin's crossbow. Jesus Christ. I always like seeing people play and react to this game in May because people are always very surprised to see she isn't just an arsehole. She has real problems. Yeah, I, I kind of felt that while we were dealing with everything. It was just also really annoying. <laughs> but yeah, it'd be like that sometimes. We've talked about that multiple times. Everybody has bad days. Everybody has a bad like, episode. She's been through way fucking more than I thought, to be fair like college permanently messed me up for other reasons so i related to may even before she finally spills what happened yeah part of the reason that i hate a lot of the things may says is because when i was younger i was one of those know-it-alls who thought they knew everything as well which is why i'm like oh, damn it may shut up <laughs> because a lot of it is me face palming about myself in the past and being like god oh, damn it Fuchan, you're still a fucking child <laughs> grow the fuck up not in the same way, but just like similar things of her feeling like she understands the world completely and is above it all. And really, she just needs to deal with a lot of shit by herself. God damn. Never know what other people went through. Exactly. Or are currently going through either. This game has been really good for that. For like, I mean, we don't even know what's going on in Greg and uh, Angus's life just yet. But we do know what's going on in like Bia's life. Bia's dealing with so much shit. May's mom is dealing with so much shit. We don't know exactly what happened to Bruce. God damn. And we don't even know if this is real. This could be fun. <laughs> Boom. Get away from her, you piece of shit. You're outnumbered, asshole. Uh, you shot me. We can all use both of our arms. I will personally disassemble you. Yo, Bia's fucking pissed. Well, oh, jeez, Bia. Uh, Arrow! You okay? I didn't want to... I was such an idiot. What were you thinking coming out here alone? I... I had a dream. This is all because of me. Let's go with that one. I'm sorry. Are you the one putting on a dumb costume? And following me around? Kidnapping people, maybe? Is that your fault now? He... It... It's in my dreams. Hey, kiddo, we're out here, outside your head. Whatever's going on in there, I believe you, but I'm not going to let you wander off into the woods to die. No, but... Okay. We're all in this now. Even if we weren't, I'd still be out here with you. Me too, obviously. Really. Really, we all would be. I fucking love... Oh, Bia's grown so much as well. 
Remember when Angus had to be the first one to step up and say the really loving stuff that really landed well? And Bea was just there like, yeah, I was thinking of saying something like that, but you said it better. Now she's saying it better. She's not being quiet anymore. This is fucking awesome. Much as I love Bea's root, her issues are kind of on the surface, while Greg's root adds to so many layers to him and Angus. Yeah, I'm interested in seeing what's up with them now as well. Not going to do it on stream, but I'll definitely check it out on my own time. But yeah, learning Bia's shit has been crazy. And seeing this growth as well, where she's finally just speaking her mind, it's awesome. Listen, I'm all the family my dad has left. I for damn sure am not dying out here. And you're... God, you're the closest thing I have to a sister. I don't want you to be gone. So you're not dying either. I just got sisters owned. That's okay. We knew this ship wasn't sailing. That's good. That's cute. That's adorable. <laughs> Found family. That's what matters. Besides, this just fight a lot more than friends. So yeah, that's that's right. <laughs> that sounds okay. By me. Oh, he's wounded. Sounded like he went back up to the mine. Yeah. What do we do? Follow him, I guess. No, I have to go alone. Fuck that shit. No, Nick, fuck you. <laughs> Be a kicker ass. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. He's up in the mine. We might be able to corner him and... Tie him up? Or something. Can you walk me? I... I think so. Might be a little snow. Snow? Slow, sorry. <laughs> I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. All right, let's go do something really stupid. <laughs> That's so... I love how they just ignored her completely. <laughs> no, I need to go alone. Anyway. <laughs> it's so fucking good. Honestly, May needs a system on a love interest. She does. She needs exactly what she's got now. Now she's got a fucking support system or actually look after her. That's what they all are. And yeah, Bia is the closest one just because the route that I went down. I wonder if it's the opposite if you go more down Greg's route, if Greg's the one who speaks up here. But yeah, a relationship right now would fucking be terrible for May because she needs to heal so fucking much. So yeah, this is good, but still. Bia. <laughs> Besides, I don't think Bia's into girls from what I've seen so far. <laughs> it's open. Oh, jeez. Right? We could, like, lock it shut or something. Ah, dang. You're right. No. He. It. Whatever. I have to go down in there. Well, then. It's like all of his friends are gone. It's one guy. Just one guy. Just one... Something. Bang, bang! <laughs> Fucking crack. He's excited about this. Even if we might have to murder somebody here. Oh, this isn't dangerous or anything. <laughs> Nothing to be scared of down here. Just a party. <laughs> Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Oh, that's such a cute callback. Yeah, 100%. Like, they're calling back to all the different adventures we've been on with Bia. It would have been with Greg instead if that was the case. Of the freaking glowing eyes as well. Greg somehow loves murder? I mean, crimes? Crimes. <laughs> He's just growing to a different level of crime. <laughs> that creepy gasping sound. It's like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. Gonna hear us coming a mile away. You sure we want to do this? Yeah, man, you sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I... I don't know what's gonna happen down there. Okay, then. We'll come out of this together. Fuck yeah, we will. Found family, baby. Oof, that thing looks old. I haven't used this mine in, like, a lot of years. Generations, even. You are tour guide now? Don't be mean, Greg. <laughs> She's giving us useful information. 
Got to level up his rap sheet? Hell yeah. Hell, we went from just breaking into places secretly to breaking and entering to doing vandalism to grave robbing. Murder's just the next step. We have Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the stop. And I get bored. This is in the brochure. Apparently. <laughs> Found crime, family. Rhymes. <laughs> well, here we are. Oh, God, they look creepy as shit in this lighting. Holy fuck. <laughs> May, you okay? I have my inhaler. Oh, I'm fine. It's just like... It's like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically, you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. I mean, it's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. Shh. I hear something. Down there. You're going to be okay, May? Yeah, I'm all right. We should be quiet. Yeah, I gotta save up for the screaming later. <laughs> They're so fucking cute together, even if they do look fucking terrifying. Now, arson. I mean, hopefully not arson. Although, I don't know if the fake cigarette is actually, like, lit with fire. But if it is, there happens to be some gas trapped down here. <laughs> we could go boom at any point. Angus worries so much. He's a big old care bear. Yeah, he's the daddy of the group. I love him. <laughs> Door. Door. I know. Whatever. Here we go. Secret tunnel. It sounds like something's crying in the distance. Holy shit. Okay. Opened up this area pretty wide. And that's a whole bunch of stacked things that look like they could collapse at any moment right on top of us. Yeah. <laughs> Seahorses are the... Yeah, I'm ignoring them for now. <laughs> this is like such a tense moment and I just keep seeing... Blop, 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 and I'm like, that's cute, but we'll deal with that after the stream. <laughs> ah, jeez. What is this place? Oh, shit, you're right. There is a pentagram in... Oh, fuck. I didn't even notice that. Good eye. Looks like a church or something. And like... Junk. Oh, God. Oh, God. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh, God. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's through there. I'm still very interested to see how this ends. I don't know how this is going to end. Like, if this is all going to be a representation of something in May's mind, or if there's actually, like, an evil fucking cult, or what the fuck's going on? Who are they trying to summon? May not be. It may just be that, like, other people from that band have been down here. Into the darkness. I know you're in here. Say something. Well, how about this? Oh, shit. Okay. Well, how about this? Dip a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself. Yeah, that's the whole. We're like five times scarier than you. Unless they're all fucking here. <laughs> oh, and that's how I would have died. Fair enough. There they are. They're right there. I'm gonna kill them. Eid, you'll do no such thing out of your hands now he shot me and i'd say we're even the girl got shot at the other night shot at shot at the other night yeah sorry about that you're apologizing it was a bad call i am sorry uh it's okay no it's not explain yourselves didn't actually hit me, so... Wait, what the... Who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to protect their own and their neighbors. Fucking knew it. It is the town council, isn't it? <laughs> but then... Why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All of you are part of this town. By family relation or just by being hard workers. Contributors. 
Um. Okay. This is 100% hot fuzz. It's 100% hot fuzz. So we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. He's not going to let you leave until he's had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through the shoulder. I don't think he's going to be having much say in whatever. Yeah, they don't mean him. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so you think that I'd... He kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired. Constant headaches. He's been following me. Following all of us. He... A little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, God. I've seen this. Or I've... I felt it. It was Ed Scudder and Jim Dorney who found it. Twenty years back or so, after the West Mine closed out past Brittle. Vess Schumacher, last supervisor, was out here when the company locked off the entrance, carved his initials and date in the door. Then you got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine. Big hole. Copper. Abandoned. Shoot, long before any of us were born. Too close to water. That water was poison. When the first settlers came out here, that old spring used to be right above where we're standing. That water dried up. 1992 or so, some men from West Mine came back up here to try bootlegging. Practically built a new elevator, got the main tunnel cleared. Never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper. So Ed bursts through that wall and finds this place. Jim walks right into that hole. And never hits bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer. But someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl. In dreams and in waking times. It's what brought you down here. Jim is in the one they thought was the ghost to the one who died, Lil Jim? What? What is it? What does this have to do with you or me or anyone? No, 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 no. Tell me what it is. <laughs> black goat. Not even black like the color. Black like the space between the stars. He's down there, in that hole, looking up at us right now. He don't talk to you. He sings. The music I kept hearing? The painting. Yeah, there was a black goat in the painting as well. And the stars behind it as well. Why would you just do something a hole in a cave told you to do? You gotta understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone. Our kids were leaving. Government didn't care, only wanted our votes. Was putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants, while we worked ourselves to death. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, damn, I hate this crap, you old dipshits. You finished? See, normally I would agree with you, Beer. However, there is a giant hole with a demon that sings at people in it. At that point, you can us Maybe let them finish their story. <laughs> yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at the church. But when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. God, I think I know. Yeah, he's already in there singing you, right? I... I... I had explained it to a few folks and they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. <laughs> you mean the shining? <laughs> the glimmer? Ones it takes a shining to. <laughs> Fucking me. Uh, they actually said shining. Okay. <laughs> it rubs off on you. You can do things. I've never seen it. But they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us all into this. After that first time. After we picked one out. Well... Not only was the town holding stable, it was almost like we were getting younger and money came too. Still a few of us left from back then. Picked? Yeah, they're sacrificing people. Let's go with picked. Love how it's just a little unserious? Yeah. <laughs> it feels like they realized how silly it would be to do this big of a twist at the end after everything singing so real and Scooby-Doo-ish rather than, you know, actual horror. And so they were like, fuck it, let's, let's lean into it. <laughs> 
First one was Tom Turner, who believe you me was a bastard. Just pure trash. We got him down here, and in the hole he went. The next week, flowers blooming all over the hills. You throw them in the hole? That feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so, he starts singing. And it's someone's turn to find someone. Is that what you were doing the other night? No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number broke the rules and had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm gonna be sick. We never pick no one who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. <laughs> so just like me, that's fun to hear. <laughs> You've been... Oh God. Oh no. How many people have died down here? Casey? The Hartley kid. All he was gonna contribute to society except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad was a rap sheet a mile long. Or whatever sad end he'd wind up at. We did him a favor. Y you c killed Casey? Oh my god. We don't use that word. You know he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleared him up. That's where Casey was headed. Jesus Christ, dude. You killed Casey. You want to act like we didn't do him in this whole town a favor? Oh, God. Casey's been down here the whole time? His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg. He was my friend. Oh, shit. They've got rifles. <laughs> All right, now. Throw it down right now or I will shoot. <laughs> what if I get you first? Boat sticking right out of your eye. Bang. Bang. You brought guns down here? Yeah, they all have guns, I'd bet. Dangerous is far out in the woods at night. Basic safety. I... I... Throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Don't make this our time? Oh, time to die. <laughs> They're willing to all die as well. Jesus. Back. Dang it. No monsters. None of this. None of this is happening. We're not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Awesome Spring survives. Things can get better. These mines are going to be humming again someday. Old males puffing smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. Used to be you provided for a family, bought a house. Now you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Kids leaving more than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying, houses left empty. You ever seen that? That's not what you... <laughs> Murdering random people isn't gonna fix that. God damn it. A home became a tumbled in pile of wooden plaster. A job became a burned out brick box or a hole in the ground. But we can change that. We can put this place back together where it won't be just shapes. Uh oh. Is May gonna agree with them? I mean, she's falling down the endless spiral, the continuous hole. Oh god, what if she agrees with them? I'm gonna die down here. I mean, to be fair, that kind of short-sighted... That's the whole thing I got annoyed with May about earlier, where it was just like... Yeah, fuck you guys, you're working for the system, you're part of the problem, you're a cog in the machine. It's like... So deal with the people that control the machine. The people who take away access to the machine. Instead of, you know, just throwing random people into a hole and praying that that works. Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old. And even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood. Carry this on when we're gone. Really? 
You're like pitching us on this? Were any of you even miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now, financially like? Or is this just some big costume party murder club? For someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying. That don't matter. <laughs> it does. This is real bad. This is insane. Why should we help you? Why shouldn't we just call the cops? Let's go with that one. <laughs> Follow that up and I'm obliging the stream rules. Oh yeah, no, don't worry. Don't spoil anything. <laughs> oh, or you mean, oh, okay. Not getting into like serious talks. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> and say what? You saw some men you can't identify in an abandoned mine behind a locked gate and an elevator that won't run. And you saw a hole. Okay, fine. Why should we help you? As if no one is here to do this. You remember that flood a few years back? Remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles. Possum Springs bleeds to death. Soon we'll all be dead. And this town will just be fields and trees. Fields and trees are nice, my dude. <laughs> I've seen it. I know you have. I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So we can leave. No one's gonna stop you. But understand that you don't know who we are out there. But we know who you all are. It ain't fair they get to leave and I probably got permanent damage. Shut it, Ede. Oh, so they have code names for each other as well. Fuck, imagine if like May's family is here. God damn. Maybe Bay's family are like the back not saying anything so they don't get caught. Jesus. You don't know a thing about what he wants, what he is. Eat, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you. The truth is, I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> I... I can't move, you guys. I'll carry you. Jesus. I wonder... Like, has May been chosen then? Like, straight up, is she being summoned to go into the hole? Or is she, like, being summoned to be the next leader of the creepy peoples? I have no idea. They should learn to adapt. That's pretty much it. I mean, this happens in real life all the time. And it does suck, but... There are a lot of towns that do turn into ghost towns. Because it's right, young people move out to find different opportunities. Mines run out of the things that they were mining. Industries die off. People just have to move on. Structures crumble. Things need to change. It sucks, but it's reality. I have no idea what to even think about any of this. And yeah, they should be at least able to find the guy who got shot with the crossbow. Unless he's really good at like hiding it. Uh, Damien Jake, it's one of, uh, well, I don't know if they were spoiling, in which case, fair enough. But at the same time, please do not, like, at people in chat. Um, that's against the chat rules as well. But thank you for telling them not to spoil things as well. Please do not spoil things. <laughs> it's just horror. That's not a word you get to use too often. It's all I've got left. Like, everything else in my head is gone. Let's get out of here fast. I don't know if I... Talk later. Old, old stuff in here. And yet the elevator still works. <laughs> no mention, sorry. No problem. Uh, thank you for telling someone not to spoil as well. Um, hoping it was just like an accidental spoiler kind of thing, but yeah, it's all good. No worries, anybody. This is crazy. I did not expect this to go in this direction, especially when it was continuously building up into the whole like them actually realizing May had some serious fucking issues. I was like, oh, so it's all in her head. And then the cult thing turned out to be real. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to put you down for a sec, okay? Okay. So, Casey. Yeah. I... Yeah. Then for what? I... I think I get it. Wow, really? 
Too tired to explain it right, but... Like... They lost what they thought was gonna happen. Which is what happened like a long time ago. Or how they remember or how I like picture it. And things it gave them. And so Casey and that kid at Harfest and... Sorry, I lost it. It's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again, Angus? Yep, sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. What? Shh. I thought I... Oh, this fucker. Why is he so crazy about this? Oh, shit. Kick him in the face. Holy fuck. Wait, that top of the head. Run, 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 run. Also, he lost an arm. Was that the teacher? The top of the head shape looked like uh, Mr. What's-His-Face. It was like shaped with the bear ears with the scruff. It better not fucking be. Holy shit. Is everyone okay? May, May, are you okay? The one who got shot? Yeah, it was definitely the one who got shot. He was pissed. He wanted revenge. He did not want us leaving. May, say something. <laughs> May? <laughs> Shh, it's okay. It's okay, I've got you. He's gone now. Shit, how are we gonna get out of here? Shh, give her a moment. Feel air coming in from somewhere, so we're not gonna suffocate. Okay, well that's a relief. Oh, how do you? I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. The Angus? Yeah. I love you. Oh <laughs> shit! Even May said it. Fuck! In the middle of all this pain, that's what brought her back. <laughs> Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered again which is weird <clears throat> that's like the third time in two days third time's the charm guys the air's coming from back here all right i'm up you sure yeah i think i can walk at least boarded up long time ago can we get through let's find out let's Get out of here. I would maybe be the one doing this. There we go. Hell yeah. Found family together. Yep, that's some fresh air, all right. And water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water? Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river. We're in a mine. Right. <laughs> Same thing, my dude, but good enough. And May's two dads, I'm crying. Yeah, May has... Well. Angus is everyone's dad. Or daddy, depending. <laughs> but I feel like, yeah. Angus is the dad. Greg's like the little brother, even though they're the same age. And... What's her name? Bia. Bia is the older sister. Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're going to die in one foot of water. Right. Oh, I wonder if this will lead to, like, the underground area where we kept finding trash with the teacher. The ex-teacher. Uh, guys? Okay. I'll go by myself. Someone who lives near caves. Cave rivers are very dangerous. Yep. Yep, they ims. I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but, you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital, 
years ago. They said I had an anger problem. That's not true. I was angry because of something else. Something I'd lost. Trying so hard since not to be angry. Got me all defenseless. I lost more and more and more. It's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college, on the bus I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree. Finally blown off. I was so scared. All the time. And the fear... Hurts. Feeling like everything is over? It was over long before I got here. So long. Hiding. We're trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop. Until I die. But when I die... I want it to hurt. When my friends leave. When I have to let go. When this entire town is wiped off the map. I want it to hurt. Bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on. Until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens. I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt. Because that means it meant something. It means I am... Something. At least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something, at least. You know I can't understand you, right? Shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end. I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're going to kill me right here, then do it. If not... Hey. Dude, you okay? Whoa. You got all sleepwalky there for a sec. You want me to carry you? No. I think I'm good. I'm just... very, very tired. She's not holding her chest anymore, or like with half-closed eyes anymore, though. Maybe it's kind of left her, the weight that was weighing her down and everything. Maybe it's given up on her. Love that monologue so much. Yeah, no, that was written very well. Because even... <sighs> I don't like the idea of all of this being real. <laughs> I, 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 I prefer the idea of it all being in May's head, essentially. And that would be like a cathartic moment of her realizing it's going to be hurt, hurt, but I can't just run away from that. I can't run back home and try to turn back time, which is what she did. She tried to run back home and turn back time and live in her small little country town rather than growing up and continuing her journey and trying to get over some of the pain that she's had in the past, trying to get over some of the things that she's been dealing with mentally and emotionally. And now she's finally realized, yeah, it does hurt. It is scary. But she's got friends. She wants it to mean something. She wants to be able to feel things that aren't just fear, that aren't just fake, that are there for her to deal with, I feel like. It's kind of a mixture. Some of it's real. Some of it's just her May trying to make sense of everything in her head. Possibly. But yeah, I prefer like the completely fictional thing. Some of it's real. There's definitely a cult. The cult definitely believe in what they're doing. The only question is, is it just a bunch of people who have all lied to each other? It doesn't sound like they even have ever heard the thing sing. It sounds like it was just the Ed guy who heard the thing sing and convinced everyone, hey, if we shove somebody down this hole, the town will get better. And the truth is, time goes on. Sometimes you just get lucky. The town isn't completely dead yet. That might not be because, be because of all of the murders. It may just be because, you know, the town hasn't died just yet. Very, very tired. Hang here for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh-huh. Hey, there's light over there. Did you smell that? I bet he did. Smell the light? That's impressive. Oh, no. I could follow my friends. Or I could dive back into the darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. 
come to talk to you again. Nope. I thought I was going to fall back down again. I kind of wanted to see the bad end before we did a good end. Yeah, I've just got to follow my friends. Okay. Seeing it a second time now, I can see how even the thing about, that the cult says is pulling her in. It'd be all in her head too. Yeah, it could just be that they're all like going through similar situations that she is. Nostalgia for things the way they were, even when the things didn't even used to be all that necessarily good. Working in a mine is not a good fucking job. People get swallowed up all the time. Mine collapses happen. Bad air, bad conditions. People die all the fucking time. And yet they're talking about like working the mine as if it was like this great thing and like yeah the industry was booming we were making money and it's like how many people did you die how many people got horrific like lung problems from breathing in all that kind of shit down there cult let past stabilities die some good they were <laughs> maybe they should have thrown more people in the hole they threw more people in the hole past stabilities would still be around <laughs> oh my god Ed Rose tinted glasses. Well, I mean, we've talked about that a lot when we were talking about nostalgia recently. Everybody tends to look at the past in a more bright way. So whatever you're dealing with now, that's what's weighing on you now. Whatever dealt you dealt with in the past, you knew that you were going to get over it because you did. So looking back in the past, you're like, oh yeah, that shit I dealt with back then, it was nothing. Things were so t good back then. Wish, I wish I'd realized how good I had it then. Ah, sorry, I needed to drink something. And obviously there are times where you just genuinely know things were bad in the past, but in general, especially if things are bad in the present, you look back to the past and just believe, ah, it was so good there. In the past, I didn't have full grove in the comfies. Hell yeah. This makes a running gag my sister and have really bad into the hole. <laughs> the fact that we were joking about holes the whole way through this and then they were just continuously like, ah, oh. <laughs> they probably could have supported an entire family on one miner's income. Yeah, I mean, that was just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, healthcare was shit. <laughs> there were a lot of bad things in the past, even though, yeah, the economy was definitely better. One person could work and support an entire family. That's true. And you could buy a house for like $12,000. But again, so many things have gotten better in the world since then. It's a trade off. It's a trade-off. Bum, ba -da -bum. Aw, I'm glad you guys like having confidants too. That's the thing. Like, I keep talking about the rose-tinted glasses, and it's true. But at the same time, I'm in a pretty fucking amazing place right now. But yeah, a couple years ago, when I like first got diagnosed with my condition and shit, like, that was the worst moment in my life. Looking back on that, I'm like, yeah, that was fucking horrible. But I go back a bit further than that, and I know I was having a terrible time as well when a lot of shit was going wrong in my life. And I look back at that, and I'm like, ah, that was nothing. I just had to get through it. it it's, it's a weird situation. But anyway, these guys are just essentially lost in so many other things. What is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when? Looks old enough, at least. For sure. I fucking love Bia. Bia is an incredibly intelligent person just reading those brochures in her apartment, not apartment, her workplace all the time. <laughs> Hello? We're down here. Don't ask us why, please. <laughs> Could get lucky and someone's out there in the woods at night. I, I can try to make it out. She is a good climber. No, I can like... Okay, yeah, are you up for this? <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm a good climber. I got this. Yeah. I don't know. I'm like all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? No, like when your body is like, whoa, I almost died. You get all the hyper because you're filled with dolphins? Wait, what? <laughs> you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Okay, I am seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorphins. Oh, fuck me. That's... <laughs> I didn't catch on to that at all. It shouldn't even be endorphins. It should be adrenaline. Endorphins is more like when you're feeling good and happy. This should be more like, hey, I'm gonna die. I gotta, gotta get my shit together. I gotta, yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, okay. There. Thank you, those. Okay, well... Ride those dolphins up and out of here. Uh, that's assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. 
Oh shit, yeah, I can't even run. I can only fuck. <laughs> Ooh, the music. I bet some of these are going to end up falling on me. Dolphins, bless me. Yeah, that was actually one of the cutest things I've ever heard. When she just said dolphins, I was confused. But when he realized it was in dolphins, I was like, oh my god, that's adorable. Cat hand! <laughs> now go find a rope. This place. Huh. Chum? Huh? Is this where you live? You did always seem kind of weird. Don't tell me you're part of the cult, too. Come on. Wait, no. That's fucking seahorse voice. Why is that? Um, uh, he, hey, me. Chum? Yeah. What are you doing out here? You live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We were all stuck down there. You were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Can you go get it? <laughs> I love jam. You guys were trapped down the well? Yeah. You get a rope? Yeah. <laughs> I could love him. Hey, May? Yeah? Was that? Fuck. Was that Jerem? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods. Don't question Jerem. Jerem's his own person. Jerem, Jerem figures things out for himself. <laughs> also, who has rope? And you know what? I shouldn't question that either. It's very useful. I definitely don't have any rope in my house. If somebody falls down a sinkhole near me, they're fucked. <sighs> My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. <laughs> I fucking love you, Jerm. God damn it. You're the best, Jerm. You need your sugar and caffeine. Oh, uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yep. Jerm, can you like, I don't know, seal up this well? Hmm. I got dynamite. <laughs> of course you do. What? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small. Okay, that works. Thanks, Jerem. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Hi, guys. I got dynamite. <laughs> or at least I can get some. There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Jerm is good. Jerm's a good man. He is good. He's very odd, but he's a good person. It strikes me that we just murdered all of those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken and we caused a cave-in. That was self-defense. I guess, but we did cause the deaths of like a dozen guys. Honestly, maybe they'll throw themselves into the hole and maybe the town will flourish for like the next five years. <laughs> no, no, no. They're all still alive down there. Oh, God. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, that's worse, May. They get to slowly starve or dehydrate to death. Or maybe some of the cave collapsed on them and they're just crushed and not even able to breathe right now. They're feeling the same kind of feeling that May was feeling about half an hour ago. That intense weight on top of their bodies. But, you know, physically. Well, we're brainless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like... It's morally gray. We're not murderers. Like, if we'd had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. It was only because that one guy grabbed me. They're not murderers. If anything, they're manslaughterers. And to be honest, they were feeding people to a giant cave hole, so... <laughs> I would have. Yo, fuck yeah, Angus! <sighs> what? They, like, killed people. 
We're trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they all go straight there. Jeez, Angus. You're a real one. Fucking legend. <laughs> That's what I think, at least. Hmm. This is like that trolley thing. The trolley problem? That trolley thing. Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. <laughs> B is so fucking done. I was in a trolley problem. I mean, you may have saved a lot more people down the line, I guess. Maybe. God, I still can't believe the whole Casey thing, man. They just threw that out there. At least they can identify who the cult members were in a few days after they reported missing. True. But imagine how fucked in the head you would feel if you went home and it's just like, Mom? Dad? Mom? Dad? That'd be fucked. Aunt Morcop? Definitely all the fucking homeowners association creepy peoples. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh... Are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. Easier for me to get it all out here. And I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. None of us asked for any of this. And it didn't happen to us because we're like, special. You can work as hard as you want, but the universe is going to keep doing what it does. I don't think any of us deserved all this. This is all stuff that started long before we were born. It's all like moving so fast and you're dropped into it. And you're just trying to grab onto something. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. And you kind of killed that guy to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. Lol. <laughs> Lol. I notice they didn't show her father in the house. Bea's father was not on the couch. Was Bea's father one of them? Maybe that may actually deal with some of her problems. Or maybe he's just out doing something for once or in bed. But either way, maybe he was one of them. I don't know if I'm ever going to understand what all just happened. I hope it stopped. I just feel right now like all I want to do is to wrap my arms around all of you. Not just because I love you, but to keep you all together with me. Wrap up into a ball and no one can hurt us. Sorry, I'm rambling. Germ, buddy. Germ, you didn't even use Messenger. Guess I'm just typing at you wherever you're at. Bea, you're definitely something. I'm so sorry about all you've gone through. I don't even understand all of your problems. But if I could, I'd fix them. I'd fix all of it. I'd buy the tools to do it from your store. Oh my god! Or like, borrow them at least. Better friend would buy. But I'm what you got. And I'm glad. Yep. There it is. Now oh, I'm just gonna erase all that. Fuck you! Send it to them! They're your friends and you should communicate how much you care and love them! That was really well done as well! Oh, did she accidentally send it? Oh, shit. <laughs> Guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired. I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, May. Log off. <laughs> she sent it accidentally. Let's fucking go. No, that was well done. Especially the ending. The ending to Bea specifically was so beautiful. <laughs> Man. That's so true. Not just for Bea, though, but for everyone. Okay, one more. Changing of the seasons, short days, longer nights. Okay, so we're finally... We made it through the night in the woods. Now we're into winter. We made it through longest night. Um, but yeah, it's so true. There are so many people in the world where it's just like, they don't deserve the shit that they're dealing with. But that's life. Not everybody gets a hero to come along and work out their problems with them and give them the space or the time that they need or the money that they need to get back on their feet. Fucking sucks. It's just another day. <laughs> Life's a bitch, and then you live. And you just keep going. Ugh. Stuck in the abyss, pew, pew, pew. What's that supposed... Oh, shapes! <gasps> She's drawing what she thinks of herself, maybe? Or just of people in general. But that's what she saw. 
chest king babies bombshell oh she is so fucking in love <laughs> mayday bia bia stuck together don't suck together oh hello birds oh dina ex cousin okay in bug okay this is all the rest of the same well that's so cute she's in love the mayday is so good Oh, and that's the final page. Shapes was if the kid she broke up, she beat up. Oh, I, I guess. I mean, there is a lot of blood splatter on the ground behind him. So I guess, yeah, that's that. Bum, ba, bum. Hey, friends. Okay, before I talk to any of you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, now I'm ready. I'm emotionally prepared. Oh, shit. Let's go. He actually changed his away message. Away message. Good to be alive this morning. That's all. Fucking love Angus. He doesn't give a shit. He's just like, hey, we survived. That's what matters. Now we move forward. Hey, man. Nice messages last night. I mean, like, really. You massive dork. Oh. And practice today, because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the Snowkin. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. <laughs> I love how often he signs off his little IM messages, like, really, really seriously. Sincerely, Gregory. Anyway, Snowkin. <laughs> hey, May. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we're doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. Okay. Am I just going to walk around town and try and figure out who's missing and who was in the fucking cult? <laughs> and then I'm going to have to do another shitty rhythm game and break my brain. <laughs> Fuck. Epilogue stars. Yeah. Even looking up into that big old abyss in the sky. Still beautiful stars to enjoy around the place. So many stories to tell. So many different civilizations we'll never know anything about. God. It's us. It's just us. Home and us. I don't know what this feeling is, but I'm not going to cry today. Aww. Hey, Granddad's clock. Hey, Granddad. Oh, sounds like she's really enjoying life more now. Despite everything, it's still you. Yep. May not be what she looks like now anymore, but still her. Let's go, May healing. Yeah. Love to see a growth arc. Did we see the parents, though? Not yet. Mom should be downstairs. Dad should be at work. Yeah, I am very interested if it's going to turn out that they were just gone. We're going to eat you for Thanksgiving, bird. Why are you so mean to the poor bird? I should, like, reread some of these. I mean, I got time. The cozy months are coming. Shapes from beyond the veil of space. Yeah, let's go with that one. I thought that would just remind you of the crazy Lovecraftian shit you've been going through. Let's see what the back of the book says. Released in 1937. Oh, fuck. It may actually be Lovecraft. Shapes from beyond the veil of space is a towering achievement. Marks the start of the weird gothic genre. Influence on much of the 20th and 21st century horror science fiction and pulp literature shapes is sure to make you question just how far away the night sky is from you at this moment cool oh shit i didn't even think about the fucking link to the shapes as well to how may was seeing the world oh thank god her mom is here may honey is that you yeah back in the kitchen if you want to talk i have so much to tell you i killed a colt Hey, sweetie. Hey, mom. How are you feeling? Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? No can doozies, baby doll. I gotta go to brand practice. Why? It's been... I just... I... You're an adult. And you can do whatever you want, but you do live here. And you are still my baby. Aw, Mom. You need to come up with some ground rules, just because. Honey, I mean, you could have died the other night, and then you just left to hang out with your friends? I... 
I... I'm so sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I had a really tough year, Mom. No, no, no. You, you tell her. You talk to your mother. Hon, you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but... What happened at school, hon? I don't care what it is. Just please, tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. We could talk about it then. Sure. Make breakfast for dinner like we used to. Oh, that is fucking awesome. Bacon and eggs? Oh, pancakes. That's a bit far. <laughs> Dad can flip the pancakes in the air. <laughs> sure. You going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town? Close? Yeah, Mom. They're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh, we're not past longest night yet, so we're heading into winter. Oh, wow. Longing for some snow, too. That went fast. What did? The fall. Always does, hon. Okay. Well, I'm off. Love you, sweetie. Love you, too, Mom. You still reading the same book? Oh, no. This is a different one. This one's about people who died in the mines around here. Oh, Jesus. I've learned enough about that. But cool. Yeah, it's very interesting. Got some old songs. Want to hear one? No. No songs from the mine, for the love of God. Uh, fuck it. It probably gives us lore. It, it won't make me go insane and start throwing people into a hole, surely. Far from here, the ocean's roaring, far away across the din. I hear the Lord call their children, bringing in, bringing in. I'll see you walking through the barley. We'll find each other, friend and kin. I hear the Lord call their children, bring them in, bring them in. Carry with me for a moment. Walk the places we've been. The Lord will call us both to heaven. Bring them in, bring them in. When you say bring them in, you mean into the hole? <laughs> That's nice. It is. It is nice. Uh-oh. Now she's just continuously humming the song. Just like what I was doing when I zoned out, when I was being controlled. Is mom going to be okay? <laughs> hey, Dad. I work today? I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm going to sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Aw, oh, Dad, why? I've minded. I've like... I've mined, I've made glass, I've done a heap of other stuff. But this place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. The boss is supposed to respect you. Workers are supposed to be able to talk. Workers are supposed to be able to have a life. Ooh, that one single snowflake. Sorry, distractions. It's a very poignant message he's sending. Worker's supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but I wanted to give you and her time. I wanted her to have hobbies and enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance. Hold on to the house. Try to, at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say it than get it done. Unions were always there in the mines and the factory, at least for a while. But here? I got something for you. Put it out of the basement. How'd you get in the- Holy shit, the tooth! Yo, they're gonna resur- Well, that's kind of a cult in its own way. But they're gonna resurrect the whole- Isn't that like the same kind of thing though? <laughs> As the cult, I mean, they don't kill people, but they do like- interrogate people and abuse people and scare people well i mean <laughs> maybe he'll just like bring all the people that had the teeth back together and then they'll make a union together i don't know how'd you get in the basement door in the crawl space that's spooky 
So what I got is a tooth. A what? Do you know what this tooth is? No. Really? You sure? Yeah, Granddad must have had it from the old days. Hey. Thank you. Wow, looks bright and new. Like they just pulled it out of his skull yesterday. You show that to your boss and tell him to eat shit. Hey. Sorry. I'll just keep it with me. Sure thing. May? Yeah? You come down and pick it with us if we walk out. I will breathe fire, Dad. Love you, kitten. Be back later, Dad. That's fucking sweet. I like that. The tooth, no bobs, no masters. Aww. See, that's... Oh, my God. Okay, it finally came together. It finally got to the point where May is like, hey... We could actually do something, try to affect some change, <laughs> form a union rather than just talking about how things would be better. Let's fucking go. I like that. Considering that was the one of the main things that pissed me off at like the beginning of this was just the rah, rah, fight the power without like saying without doing anything. What are you doing out here, by the way? Getting an early start on our longest night lights plan. I'm gonna dig them out of the closet. See if they even work still. Can I help put them up? We'll see. You're a small fry. Dad. You are quite short, May. <laughs> May's already growing up a little. Yeah. I'm glad that she managed to talk her dad into that. That's fucking awesome. May, I wonder if the dad knows what the tooth is about. So was granddad part of the cult? No, I think the tooth thing and the cult thing are two unrelated things. Oh, another snowflake. I love that they're so sporadic. So rare. And yet there's another one. Well, shit. <laughs> but yeah, I think it was a different thing. The tooth union separate from the cult. Cult refuses to answer B as questions about their economic status. The implication is that they're rich boss dudes. Yeah, who knows? Maybe his boss was in the mine and won't be back. Who knows? Dum de dum dum. Okay, I'm going to assume everybody's humming little songs to themselves because they're happy. And not because the mine hall is trying to call them to do evil shit. That's what I want to believe. And that's what I'm going to believe. <laughs> now it's properly snowing. Mint. Possum, you still here, buddy? Where you at, rabies? Everything's looking brighter? Yeah. Everything feels better. Everyone's got a song in their heart. Everybody's humming along and singing their own tune. Hey, rabies! Hey, your life is exciting. Playing with your friends. I mean, you're a champ. You've got to be popular. Eating garbage and common pests. I feel like I'm just glad the world includes you, dude. It's such a nice thing to say. Holy shit. I'm just glad the world includes you. It's just a nice way to basically say, hey, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you exist. You make the world a better place. They just vibing? Yeah. Trash King and Cat Queen. All right. I got a jet. See you later, rabies. Stay cool. Stay alive. Cute. <laughs> bridge freezes before road. It would have been a hell of a funny moment if I just slipped off the bridge and broke my neck there. But yay, everybody else is happy, but you may. You need to stop climbing in scary places. I wonder if we'll ever be a big boom in town again. Those, goss, those guys last night were deluded. It'd be really nice if there was a god. I might ask. But I think they'd have to fight the other gods that bled this place nearly to death. I'm like... Proud of us all. We're having good-ass lives in a shitty, stupid, good-ass town. <laughs> a shitty, stupid, good-ass town. <laughs> what a nice form of way, I guess, to say that she cares more about the town now. Even though it is shitty, it's her town. Here's to you, Possum Springs. Here's to survival. Exactly. You fight through no matter what gets thrown your way. Honestly, glad our world includes some Fold Rovid. I'm glad it includes some Sabrina Saberhagen. Glad it excludes all of us. Except for the people that do harm to others. <laughs> it's shit, but it's my shit. Exactly. Rabies is the trash king, but it's his trash. It's his kingdom. Dum diddy dum. Oh, on Mole Cop, how are you doing? Hey, what are you doing here? I'm glad she wasn't part of the cult. 
I didn't think she would be because I feel like the council people, the home owners association people are probably the main cult ones and they didn't like her, but still. I'm working, May. Sure. <sighs> What's wrong? Don't ask. A lot of weird calls this morning. What kind of calls? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going to ask. Come on. Question. We haven't seen... Never mind. Go do whatever it is you do. Okay, fine. I will. May? Spit it out already. Be careful. Just... Be careful. Well, geez, until now, I've never considered that. May. Okay, fine. Thanks. Bye. Man, she's just looking out for you. What the... Weird cause? What the fuck is going on, then? Oh, shit. Fun fact, in the first edition, Aunt Molly was part of the final part. Everyone assumed she was in the mine. I'm not going to lie. Anyone that I don't see around the town right now, yeah, I'm going to assume they're cultists. So I, I wonder if they put her out there just to like confirm to people, nah, she wasn't planned. <laughs> she got to list the cult members. I doubt she's got to was got to list them. But I'm sure she it was just like, you described a lot of weird stuff. Now there's been like a cave in and we've got like 12 people missing. <laughs> hey, May. What's up, Selmas? You okay? After the whole like head injury thing? Yeah, I'm all right. Headache is all. Put some migraine meds if you need it. Everybody has migraine meds in this town. <laughs> nah, it's not a migraine. Those things make me have to pee. It's the caffeine. You ever take pills that make you pee? It's the caffeine. I didn't know that. Neither did I. I didn't know they put caffeine in pills. I used to work at the pharmacy. Oh, right. Well, if I ever have a headache or need to pee, I'll come by. <laughs> Don't say you'll come by if you need to pee. That just sounds weird. <laughs> Anytime, neighbor. Oh, shit. That's it. No poem? Sell me. Tell me, please. I need my fix. The... Huh? They're not part of the cult? Are you fucking serious? Okay. That doesn't really answer the question, Colleen. Very much does answer the question. The amount of rock salt isn't the problem. We don't have enough damn trucks for this thing. I slip sliding all up and down this goddamn hill, Colleen. I've tempted to just close the road when the storm hits. Oh yeah, good. Let's just give up. It's not giving up, Colleen. I'm sick of you undermining me. It's a bad idea. That's not undermining. It's undermining. I'm on Colleen's side on this one. That's just great. That's just peachy pie, ain't it? Okay, fine. We'll just close all the roads. Let's close down the whole damn town. Red ideas are always the most important and the most thought out. What the? I'm going to do another water balloon toss. I nearly froze to death last time. I still have the sniffles. I think we can all agree it's too cold for water balloons. Yeah, Kathleen too. Cold for, Oh, Kathleen. Too cold for another stupid idea. Go to hell, Colleen. We could just hire some private plows. If you want to go against the DOT union, go right ahead. We've got agreements with the county and state. Colleen's right on this one, too. You two agree so much. Why don't you just get married already? Ugh. I'd rather die. I'd rather break my own femur with a cinder block. <laughs> All right, now that we're settled, what are we doing about the road? <laughs> Fucking... Okay, they're just... Break for food? Great idea. I'm starving. Gee, we could still make decisions. <laughs> Move out, troops. Okay, I still don't like them, but... <laughs> at least they're not murdering people. That's something. <laughs> They're too nosy and vigilant about the prosperity of the town. No keep cult people will like them. I guess, yeah, they were just dealing with their own shit. The cult people are more like trying to throw people into a giant hole and solve things that way and get rich. 
Interesting. Oh, good. My teacher's up there. Let's go. He's not evil. No, Carmen. I want to be bad this year. Yeah, I bet it will. But it's okay. We'll get through that too. Very low bar to clear. <laughs> hey, at least it's something. I'm coming, Mr. Chikovsky? Kachovsky? I can't remember. Coming, damn it. Damn it. Are these clothes always here? <gasps> I didn't think so. I should start doing my own laundry. Yes, that's a good step. Sometime. Okay, man. Okay. <laughs> Small steps. Small steps. One at a time. One at a time. We'll get there. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah. Yo. Hey, May. Hey, Mr. Chazikov. I was so fucking off. Chazikov. <laughs> Got any more dust stars we can look at? One more. Oh, God damn it, May. You think you... Oh, it's right here. There we go. Are the rat babies okay? I'm hoping something's happened with them. I mean, we're getting achievements for like so many of the other things we've specifically chosen to do. Like finding the tooth and stuff like that. So I really hope the rats are going to be there. Found it. Let us consult the guide. Erskine the fire maker. The fire maker? A wanderer in the cold and dark. Making a fire and huddling up to it. The light and warmth. Sounds festive. Sounds like survival. Hmm. This all makes me want to cry. Crying? On my roof? Wish to talk about it? No, it's fine. Is it a happy cry or a sad cry? I don't know. Don't have great words for it. It's okay. Sometimes too many words. Yeah. Thank you for this. Thank you for joining me. I think we've discovered more. Oh, we didn't really discover them, right? I mean, someone else already saw them and named them. Wrote a whole bunch of stuff about them. And we just, like, found what they made for us. Is that not a discovery? Not really. It still is. You're still, you're discovering things. You're just not discovering things for the entirety of humanity. Always useful to improve your own knowledge. Maybe not in the historical sense. We did not create the stars or name them, but we had these autumn afternoons and found them together. Isn't that something? Something, something, something. My granddad said something like that once. Something about a story having really happened. Because hearing it happen to you? That's nice. It's not bad. Oh, and there's all the stars. Beautiful. Dusk Stargazer. That sounds like someone's name if they could name themselves. <laughs> okay. That sounds like a Chuny name. That was the weirdest achievement I've gotten so far. It felt like whoever wrote that achievement was just like, hey, I I just want to comment on this. <laughs> That's a VTuber name. Yeah, like an overly Chuny bio one. <laughs> or an MLP name. That would work, yeah. So what now? Supermoon is coming. What's that? A giant moon. That does sound super. You must come meet me when it happens. It'll be late at night. There'll be others on their roofs. You come, and I'll make the hot chocolate. What a time. That sounds great. I want to see a super moon. Plan on it. See you later, Mr. Chazikov. See you soon, stargazer. Erskine. Hello, birds. <laughs> I wonder if you do the other routes, like... I wonder if it fills the entire book at the end and, like, keeps what you did in both, like, playthroughs. Cool. Supermoon is beautiful. Yeah, it is. Moon in general is beautiful. That... Not in that way. <laughs> in the normal. Literally, the moon is beautiful. It's really nice to look at. It's always really soothing at night. I think so because there's an achievement for getting everything, which I don't think you can do in one go. Yeah, I mean, if you have to, like, do all the little things, it must be like that. <gasps> Ooh, they've put up some decorations already. They've got, like, a star out there. Yeah, not that way, Mafu. <laughs> We're getting a total solar eclipse this weekend, and it's going to be hella. Hell yeah. Was the church always this led up before? 
I'm just imagining it. Two. Three! Oh yeah, mom took the day off work. Oops. <laughs> Do it! Catnap time! Come on! I want to see Grandad again. I don't think we're going to fall asleep this time. Please tell me the pierogi guy wasn't in the cult. I doubt it. Oh, she hit her head so fucking hard there. <laughs> Do it again. It's like well-aimed jumping. One, two, three! <laughs> yeah, she bashes her head real bad. Bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum. You overthought that one? I always do. I hope Kate's here. Kate's lovely. Nope. Well, shit. Hopefully she's out on the mountain. What a concussion. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, I'm surprised I've never done that before, but it looked so funny. Just the way she comes down so quickly. Wee. Oh, man. I wonder if we're going to find out what happened to the man as well. He'll look a lot friendlier when he's covered in snow. He kind of looks like the guy making a fire. Wait, is that why he breathes fire? Is that... I don't remember what they named him. Wee. Hey, Kate. Wow. Hey there, May. What are you doing? Oh, just cleaning up. How did the council vote go? We lost... I lost. It was just me pushing for it, really. We've got all this empty space. We'd use it for so many things. But... Oh, shit. Yeah, no, that's a pretty good message as well, actually. I didn't even think about that. Like, these people are all, contain all complaining about how, like, the town's closing up and everything's dying off. Meanwhile, there are other areas that are just absolutely full of homeless people just trying to find somewhere to get some shelter. Trying to find anywhere where they can just escape the cold. Invite them in. Let them do jobs. We tried. All we can do. And God will show up when the time is right. Bruce was my friend. Mine too. Bruce was my friend too. Oh, I don't like how they're talking about it in the past tense as well. You need some help cleaning this place up? That'd be nice, May. It's a rake back in the shed behind the church. Oh, I, I can't do it now, but... <laughs> Run along, May. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't offering like right now. She just means like, you know, someday, S someday. <laughs> Yeah, still nothing weird here. It's weird that the music cuts off. I really thought there was going to be some big scene here, other than the goth kids, obviously. Headache ain't going away anytime soon. I mean, she seems fine now. Looking oh, you mean from hitting her head on the door? Fuck. <laughs> yeah. She's finally getting better, and I'm trying to give her a fresh concussion. The tent? Yeah, they've taken it down now. I guess they knew he moved on. In his words, he moved on. Wee. She tried to help. It's nice. Yeah, Old May would have never said that before. Old May hates religion. Isn't particularly interested in helping. Look at all the rats! Holy fuck, they're everywhere! My babies! They've gotten so strong. Oh my god, I'm so proud of you. Shut up, dog. The rats are coming for you eventually. Fun. Ooh. Look at all these little babies. What up, guys? You enjoying your newfound freedom? Roaming all around everywhere? Rats, rats. We got rats, rats, rats. Viva la infestacion. <laughs> yeah, now we bring the bubonic plague back. <laughs> gonna happen to all this i guess it's just gonna sit here there's someone who gets around to throwing it all out i should like steal the good stuff see what mom and dad think I'm sure they'll love it yeah they'll totally love it redecorate the living room I'm sure they'll love you stealing things and covering their house in not great things not great decorations 
seen people say her feeding rat babies is a bad thing she did, but I think it's sweet. I think there's two sides to that one. It's sweet that she cares about them so much. But I mean, for one thing, she was quite literally stealing from a man with a small, tiny business to feed them rather than actually paying for the pierogies or anything. Um, and for another thing, yeah, rats can actually cause... Wait, I can't land on that? Rats can actually cause, like, a lot of problems. Oh, why didn't I land on that the first time? Boom, bing, boom. But I mean, that's what we got with the whole, like, ending of the cave area. It's gray. Morally gray. Hey, you okay? Hey. I heard you were, like, in the hospital or something. <laughs> yeah. What for? Fell into a ravine while running through the woods at night. Hey? Um, chased by a death cult of conservative uncles. All right, you don't have to tell me. <laughs> no, that's actually the truth. It's a weird way to phrase it, but it's not wrong. Did you just tell Doggo to shut up? The game Doggo, who I don't get to head pat. If the game doesn't let me head pat the dog, that's on the game. You, you want to hang out sometime? Isn't that what we're doing? I mean, like, we could watch horror movies. You can meet my sister. She's like almost your age. What's your name? I probably know her from school. I don't think I know her. <gasps> well, you are. Ba -ba -ba. Please be the girl that you fell in love with at the party. Stevie Myers. You don't know her. She beat up someone and had to go to a different school. No, damn it. Our girl was Samantha, right? Or was Samantha the first one? Sam oh, no. Samantha was the fake name I gave. Shit. Oh, cool. We might get along. <laughs> Probably. She's mean sometimes, but she's cool. Sounds good. Pretty good going. It's been a weird couple of days. It's good. That's weird. It's just what happens. See you around. Later, kid. Later, killer. <laughs> Still calls a killer. It's fucking hilarious. Oh, wait. How do I... I know there was a way to get up that cat. I don't have enough space to do a triple jump. Samantha was the fake name? Yeah, it just took me a minute to remember that shit. But if I just do like slight steps? One, two, three! Oh, that does work. Come on, May! I know you can make this jump. This is nothing. There we go. Open it, sir. It's probably not. I mean, that would be like extreme BS that they just happened to meet at a party and she comes from Possum Springs too, but still. I won't be able to climb this soon once it gets icy. Enjoy it while the weather lasts, May. <laughs> well, she was talking to the cat at first, but okay, that works too. Boom, bing, boom, boom. Plus, that girl was a cat, I think. Could be adopted sister. Like I said, it really doesn't make sense, but I can believe. You weren't part of the cult? I was so sure you were part of the cult. <laughs> Hey, it's you! Even after everything, it's you. Yep, yep. For now, at least. You know, I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I clean up, do fix it, whatever needs done. Oh. Okay. So what's it been like being home again? Things like you remember them? Kinda. No, things have changed. He is the god. Pretty sure he's god. It does feel like he's everywhere whenever he needs to be. Is this just god like looking over May, even though May doesn't believe in god? Or it could be the opposite. <laughs> Maybe, I mean, that statue does look a lot like him, the guy who was like one of the founders of the town. Maybe he's just been alive this whole time, pushing other people into the hall. <laughs> Staying young forever. Well, alive forever. No. I don't know. I don't even remember today. Sounds like you've been through some plan. How'd you know? I call it experience. I swear some mornings I feel every bit as old as these trees. You know, something big did happen. I feel like I should have woken up today. And like, have learned something. But I don't know if I learned anything really. Well... In my experience, the big things don't teach you anything, but they make you something. Sometimes you gotta wait a while and see what comes of it. Huh. 
Well, done an honest day's work. Waiting time. Smelter's game tonight. See you around. Not if I see you first, May. <laughs> I can't even do a wheeze laugh on command. Damn it. Wait, how do you know my name? Oh. I thought she gave him his name at the beginning, but I guess not. Janitor. Mr. Janitor. Lord Janitor. Bob Janitor. Oh, I can get a job as a janitor and really enjoy it. Yo, as long as you're having fun. Shit. She's even thinking about picking up work now. Fucking go. I scared the shit out of that thing. Now, I'm gonna split part-time. How do they not have the hours? It's a huge store. How do they not have the hours? I got a computer program. It's all hooked up to some kind of mainframe or something. Fits out the optimum schedule for all the employees. Manager can't do much about it. Computer don't play favorites. Oh, I guess you can't argue with a computer. Did Nancy give you hell? Ah, she did laugh, though. I laughed, too. Still gonna do that movie? Yeah, let's find a night we're all off. I'm off Tuesdays. I'm off Sundays. Thursday's my only night off. Fuck. Yep, welcome to the world of adulthood. You can all put in requests. Coffee? Cigarette. Coffee. Cigarette. <laughs> so even though he quit the telemarketing job and went to work at the snack oh no the other place i forget the name of it the weird one the same place that may's dad works his hours got cut there and now he's probably not gonna have enough money either jesus you just never win in this town ham panther how did you remember that that's impressive <laughs> and winter come and water freeze here the fish can be at ease the tunnel is not flooded ruin. It's a home, a place for doing. Sure, that works. Please go away. <laughs> this poor guy does not want to deal with me. Trying to meet up as adults is so hard. Yeah. It's like, hey, I have a really busy week this week. I Oh. The old woman never came back after she told me, she, like, some of the dirty stories and said she was going to tell me more next time. Hope she's okay. We I meet up. Yeah. Everybody has different schedules. It becomes painful as shit. She is really old. Yeah. Maybe she's just not going out of a house right now, especially while it's getting colder. Hey, you guys. Yeah. Stay safe, all right? Wow. Thanks, mom. You ain't new, mom. Apparently. Life, man. It goes. Slowly. Nah, dude. Nah. Anyway, <laughs> shit, she really has grown up so much. She's not trying to blend in with the other kids anymore. She's just like, yeah, I guess I am your mom. You kids don't understand. Life goes by pretty quickly when you're not thinking about it. Oh, I can't even talk to him. There we go. Who are you? Haven't you seen me around? Nah. Well, I've noticed you. That's not weird or anything cold for standing outside, isn't it? Someone's got to stand here. Hey, you smelt his fan? Ah, uh, let's just give him this. A, a ghost smelters? Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Ghost smelters? Ghost smelters. Ghost smelters. Ah. He just needs to make some new friends. Oh, smelters. I'm happy for him. His friend is missing. To be fair, I, I can't remember exactly how they said it, but I, I thought it was the other one that was leaving rather than him. But one of them had said that they were going to be leaving. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. There was something that... You got a job. I'm so oh. Oh. We got a new taco store. <gasps> Yo. We may not have the pizza place anymore, but let's fucking go. This is all because we collapsed to the mine and killed all those cult members. Holy crap. Hey. Gah! A taco place! This is the best thing that's happened to the town since they got rid of all the snakes in the diner. We got internet. We were still using Cyberfish until like two years ago. 
Because it's eternally two decades behind here. It's your three days to tour in a movie. It takes you one day to load a GIF. <laughs> Barbaric times. God. Life moves on, huh? My God, they deliver. I'm going to eat the shit out of some tacos. Yeah, we're having a taco night. Let's fucking... Hello? I've never seen you before, man. <laughs> Imagine your entire cult's worth is just a taco store. Hey, taco stores are pretty fucking amazing. Well, the first story is ending. Sure looks that way. I've uh, never seen you around before. Spend a lot of time indoors. It's nice to take a break. And I like the code. It's brisk today. Brisk. <laughs> Sometimes I stand in the cold with my arms out. Let a gust of wind pass over me. It shows me out a bit. Like this? Yeah. Is it working? Yeah. It's c c cold. Maybe too cold. Yeah, you don't want to be doing it for too long. Then you can go and get a coffee or a hot chocolate or something. The endless cycle of life. It's cozy. The endless cozy cycle of life. Jeez. I hadn't thought about how cold it was getting out here till you mentioned it. You still have your arms out, May. He told you. <laughs> it's snowing. I know. Sorry. You don't have to apologize. Oh, I'm from Canada, eh? I have to apologize. I'm going to put my arms down now. That's probably a good idea. Blood all ran out of my arms. Okay. Numb arms. <laughs> you may. T posing to assert dominance. It was not working. Oh, shit. No one's in the store. <gasps> I get all of the movies. They're mine. Snake, my past brethren. <gasps> they got you too? No, Sneku. Not the accent? Yeah, I can't really do a Canadian accent, but I, I tried. <laughs> Not Canada? I guess that's why he's so used to the cold too. Oh, Canada. So you're a taco dude now? I mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan. Oh God, they're like Subway. Eight dollars per hour? Jesus. I guess that means holding this sign out in the snow. Not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There's snow in the sky. Falling. How are the tacos here? Good. I like tacos. I've never really had a bad taco. I've had some not amazing tacos. I've never had a bad taco. There's no one person on God's earth who doesn't love tacos. Bad news. My ex hates tacos. That's why she's your ex. <laughs> exactly, babe. <laughs> Have fun with the tacos. Eh, it pays. Taco buck. Dine in, dine out. We deliver. Please tip your delivery persons. Best tacos in all of this general region, pretty sure. Missing the pizza place? Why not try a pizza taco? A pizza? No. Mmm. Pepperoni cheese and like pizza sauce on a taco? That sounds okay, actually. <laughs> wow, that sounds amazing. Watching your health? Try out all lettuce taco. Uh, no, not all. Why don't you just make the taco shell out of lettuce? Then it's just vegetables and meat in a lettuce bun. That's fucking super healthy. Don't just make it all lettuce. No, I refuse. Get out of here, kid. I'm working. <laughs> I love how she's heckling him while he's trying to bring in customers. Okay, let's get back up to that stupid statue, which probably isn't even going to be anything too interesting. But I got an... I gave her a concussion again. There's your bad taco, Folga. <sighs> An all lettuce taco isn't actually a taco. It's a monstrosity. Now, here's a man who loves statues. We got a lot of people getting statues made of themselves today. We're secure in ourselves, okay? We don't need statues to make us feel better. I got a statue. I'd have them make me real tall. <laughs> you're secure in yourself, and yet you're like, man, if I was going to get a statue, I'd make it a giant. Not tiny and puny like me. Spaghetti taco? I'd go for that. Ooh, hello? Hey. What are you doing outside my window? I, I, I don't know. Please go away. What you doing? 
Newspaper. What's in the news? Maybe a cold winter. Worst in years. How can they predict that? Eh, future's all guesswork. O okay. One, two, three! I didn't think I could make that. That's fine. At least I'm back up to where I was. I'm sorry, what? A okay drugs and malt. I don't think I ever noticed that before. <laughs> Wait, the alcohol store also sells drugs? That sounds like a bad combination. Uh, uh, God damn, these small towns. Had people come up to my window and try to talk to me before, I would freak the fuck out. You come out to my window, I am fucking punching you. That shit's terrifying. <laughs> All they're missing is guns. Yo, the bad idea store. That would be fucking awesome. <laughs> Drugs is in pharmacy, my brother. No, I know that 100%. I'm just like, I mix those two things. Why give the option for people to be like, hey, come on down, get your pharmacy, get your pharmaceuticals, and also grab yourself a nice glass of whiskey. You can take them at the same time. <laughs> oh, look who's alive and well. That wasn't his voice. What the fuck? Is that a surprise? Nah. This seems like relevant. Well, look who's live and well to you two. Yeah. Yeah. You want to get out of here? Your band practice? No, yeah. I got to go see Germ. I got to find out if he blew the shit out of that cave. Someone knocked on my window in the middle of the night? Jesus Christ. I can't even imagine that. I would... If somebody knocked on my window in the middle of the night, I would just freak the fuck out. Probably scream like a little bitch. Jeez. How the hell did Greg just become for a moment there? I don't know. I didn't really refine his voice even by the end either. Wait. <gasps> the rats have a new home! My babies! I'm not controlling May either. She's doing. Oh, yay! My babies! My little rat babies. Oh, not so little anymore. You've made it. You've broken free. Just like the song. It's a miracle. I'm just going to enjoy this moment for a bit. Don't mind me. Rats, rats, we are rats, rats. I found the office, office, chilling with my rats, rats. Our babies grew up so fast. Now they've taken over a good chunk of the town, actually. They're all over like three buildings up high, and apparently they've taken over this place, too. Good for them. Okay, guess I'm done with that. Two, three. Finally broke free. Yep. <laughs> Kunai's channel. Was Kunai's channel just the something donkey? Damn it. I forgot that name too. And I literally just saw it. Um, Food donkey. Well, that was nice and easy. <laughs> it's got to be New York soon. Oh, dear God. Well, they always wanted to be a big city. Now they're going to be a big city. <laughs> With all the problems that come along with it. <laughs> okay, let's go to band practice. Let's fuck up one more song. Royal Rat Authority? Oh, hell yeah. Wanna get out of here? Do band practice? Yes. Kind of sad I couldn't find Bia anywhere else, though. God, this door just does not like to open. And it's worse in the summer. Did you get all the keys to the back door? I got one. We made copies. How do you even get a key? I have no idea. There's Greg. Oh, yeah. He had to spring Angus from work. What does that mean? Zero clue. Huh. Huh. A little unclear about how both of them still have jobs, <laughs> especially Greg. He smashes all their inventory. He just walks out whenever he feels like it. It's impressive. Since they seem to just up and leave work early a lot. There's a lot about those two I don't understand. I think they just plain need each other. Greg more than Angus, I think. I don't think Angus would agree. It's because it wouldn't occur to Angus to think otherwise. Because Angus is an extremely nice person. Aww. Greg's a nice person. You don't think they're lost or something? I mean... Craig's a nice person. How dare you? 
Oh, yeah, he definitely is. He's also bratty and irresponsible. And he has, like, zero attention span. Craig needs a parent as much as he needs a boyfriend. He's really lucky Angus is a little bit of both. Jeez, you've thought this out. Before you came back, they were the only people I hung out with most of the time. I had a lot of time to study. Good shit. But like, how are you? I'm, uh, good? I don't even know. Still processing. I'm here, though. Yeah. You? Um, not great. I had a dream the world was ending. Might be. Think we're safe? No idea. Great feeling. Yep. So, like, I'm a little confused about what even happened last night. Well, there's apparently a death cult of dads. <laughs> the whole cosmic horror thing. Let's go with that one. <laughs> Angus is officially daddy in a way. I mean, yeah, we said that earlier and I still stand by it. He is daddy as fuck. Or because there's barely any young people in town? Oh, true. Maybe they just don't have people to fill the positions that they need to fill. People are fine working at the ham thing. <laughs> but nobody wants to work at, yeah, the Snack Falcon or the video rental store. Yeah, that. Did you even see or feel it? Nope, but between you and the... Dads? Something had to be going on. It's old. It's very old. You can, like, smell how old. It's like a porch light that's on, and there are all these bugs around it. Then the light goes out, and there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me way back. Like I was telling you about on the couch last night. Holy crap, that was last night. Seems like two lifetimes ago. <laughs> yeah. It really did. A lot happened last night. The world is extremely bad. Yes. Yes, it is. A failed state? Getting pretty close. Big question. How do you, like, get up every day? Go open the store? And keep doing it? I don't really have a choice, do I? And you definitely do. Guess not. Uh, 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 fuck, I don't- This is the thing, I- I don't know if she's gonna be gentle about this and be like, you could try looking for other jobs or moving out away from your dad and, you know, separate and see if he actually grows the fuck up and starts dealing with his own shit. Uh, um... I- 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 I guess not. But still, lots of people would be, like, destroyed by what you've been through. My mom was extremely tough. And smart. When I found out she was going to die, it just didn't occur to me that she was fragile. Like, we're all fragile. I don't want to let her down, I guess. I can't not give a shit. I mean, I do the store and our bills at home. Stuff with the Chamber of Commerce. Doing free study courses online. Oh shit, let's go. I didn't even know she was doing night classes. And I'm a member of the Young Socialists. I sleep a lot and sometimes eat pizza. Let's go, May. You're thriving. To each according to their ability. Well, on the bright side, you got me. <laughs> yeah. We can fix the world together. Yep, fix it right up. You fixed that furnace. I fixed that furnace. Yeah, then I smashed it and burned the house down. I fixed us getting trapped in the basement. You sure did, May. You sure did. I guess last night wasn't so weird. Yeah, it was pretty weird, but everything with me is weird. <laughs> Old men killing the youngs and the poors to get back some past that barely existed. Same old, same old. Like ghosts in some old mansion. Killing the new owners. Makes you want to either give up or try harder. Or get really upset and take a nap. Yeah. Naps fix everything. <laughs> or like drop an elevator on them. That works too, I guess. Problem solved. Never have to deal with them again. So... You had any new, uh... Rat problems at the shop? Don't tell Bia what you did. She won't understand. Uh, yeah. How did you know? Uh, I heard there was some rats around town. Makes me happy for some reason. Oh, 
there's no such thing as a small rat problem. There's just going to be more of them. Hope springs. Rats multiply. Cute. We literally sell rat poison. There you go. You're going to get way more customers. I did a service for beer. Let's fucking go. They're going down. We'll see. Hey, speaking of nothing, how good is your car? How? Can it drive real far? Hey, do you know anything about... What? We should, like, do a road trip. To where? Out west. Gets all flat. And it does. Oh, yeah. Aww. That's cute. A call back to the fact that, like, people that lived in flat places like to go climb mountains. So people that live in mountain towns go see someplace flat where you can just walk everywhere. You can go where it's really flat. And they sell barbecue. And you can see, like, the world's largest pierogi. Oh, fuck yeah. Or a museum of toy rocket ships. Or a factory where they make pretzels. Or a house that looks like a big chicken. I could... Okay, let's talk about it next year. I'll start planning it now. But you couldn't leave home because of your... Issue. Eh. You're home enough. Aw, home is where the heart is. I mean, if we're trapped here together, we might as well be trapped out there together. I mean, if we're not dead by then. Lol. Ow, oh, ow, indeed. <laughs> I live in the mountains, and when I went out west, I felt way too exposed. Mm. I've lived in flat areas and mountainy areas. They both have their hardships. <laughs> you have a way of making doom sound like a lot of fun, Mayday. That is actually kind of a gift. True. God damn this door! I think God already has. <laughs> I fucking love Angus. There they are. Hey guys. Sup, nerds? It's you who are the nerds. When you get Angus out of work, yeah, I'm more curious about that than our normal bickering sessions. I made up a family emergency. My uncle got run over by a tractor. <laughs> Fuck. Wow. <laughs> I mean, if it works, it works, I guess. I mean, he did in real life, too. That was years ago. Hey, Greg. So, I didn't really know Casey. Yeah. Just wanted to say I'm really sorry. Yeah. Thanks. Casey was a good one. Casey was good. Should we, like, tell his parents? They're making me decide. Oh, God, we're going back to the star conundrum. Do we tell them to give them closure? Or do we not tell them so that they hope he just ran away from home and is still doing well? Fuck. I must say no. They probably wouldn't believe us anyway, and it would bring up a bunch of questions. I mean, tell them what? Uh, okay, yeah. Hmm. Good point. So, like, what do we do? About Casey? No, like in general. We play music, baby! We think about this tomorrow. <laughs> Can we just play a song and get a pizza? I don't think song and pizza is an answer, really. We just be normal for like one day. I don't know how today can possibly feel normal. I was in that coma or whatever when I was down there last night. Let's go with that one. Will they believe us? That's the big problem. It's not really closure because we can tell them like, Oh, about Casey. He, he's dead. He got sacrificed to a giant hole in the ground that was singing to people and making them do evil cult shit. That's not going to help anyone. That's not going to help anyone. Yo, didn't Bio want to feel normal for a day too? <laughs> so true. May's better now though. She, she's learning. She's doing her best. <laughs> I like made the decision not to die. Or at least not to die without a fight. And the thing down there told me nothing would save me forever wait it was like talking to you been talking to me for a long time i just didn't know what it was but anyway like nothing is going to save us forever but a lot of things can save us today that's really pretty day pretty may <laughs> thanks i totally just made it up you're right on the spot last night I said it before. You're good with doom. Doom, doom, doom. Well, anyway, song and pizza? 
We earned it by still being alive for another day. That's a decent reason. Although you should get fucking tacos instead of pizza. You know the other pizza place was shit. Decent. Decent. Crime? Decent. Good enough. We survive for one more day. With pizza and music. Interesting. So that's where they ended it, huh? Hmm. Not a bad epilogue. I... Some of the twists I wasn't super happy with. But other than that, I really enjoyed that. It has the same kind of feeling to me as Bojack Horseman. The same kind of message. And shit, I even dropped that at one point. With like the whole... Sometimes life's a bitch and then you die. Sometimes life's a bitch and then you just keep on living. You just have to get through each day. You just have to deal with things as they come on one by one. It was good. Is they gonna actually they're gonna actually sing the song now, aren't they? No fucking way. Do it. Do it, vocal version. Or not. <laughs> Didn't like the twist either, but overall good. Yeah, I mean it just it was feeling like really realistic and down to earth for most of the time, and then it just felt like it came a bit out of nowhere. But at the same time, you can still all just connect it to the fact that, like, maybe the cult was just a bunch of dumb old people anyway. And none of it actually mattered much at all. It was just, yeah, May going through her own, like, crazy shit. And the cult members believing that every time they shoved someone down the hole, it happened to help everything. What is it with animal characters and existentialism? Pfft, I don't know, man. Same for, like, Odd Taxi as well. And even Beastars. Like, there's a lot of good ways to use animal characters to be like, see, see, we made him a, a, a wolf because he has those instincts, those anger problems and shit like that. And yeah, Bojack Horseman is another one where it's just like, hey, we're going to give you cute little animal characters, but then they're going to be like the most human shit ever. I don't think they do. It'd be cool if you could play the ending song when it leads into the vocal version. You play the ending song then. Yeah. Because, like, people had told me before that they had released, like, vocal versions of the song. So I was kind of hoping that we would get the vocal version at the end. <laughs> so I interpreted it as well. I call the cat. Aww. But yeah, definitely worth playing. That was awesome. Overall, great story, great message. <gasps> Sharko! Mayushi! <laughs> boy! Boy, boy! Oh my god, that was the best fucking ending ever. And ah, uh, at the end of everything. Well, that was weird. Was the achievement then? Yo, May and B are going on their road trip. Rip Casey. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff we've collected along the way. Big snake. Bruce. That's okay. Banded queens. Everything feels bad. <laughs> it is pretty funny how she started off with things like... Aunt Mob Cop is planning to kill me. Die anywhere. Everything sucks. F the cops. And she eventually got to the point of, huh, maybe I'd enjoy being a janitor. Maybe I just want to go on a road trip. Hella birds. Mayday. Back together. Good shit. All the memories, yeah. That was good. I enjoyed that. Thank you for sharing your experience of the game. Thank you guys for joining me. This was so much fun. Glad so many people suggested this one. It was a lot longer than I expected. Um, it was a damn good journey. Like the whole way along. <laughs> it gave you so many good, like, human emotional parts. Okay, so is the DLC in the extras? Play Longest Night. Play Lost Constellation. New concept art. Oh, so there's two DLCs. Interesting. I don't know if I'm ever going to do that. <laughs> I definitely need to let it sit for a while. Yeah, I enjoyed it. <laughs> it was a silly good time, even though I had the Arthur fist when May talked. Yeah, but I mean, I, I think they knew that, to be fair. I think they knew that May was supposed to, like, annoy people and make you angry. Concept art? Concept art. Aw. <laughs> Sketchies.
Wait. They really didn't change much. Holy shit. Oh, you can see like the full views of the houses in the town and shit. Oh, is that how the rhythm game was going to be? I would have preferred that with arrows. <laughs> Shoko, best boy. Body clearing. Yo, I didn't realize how big that fucking hill was. Better a poignant MC than a bland one. True. Play more of the game. Oh, what? Oh, so these must be things related to Greg that I can't see. Damn it. Uber violin, accordion, sax. Dance. <laughs> Yo, the bop bump. Call it a twerk. You know what it is. Neck tattoo, visible. Yo, the love interest. The pentagram handshake is based on an actual thing. Scott saw at a basement punk show in the late 90s. No way. I didn't think that would actually... I guess it kind of worked. Kind of. Kind of works. Harfest witch dagger outfit. Ooh. Yeah, I love the differences in like the tones, the differences in the coloring. Original concept sketch for those guys. You know those guys. <laughs> Very early sketches. Someone laid a pizza pizza on at one point. They had a hot dog shirt too. It was wild. I love the fucking pizza stains. <laughs> Yo, this is so chill. Demon Chowder? The idea was to... Oh, Demon Tower. The idea was to give Demon Tower an extremely metal, symmetrical logo. There are pages of these. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, I don't get to see any of the secret stuff. <laughs> Robbed of hot dog shirt? Yeah, we didn't get hot dog shirt. But at least we got the really cool Halloween outfit. The Witch Dagger outfit was awesome. Oh, shit. Ruff. <laughs> I forgot I had that rather than actually me let me fix that real quick okay doggo thank you for being here today go get some sleep I'll take over for now boom I'm back doggo yeah he was just chilling here waiting for me just having fun while I play games just chilling in my bedroom waiting for me to come out of the closet and play with him again where have you gone who man Oh man, life is cold without you, please. I'll be back soon, dog. Don't worry. Okay, bring back our true Oshi. I can bring them both back. You can have Doggo and me. <laughs> or I could just get rid of me. <laughs> just have Doggo smiling the whole way through this. Crap, where is Doggo? There he is. Get off of me. Too big for that shit. There you go. You can stay there for today. <sighs> Waking up to my comfy friends on Insta freaking out over dog Ovid before I opened Twitter was wild. <laughs> I loved that so many people's first one was the fucking BDMS. BDMS? BDSM and... I can't talk anymore. The BDSM test. For so many people, that was their first taste of dog Ovid. And I still stand by that joke. I think that was hilarious. <laughs> It took me three tries to get the perfect score. The first bunch of times, I kept getting, like, a bunch of extra points in, like, submitting shit and, like, other weird stuff. And I was like, nah, I, I don't want to make this super weird for people. I need specifically just pet. And vanilla, I couldn't really get rid of either. Sure was dedication. I mean, it only took, like, 30 minutes. It wasn't too bad. <laughs> Post confused the life out of me. Good job. Good Photoshop it? Ah, people wouldn't notice. You've seen my graphic editing skills. It would not have gone well. <laughs> You've edited the source code of the page? You are giving me way too much credit. Have you seen me play any fucking puzzle games? <laughs> What's your true results, sir? Okay, come, come, come close. Come, come. Yeah, there, there, there you go. Shh, very quiet. Don't, don't tell anyone this. My true results. You're never gonna know. <laughs> Don't be silly. Nobody needs to know that. Nobody would want to know that. Top notch gimp edits? Well, clearly not. <laughs> it's a good timing because I was taking pictures of my puppies when I received the notification. Awesome. You try the fungus game, sir? No, not yet. Because I'm actually trying to get permissions to play it. I may even play that one on Billy Billy. I figured since we couldn't do one hand clapping, 
It's a similar thing. It would just be a fun way to do like a Zatsudan with something else going on. So I'm trying to get permissions to play it since it doesn't seem to use any like um, copyrighted anything. Yeah. Hoping to be able to do like a whole stream on Billy Billy where we do like a Zatsudan plus um, mushroom hopping. That's such a cool... Yo, I can't believe that you learned Unity to make that game. Kami, it's honestly so freaking incredible. So much growth. But yeah, hopefully we'll be able to play it someday. But right now I haven't dove into it just yet. Seeing some people get some crazy high scores though. I think I saw somebody get like 366. Um, I did it in four days. Jeez, Kami. Cracked for real. Jesus. But yeah, thank you so much for making that. People seem to love it. People already love like the growing the mushroom thing. <laughs> Found the dog bit very funny because my mama cat gave birth to kitties yesterday. Even better. Yeah, we had the cats last year. We had dog this year. We'll see what happens next year. God. <laughs> anyway. Um, ba -bum, ba -bum. Okay. I'll go through the super chats. Good, there weren't too many today. <laughs> I'm going to go through the super chats and then we're going to end pretty early today. We're not going to have a super long Zatsudan because I have all of the offline work to do this week. <laughs> it's not even funny. Sheep next year? We'll see. Yeah, maybe I'll buy some sheep when I move into the new house. April Fools is, yeah, it's four months in. That gives me four months to find a new house with enough land to get some sheep. I'm not getting sheep. I would not be able to take care of sheep. <laughs> Seahorses? I don't think I could take care of seahorses either. Um, I could, like, sponsor a sheep. <laughs> I could, like, donate some money to a sheep so it technically belongs to the confidant. <laughs> I just could not see myself taking care of one. Taking care of a giant fucking dog is way more than enough. Burmese python. I could go for that. I could go for that. They give great hugs. So sure, why not? Goats are pretty fun until they start trying to eat your hair. Or they do that, that, that aggressive thing where they just run at you and headbutt you. Shit gets real, man. Okay. This is why we're outside the window. Yep. You're outside the window because if you were inside the window probably wouldn't be so healthy. I trust you guys to look after yourselves way more than I trust myself to look after myself. Notice something, Folger? No. I refuse. <laughs> I refuse to pay attention to it. I refuse to acknowledge all the aquatic creatures showing up today. It's just a normal day. Only I get to play April Fool's pranks on people. People don't get to play those on me. How dare. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to ignore it and then eventually it'll go away. <laughs> Holy shit, Sabrina, say bye, Hagen. Thank you so much for the 50 gifted membership. Oh, th that's so fucking many. Thank you so much. Oh my God, I hope you enjoyed the stream today. Wait, I haven't seen your avatar. Oh, it's just a sexy future. <laughs> I was like, wait, is this to get my attention to an avatar? But no, thank you so much. That's so nice of you. Welcome to anybody who's new to the membership. I hope you enjoy the stay in the sheep file. Um, but thank you so much. 50, that's crazy. I hope you had a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I definitely did. It definitely would have felt better like playing this game in autumn rather than winter though as well. <laughs> Satsuki, the Satsu Seahorse. Oh, this is the problem. When I start reading out names, <laughs> I can't escape them. They're here. They're in the room after all. It's fine. Always fun. Wait. Did... <laughs> Who made all these avatars? Is there like a seahorse creator or did everybody like draw their own? Because there are so many fucking different seahorses. It's actually kind of terrifying. We did? You, you guys like drew them? That's fucking impressive. <laughs> There's so many different ones. Sheepy is dead. Jesus. Good job to everybody. <laughs> Satsuki, the Satsu seahorse. It's always fun watching Fu's gameplays. You always see the plot twists coming. Um, uh, it's debatable. I definitely misread a lot of these characters, mainly because they were so young. They were so young and I'm so old. <laughs> no horsing around with this Borg? Okay, but for real. You have, oh, you always see that I didn't even, I didn't even notice it. I didn't even notice the pun. That's how much I was trying to ignore it. No horsing around with this Borg. Okay. It's for real, TY, for the stream. It was a journey. I'm glad you enjoyed the journey. I'm not sure how I feel about the seahorses. <laughs> Maybe this is just 
No, no, that would be weird. Um, maybe this is like the seahorse army that's rising up against seahorse Fuchan. I don't know. <laughs> Potato. Oh, Cybus seahorse. Really? I don't even want to know what this avatar is. What is that? That better be a close up of a seahorse's face. Because zoomed in, I just see a giant gaping hole, and I'm not going to lie. It reminds me of an old internet meme that I did not want to remember. <laughs> Pretty sure it's a close-up of a face. Thank you for the stream. My tank has been watered. I, I hope so. Shouldn't it be the tank has been cleaned? Was it not full of water? You need to breathe water. <laughs> I see it now. See? It's not just me. It's not just me. Are you going to say there were seahorse foo babies? I don't know what you mean. I don't even slightly know what you mean. I I, I was definitely not going to say that because that would be weird. Anyway, Paradox Mint, thank you for donating the food funds. Might be cringe, but whenever I see games like this, I think of the line from God Sees All. Even in times of change, what matters will last forever. Yeah, you got to enjoy the little things. You just got to take your time. Ah. <sighs> And yeah, times do change. Times move on. The things you enjoyed when you were a child aren't there anymore. The things you enjoyed 10 years ago aren't there anymore. But you find new things to enjoy. You move on. You grow as a person. You change. Our interests change all the time as well. Sometimes we may think we love something and then a couple months later, it's just like, I didn't even like that. I was just kind of going through the motions. <laughs> but thank you for donating the food funds, Paradox Bin. It's not even a cringe line. I think it's just a good line. Thank you for donating the food funds. Thank you for being here, and I hope you had a lovely day. Zenyaya, the profile picture is beautiful. Oh, God. There's so many. One second, I'm just gonna... That one's fucking metal as shit. I love that. Mine was drawn by someone else. Yes. That one looks like Skull Leonhardt. It's got, like, the jacket with the fur. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. There are so many. What the hell? That's not a seahorse. That's not a seahorse. Okay, we'll stop for now. <laughs> this freaking cool though. I am impressed. You guys committed. How long was this planned for is my major question. You guys drew these seahorse? That must have taken a while. What the hell? Seahorse army rise. What stream brought on the seahorses? Oh, a ton of streams. Seahorse Foo has been around since Zelda Majora's Mask. I just, there was a, sea, a talking seahorse in Zelda Majora's Mask like got to be a year and a half ago and i did that silly ah, what is up everybody i'm a seahorse voice and ever since then a seahorse foo has been like part of the Fooniverse streams and stuffs anyway four days damn you guys are good join my brethren i have to be professional today <laughs> oh no you may hire thank you so much for donating the food funds the UI for the stream fujanya I'm really glad I waited for you to play this game. It's always super interesting to hear your thoughts and perspective and stuffs. That's very sweet of you. Sometimes I'm a dumb, but sometimes they work. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with this game, though. It really kept me guessing right until the freaking end. I was surprised continuously. But it was a good time. Thank you so much for donating food funds, and I hope you have a lovely evening. Paralegal seahorse? Hell yeah. <laughs> and now you can play the Greg route if you want to. There's still way more to explore in the game. Seahorse Koo. Oh no, Sneku, what have they done to you? Oh god, it's still a snake, kind of. <laughs> I mean, it's in the similar family, I guess. Blop. Did you hear that the seahorse who became a detective? Did you hear about the seahorse who became a detective? He was determined to solve all the fishy mysteries. Blop. You wait for the stream. Blop. <laughs> god fucking damn it. <sighs> 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. That wasn't terrible. 7 out of 5 out of 10. 6 out of 10. I'll give 6 out of 10. Thank you for donating the Fufons. Thank you for the very metal snake seahorse. <laughs> it was really bad. It was bad, but it was bad in a good way. It was bad in a I know this is bad, so I'm going to just say it with full conviction kind of way. I respect it. Blub. I'll take it. The wig stays on. <laughs> Yeah, it's a pretty nice wig. Kind of looks like Voxy's hair. It's like black with the red stripe. <laughs> Sabrina say bye, Hagen. Thank you again for all the donated gifted subs. Game made me run out of tissues today, but of course I don't regret tuning in today. Bye, you all. Sheep and shepherds. 
Fu and Dog. Thank ya. I hope you had a good day today, Sabrina Saberhagen, and thank you so much for joining us. I give you the huge Akasupa, and thank you for all the gifted memberships. And I hope you have a wonderful evening. Six out of ten, but I liked that one. Yeah. Sometimes you know they're not good, but they're still enjoyable. <laughs> okay, Ske, thank you for donating the food funds. Woof. <laughs> Wait, what is your artwork? Holy sh... I don't think I've seen this one yet. Yo, Archivist and Legatus looking fucking crazy sexy. Okay, eventually I'm going to find that piece of artwork. Thank you for donating the food funds, KSK. And I hope that's up on Twitter somewhere, because damn, that looks sick. Hope you're having a lovely day. <laughs> now, somebody went against the grain. Somebody decided not to become a seahorse. <laughs> oh god, are you guys going to be trapped as seahorses for like a week? I don't know if I can mentally deal with that. <laughs> Am I going to be getting blobs all week? Please, no. Vivian, thank you so much for donating the food funds. Achifuchan, I was actually shocked by your bark tweet this morning because I forgot it's April the 1st. Yeah, I couldn't escape it. All of Niji Sanji JP were doing like silly things for the last 24 hours. By the time our April Fools started, I had already had to deal with like 13 hours of craziness. <laughs> Please no. Uh, anyway, happy April Fool's Day. Happy April Fool's Day, Vivian. Thank you so much for the donation. Thank you so much for being here. You've been incredibly active on Twitter recently too, so thank you so much for being all around the hashtags and everything. It's been lovely to see. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Please rest well, and thank you so much for being such an awesome part of the confidants. It's my chance if they are. Oh. <laughs> being trapped into a seahorse body for a week. Oh my. Perhaps they need to go on an adventure to defeat the Chuni King Legatus. <laughs> Good luck, everybody. You're going to need a few more children. I already wasted the one that we could actually throw. Crap, I'm getting that tickly cough thing again. One second. There we go. C. Wangi Horse Marineth. Thank you for donating the funds. Yeah. Ooh, that one's all dark and scary. Stuck in the abyss. Pew, 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 pew. Or the abyssal zone. Or the Hadal zone. Either way, it looks sick. Thank you for donating the food funds. I hope you have a wonderful evening. It's still got Wongi in it. God damn it. <laughs> we will create more children. Don't worry. I don't know if that's a phrase you want to say. <laughs> don't worry. We'll create more children so we can throw them at our enemies. That's okay. You know what? As long as you're happy. You do you. You thrive. <laughs> Have fun with it. <laughs> Seahorse Sama. Blah, blah, blah. You know what? I'm doing this from now on. What's your fool? Finally glad to be my true self. Gotta watch my true Kamiyoshis. Seahorse Boo and Archivorce. Hope you have a great day, Fu-chan. Thank you, Seahorse Sama. Holy shit, your hair is luscious as fuck. I'm impressed. A little bit jealous. Still freaking amazed. Where did you guys organize this? Was this on Discord or something? Because goddamn, I did not see any hint of you guys preparing anything for April 1st. There's a lot of other things that I get ready for, but this one just completely flabbergasted me. Oh shit, N, thank you so much for the raid. What is up, Allo Peeps? Wait, I guess today you're all Allo Feets, aren't you? The f <laughs> yeah, the Feetna. The town gets weirder every month. I didn't even freaking mean to, Anna. My... My confidants have turned into seahorses. I didn't mean to do it. To be fair, you you were away when I did my white white yeah, my white day stream. My white day stream is probably the weirdest I've ever been. <laughs> it was the perfect moment for the raid. I know. It was the first time I did the silly voice. <laughs> but thank you so much for the raid, and ah, uh, you you really can't call me weird when you're the one doing leaning into the feet thing. I'll watch it for dinner. No, it doesn't exist anymore. May exist again someday, but don't worry about it. You, no, no, don't watch it. Don't watch it. <laughs> it was a strange experience, but it was interesting. <laughs> but what is up, Allo peeps or Allo feets, however you want to be? <laughs> she had to do the weird voice today too. Oh God. I I hope somebody does like a big compilation of all the silly things like Niji Sanji En VTubers did for April Fools, because I don't want to go through every single stream. There's so many. <laughs> But I kind of want to know, like, what people were doing. I vaguely know what Crisis did. They had their own identity crisis. It was a very funny play on words. Very interesting. 
I know Enna became a foot monster. <laughs> There's been a lot going on. Voxy's currently a RuneScape streamer, which is actually awesome. I kind of hope he just sticks to that for like a week. <laughs> There's one on Twitter. Oh shit, they've already been connecting them. Okay. There were Twitter compilations. Sick. I want to see what people did on the streams as well, though. It's going to be interesting. Anyway, thank you for the raid. Um, We're just doing like the final few moments. Uh, We're doing like a Zatsudan super chat reading, and then we're going to head out. So no worries. Peter Gurin too. Yeah, I don't know. Because she does that. She did that last year as well. But this time she said like model reveal. I don't know if she went like PNG tuber or if it's like a real model or... I, I'm interested. I became a kid from 2010. Ike didn't... Ike... Uh, Ike, Ike, Ike didn't even like talk much differently than I talk most of the time. <laughs> it was a PNG. Ah, oh, sick. I'm going to cosplay Peter, Peter Gurin. Let's go. Should be Ike using... Oh, he did the Windows XP, XP thing today. He's He's been working on that for a long time. He's been talking to, the, to us about that like while we're just chilling on Discord. I'm glad he got to do it. He worked really hard on that. <laughs> Vivi became an emo kid. When was Vivi not an emo kid? <laughs> Yeah, for a moment I came back to what sounds like moaning. They're called sighs. <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> I'm allowed to sigh. It's not weird unless you make it weird. <laughs> this time Pedo broke the hearts of some Bentomos. It happens. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Peter Gurin can't be held down by one person. Peter Gurin has to be everybody's. Mama Yamino found Shu's laptop. I haven't even seen what Yamino's been... Yamino? I haven't even seen what Shu's been up to yet. So Aya is fantastic. Yeah, so Aya, especially with the weird font she's been using. <laughs> it sounded weird. It's not my fault I heard it like that. Or is it? Maybe it didn't sound weird at all. I only saw one comment about it. I'm just saying. Perhaps it is not the sound that was weird, but the thoughts that were attached to it. <laughs> Seahorse Sama, thank you for donating the food ones. By the way, yes, I drew my profile picture as a reference sheet. For you have a reference sheet? Oh my god. We're not making a hashtag for this. I'm putting my foot down right now. <laughs> you guys can make a hashtag and enjoy it all you want. I refuse. I absolutely refuse. <laughs> and sorry, I just realized I grabbed this one, but I didn't actually freaking read it out loud. Stupid Chan. Miss Jerry the Seahorse. Boom. I zoomed into this one, but I never actually, like, yeah, grabbed it for chat. We have a Tash tag now. Give me just a minute. Give, give me, give me just a minute. <sighs> Not angry just disappointed am i gonna need some therapy after this like may perhaps but it's fine i'll get through this probably just get off the internet for the next day or two except i can't because <laughs> i have things to do no i can't escape it i'm trapped here. that's fine now oh, the disappointment you know what you did you knew what you were planning <laughs> I was able to draw a few of them. It was a good excuse to practice drawing. You did a really good job. Some of them look absolutely beautiful. Some of them look crazy. I can't believe there's one with a... A sheet. Concept art sheet. I forget the actual word. My brain's not burning. Can't escape the seahorse voices inside your head? Yes, I can. <laughs> yes, I can. I can just turn my brain off. You know how? Hit myself in the head really hard. Wake up in two days. Might have to cancel some streams, but it might be worth it. <laughs> anyway, thank you for playing this game, Fuchan. Blue bar. I'm going to guess that was like a bye-bye, but okay. Thank you for donating the food funds, Miss Jerry Lolia. Have a lovely evening, and thank you for being here. Rain the Fuchan Sheehorse. Sheehorse, that's impressive. That doesn't look like a seahorse. That looks like a fish pretending to be a seahorse. I got my eyes on you, Rain. What's your food, Chad? Blub. TY for the stream. Blub. <laughs> no problem. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> Have a lovely evening. Rest well. Take it easy. Mind Jesus. <laughs>
<laughs> Don't actually. Uh, as long as you're having fun. The fucking moderators? I know which moderator that is, by the way. You think I don't remember which freaking monetary styles you use? I know who you are, Sensor Seahorse Bot. Thank you for donating the Foo Funds. Thank you for constantly doing an amazing job. However, <laughs> I'm judging you. I'm judging you. <laughs> Thank you for donating the Foo Funds and have a lovely evening. <laughs> Potato. Oh. We're all tangled by our tails. We're not escaping. Oh, God. Have you guys become like a rat king? Oh, my. That one's fucking amazing. That's some terrifying abstract shit. You got like the spiky spikes on you. You got the giant glassy eyes. Is that a tear coming out of one? Oh, man, potato. That's gorgeous. Anyway, thank you for donating the food funds. Don't become a seahorse king. Seahorse king is... You, rat kings don't live for very long. Don't do it. It's a bad idea. <laughs> Punk ass seahorse. Yeah, I know. I know like spiders and fish and even shrimp that have those kind of things. I wonder if there are actual seahorses that have like those kind of spiky things on them. Interesting. Thank you for downing the Foo Fans. <laughs> Peppy 4. Thank you, Peppy. See? Peppy's not torturing me. <laughs> Peppy's just still a sheep. Still a beautiful, lovely soft sheep with kind of deranged eyes that look like they're staring into your soul. But other than that, <laughs> thank you for donating the food funds, Peppy. I hope you have a lovely day. Please rest well, and I hope you're feeling better now. I've seen you've been doing like a lot more art recently. Well, I mean, you've been busy with other things as well. But yeah, thank you for all the art you've been doing the last few days. But once you appreciate actual sheep, I miss the sheep. I appreciate... No, I always appreciate sheep. What do you mean? I joke about, like, grabbing you guys and not brushing you guys and throwing you out the window and stuff, but, I mean, that's just... That's just jokes between friends, right? <laughs> Meanwhile... Yeah. At least it wasn't feet this time. Honestly, I would take the seahorses over the feet. It's not so bad. Not just as food. See, I didn't even mention the food. See how nice I'm being? Now that you know... You guys are torturing me in different ways. <laughs> Confidants will remember this. I'm going to remember this. Oh, the seahorse. Thank you for playing Night in the Woods and using my thumbnail. It was a beautiful thumbnail. Thank you for making two thumbnails for Night in the Woods. It was the perfect finale thumbnail. It's a gorgeous seahorse. Blending with the surroundings too. Very ethereal looking. Thank you for the beautiful art, oh, the seahorse. And I hope you have a lovely evening. JC. <laughs> God fucking damn it. That's not a bad pun at all. Bah, blub, 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 blub. Wait, is that a sheep underwater? Because that doesn't end well for the sheep. I'm just going to say that right now. <laughs> oh, no. That, that sheep horse is drowning. Um, good luck, JC horse. Is, that's not even a seahorse image, is it? Nope. <laughs> But okay, the name change. Thank you for donating the food funds, and I hope you have a lovely evening. I'm having fun. Yeah, that's all that matters. As long as you guys are entertaining yourselves. <laughs> Timu, thank you for donating the food funds. Yeah. No message, but thank you so much. Look at the cute little food pape. <sighs> and it's 401. Oh, April Fool's donation. Thank you. <laughs> Kirby with feet. That's not. No. No, no more feet. Never feet again. What the heck? This one didn't even get grabbed. Strange. See Wangi Horse Marineth. Thank you for donating the Foo Funds. I don't know if you... Oh, you did drop a super sticker. It's the Halo. You don't get to use the Halo. You know what you did. You may only use the Demon Horns. <laughs> Thank you for donating the Foo Funds and have a lovely evening. <laughs> oh, God. I wonder if other communities trolled their Oshis. Because I better not have been the only one. I'm just saying, like... Uh, other people are getting trolled by their Oshis. I'm sitting here having to wade through seahorses. Beautiful seahorses, but seahorses. They did? Good. Haven't checked the Foguma tag today, have you? No. No, I've just been warned, essentially, that I shouldn't, so thank you. <laughs> Crisis fans changed their profile. Oh, actually, yeah, I saw some people were turning into, like, vegetables to piss off someone not piss off to troll someone i forget who that was 
That's the only other one that I've seen. Worked so hard on my cringe, perceive me? Never. I'll perceive you eventually. Lukobs too? What did the Lukobs do? Secret life of Anna. Who's a good boy? Doggo my Ushi. Yeah, he is. Look, I can slap him with my hair. <laughs> Doggo's always best boy. Thank you for donating the food fund, Secret Life of Anna, and I hope you're having a lovely day. Us children have created a whole new language. Oh. Wilson ears with bell peppers? Oh. Vegetable Lukobs, I think. Oh, so a bunch of people were doing vegetables. How many livers do we have in Nijisanji that don't like vegetables? God, it's no wonder we're all so short. <laughs> Only Pio-chan. Pio-chan, me and Voxy. We're the ones who ate our vegetables growing up. <laughs> God damn it. Comfy Kara, MJ, and Lim. Wait, Comfy Kara? That's a new one. Oh, it's a Fupape with something terrifying behind it. I can't even tell what it is, but it looks like a giant lion's mane. Sick. Thank you for donating the food funds, and I hope you have a lovely day, Comfy Kara. They're missing out, maybe. I... <laughs> These aren't getting grabbed. See, um... Oh. oh, this time it's the devil horns. Okay, well played. <laughs> God damn it. Thank you for donating the food funds, and I hope you have a lovely evening. What do vegetables have to do with height? I hate them, yet I'm 5 foot 11. So what you're saying is you're not 6 foot. Anyway, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, vegetables have nutrients and stuff. There's a whole bunch of things. Really, just about any food will help you grow. But you need a balance of vegetables and meat. you got to have the protein and you got to have other things that'll help you grow. <laughs> you flexing? No, I'm just being a bully. Just for a minute. <laughs> it was awesome because I paid attention to my face at the time as well. And that just... It's just so mocking. It's perfect. <laughs> There's genetics, but body requires nutrients to grow. Exactly. Who knows? If you ate lots of vegetables, maybe you'd be like six foot six. It'd be crazy. It's funny to me that I don't consider myself particularly tall at six foot three, but when I think of anybody at like six foot five, I'm like, that's a giant. That's a giant. <laughs> I guess it's just like your perspective on the world. Like, London has a lot of tall people as well, to be fair. Big-ass crowds everywhere, so you just never feel tall no matter how tall you are. You're seven foot four? Holy shit, jelly cans. I'm not sure if that's just a joke or what, but damn, if you actually are, that's incredible. In Latin America, that's tall as shit. In London, not so much. <laughs> In London, I swear to God, you walk around London cities, it's just like, you still can't see over the crowds. Maybe it's just because there's just so many fucking people. I don't know. Sky slash Dawn Marionette. Unfortunately, your image didn't get crabbed. That's weird. Ah, oh, damn it. That sucks. I'm sorry about that. Glad you liked the game, Fuchan. Thanks for the stream, and I hope you enjoy the other route in your own time. Yeah, I might actually watch that right after this. I'm going to see if I can find, like, a gameplay thing where it just, like, skips all of the things except for the plot points. Like, I just want to see the main plot points, because obviously I explored the town as much as I think I otherwise <laughs> so yeah i just really need to see the little adventures with uh, uh greg and how that can how that leads into things with angus as well now i'm afraid to go to the uk why tall people aren't scary they can't hurt you they just you know if anything just go into a tunnel or a cave they won't be able to chase you <laughs> i was joking i mean that's no problem you guys are like 180 on average here in argentina i think so 190 is tall well, you got to imagine, if 180 is the average, that doesn't mean 190 is particularly tall. That's the crazy thing. Like, 180 being the average means there's probably, like, a good 30% of the population that's 190. So, yeah, one-third of the people, not that crazy. Yeah. They can hurt you, but hopefully they won't. At least they won't just because they're tall. That's, yeah, I mean, that's what more what I went. <laughs> As a Londoner, it took me six months to realize my friend was six foot five. That's what I mean. Like, everything is based on your own perception of the world, essentially. <laughs> have a lovely evening. Thank you, Sky Dawn Marionette. I hope you have a lovely evening, too. In fact, reverse Uno. Thank you so much for being here. Please rest well. Thank you so much. I'm five foot two, but with the audacity of someone who's six foot. Honestly, legend. Shove it down people's faces. <laughs> Try princess. Thank you for donating the food funds. Ooh, that's a new avatar, but it's definitely not a seahorse. 
Dread Princess always has such beautiful art. It's Link and Zelda again. Yay. Oh, thank you for donating the food funds, Tribe Princess. Hope you're having a lovely day. Thank you so much for constantly supporting the channel so much. And I hope you have a wonderful evening. Zoomed in and I was like, the golden hair, is it? Is it the princess herself? Yeah, it is. Uddling Link. Oh, Kushami, thank you for donating the food funds. Yeah. Speaking of seahorses, while everyone knows that male seahorses get pregnant, but in fact, baby seahorses squirt out of their brood pouches. And then I want to squirt out of... Let me read that again to make sure I'm... Make sure I read that right. This might be the first time in a while I have to use my shame corner. But in fact, baby seahorses squirt out of their brood pouches. And then I want to squirt out of seahorse foods brew pouch. Oh yeah, no. I read that right. Um. Uh. 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 uh I. I think this is the first time I've heard people saying, yeah, fair, rather than, no, come back, come back. People are just like, no, nah, nah, that's, that's, that's fair. Honestly, completely fair. <laughs> what did I just read? What, what, what did I just read? I, um, God, find me another comment to grab. Thank you for donating the Foo Fighters. <laughs> Tsukimi. Wait. <gasps> Tsukimi. Wishy, 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 wishy. God, Jogo is so cute. Yeah, he is. He's a good boy. In fact, I have the other one as well. Jogo. Oh, whoops. Jogo. Give me paw. Yeah, what a good boy. Oh, shit. This one still works. I don't even have to change the arms for this one. It's perfect. Oh, he's a good boy. Let me wangy wang you. Such a good boy. Anyway. Um, thank you for donating the food funds, Sakimi. What's so beautiful new avatar? Pat Pat for Doggo, he's my emotional support. He genuinely is for me. <laughs> I haven't gotten him certified or anything, but there's a reason he goes with me everywhere. <laughs> he takes people's attention away from me, which makes me feel more comfortable. Do I, sir? No, thank you. Definitely needed a palate cleanser after that <laughs> super chat. <laughs> It wasn't incredibly weird, by the way. I wasn't, like, creeped out or anything. It was just one of those moments where I was like, yeah, that's... Let's get out of here. <laughs> Malhope, do not be afraid. The Mpreg tag... ...is not something I'm privy to. You're safe for now, sir. I'm sorry, Mpreg tag? Uh, you guys said there was a seahorse tag. I didn't think it was that kind of... That's kind of cute, actually. Holy shit. Give the little deranged seahorse with the giant red, blood red eyes. Give it a little kiss. It's a little peck on the cheek. Ah, <sighs> Dog, you know what to do. Eat all the seahorses. Destroy them all. This is it. Today, you're getting seafood. Normally, I don't give you seafood because it's bad for dogs. But you know what? Hunt them down. You guys don't mind, right? I mean, you guys love dog, right? Dog Shikami Yoshi. Come on. Come on, he's always wanted to try seafood. Can dogs eat seahorse? I don't know, but he can certainly chew them up and spit them out. Cats could help too. Cats can definitely eat seafood. Let's go. You know what? Cats with a K, she's going to murder all of you guys. <laughs> Rhea, thank you for donating the food funds. No message, but thank you so much for being here, and I hope you have a wonderful evening. I'm just David Chan. I'm not a seahorse. Well, that's okay then. <laughs> I'm just Ken. So woof, woof, okay, no, yes, I don't know what that woof means, you have to translate for me, <laughs> you have human words, Ukeisuke, <laughs> thank you for donating the food funds, and I hope you're having a lovely day, it's doggo, I don't mind, maybe you should, maybe you should enjoy life a bit more, 
Your life's far more important than that. Uchan didn't put Mpreg in the prohibitions. I mean, I guess I didn't. I just assumed it would never come up because, you know, I never bring, well, occasionally bring it up. I very rarely bring it up myself. Yoko, thank you so much for donating the food funds. Doggos are so cute. Yeah, they are. Thank you for the cute cow emoji. Oh, oh, he's got his paw up in the air too. Ah, oh, it's so freaking adorable. Thank you for donating the food funds, Yoko. I hope you're having a lovely day. Arigatou gozaimasu. Please rest well and take it easy. This is Niji Sanji. You should expect it. I wonder if Niji Sanji's main branch have to deal with this. I feel like this may be an EN problem, <laughs> which... Man, maybe I should just give up and join the main branch. <laughs> Auntie DeSoto. Fuchan, move! Let me pat my real Oshi. No, he's mine. I got his paw. He wants to be petted by me. Dog Ovid, who is very vanilla and pettable. That's your middle leg away. How dare you? Let me feed all the adorable comfy seahorses. Don't feed them. Do not let them starve. We're not going to do to this what we did to the rats in the game. We're going to let these ones. In fact, where's my bowl? Where is it? It's been a while. Boom, boom. Boop. You know where the seahorses can go? <laughs> they could go right about here. There you go, guys. I'll get rid of the dead one for you so you don't have to stare at it. That's kind of morbid. There we go. That's where the confidants belong. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food finds. Uh, Yogo darlings. Okay, now you can eat me. No. No. You put them in the fishbowl. That's good. They're trapped now. I trust that. Dog food? Excuse me, Mr. Ovid. Gift for dog. Did you make a YouTube account specifically for this? <laughs> I, I respect the fucking commitment. Jesus Christ, guys. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds, dog food. Hope you're having a lovely day. Don't worry, dog's already gotten his greedy for the day. He's been fed. In fact, I had bacon this morning as well as eggs. So he got some bacon grease. Thank you for being here. Have a lovely evening. My God. Oh, six. Cheeky Cheryl. Yo, puppy. I saw you with dog. So here's my doggo. Aw. Whoa. That's that's one of my big problems with dog as well. You can't you can't always see the facial features on like dogs that are super dark. <laughs> the fur just becomes like one giant shadow in the picture. He's so cute though. They look so fluffy and soft. Looks so comfy where they're laying down too. So cute. Hell yeah. It's a silhouette, pretty much. But yeah, dog's face. In some of the photos I take of him, it's just like you can see like the browns and grays all around the body. But then because he has the black mask, you just like. The face is just a void without even like eyes staring out of it. Unless his tongue's hanging out of his mouth. <laughs> He's an unlockable character. Yeah. This is the next fighter entering. <laughs> thank you for donating the food funds, Chiki Chero. I hope your dog is doing incredible. And thank you so much for being here today. Kwan, thank you for donating the food funds. Was there a super sticker? My next question. Can I even find out? I did find out. There was not. Thank you for donating the food funds, Juan. Thank you for all the beautiful artwork and for Doggo's avatar. <laughs> hope you're having a lovely day. Rest well. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the stream today. Seahorse Coot. Wait, you managed to change your avatar that quick? Oh, you have another one. What the? F Is that you watching a JoJo encounter between something okay i need to see a full quality what the f did you make a whole comic out of your seahorse snake character uh, blub was fun making these seahorses scatter no i i know exactly where to put you it's legatus and archivist oh okay it's their little ongoing battle there we go that's that's perfect into the jar with you i really need to make this like a two-sided one it can be like a transparent layer so things go inside it <laughs> but either way good enough for now okay i've read the super chats okay there's one more super chat that literally just came in God, every time <laughs> oh god damn it now that one's in the jar and i don't even know if that's bad um 
Yay, yay! Thank you so much for donating the full funds. Oh, holy crap. Beautiful Ukiki cosplay. Oh, it's adorable. The wig is so on point. My God. The, 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 the ponytail looks incredible. Thank you for the stream, Futan. April Fools is so good. Dogo is so cute. Woof. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed him. I still like the BDSM test thing. I thought that was cute. Well, that was silly and funny. Cease. Why are there more super chats coming in? <laughs> Thank you for donating the food fudge to Yoi. Have a lovely evening and please rest well. Apple F. Dog taking the Bork DSM test. <laughs> Bork DCM. Bork DSM. It is so cute. 100% pet. Vanilla ice. Ice cream. Few fans. Also, all hell, the comfy seahorse pile. Please do make a comfy seahorse pile. It'll be easier to end, you guys. Well, you know. Let me Google something real quick. Hey, Google, can you eat seahorses? Originally answered, can you eat seahorses? They are fish, so they are technically edible. They are tiny, camouflaged, and all skin and bones. So it scarcely seems worth the trouble. That's not a no. <laughs> We're going to make a new delicacy. You know what else is mostly skin and... Well, not bones. You know what else is mostly just skin and not great edible flesh? Shrimp. I think we're going to make some paella. Paella would be delicious. So please do make a comfy seahorse pile. Why did I know you were going to look it up? Hey, man. We're running out of sheep meat. We got to get some new sources of meat. Can't let our protein supplies go down. <laughs> you can technically eat them. They're used in Chinese medicine, too. There we go. See? They're edible. They won't kill you. We just need a lot of them to make one meal. I think we have enough for one good batch of paella. Delicious. There is a hashtag. Oh, good. So I know where to collect them. <laughs> Bee cream. Thank you for donating the food funds. Yeah, there was a super sticker. Oh, it's a doggo. Thank you. Nice super sticker. <laughs> thank you for donating the food funds. <laughs> Hope you're having a lovely day. Please rest well. And thank you so much. Seahorse babies going back in the womb. Oh, God. Please. Poor seahorse future. <laughs> it's going to be a rough day for him. Cataclysm. Thank you for donating the food funds. Thank you for the huge Aka Super. I hope you enjoyed the stream today. Banana meow. Is that the name of your dog? It didn't grab the image for some reason. It just glitches sometimes. But yeah, I see you've got a cute doggo avatar. Is banana the main name of your doggo? What do you mean? Because like, seahorses kind of look like bananas. <laughs> I'm confused. You need us regardless of whether you were sheep, whether we were sheep or seahorse. Oh, so seahorses are used as an aphrodisiac, just so you know. Okay, well, I won't be eating you guys then. I will just prepare you guys and then I'll... <laughs> I'll give you to the elderly couple that lives next door. That's even better. That's even better. <laughs> Don't tell them about that. I'll just feed it to those guys and just hear what happens for the rest of the night. <laughs> Thank you for donating the Food Funds Cataclysm. Have a lovely evening. Rest to our Take it easy. Thank you so much. You're going to help them out. If you consider that helping them out, I don't know, man. I don't know if they're so much interested in that anymore. Maybe. I don't want to imagine it. Um, good for them, though. <laughs> Golden Kamui Otter Chapter by IRL. I don't even want to know what the fuck happened in Golden Kamui. <laughs> that sounds terrifying if that's at all related to what I just said. Invest in noise cancellation? Ah, I'm far enough away. I'll be fine. God, imagine if I lived right next to people. All my screaming out loud in the middle of the day. Oof. Comfy Kara, MJ Lim. How how is barks in Finnish? And that's just a plant, sir, behind Fupape. Oh. <laughs> it looks really cool, though. It looks like a fire or like a giant explosion or something. I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds, Comfy Kara, MJ Lim. Again, and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Golden Kamu, we mentioned. I never watched it, to be fair. I only ever, like, liked the art style. The character designs are pretty fucking badass. But I just never got into it. Yiki Tempest. Whoa. I can't even tell if this one's a seahorse. It's got horns. It's got, like, elf ears. It's badass. It's a cool design of whatever it is. <laughs> Today is a good day to look at your reflection. 
What did you do? What did you do? Now I'm worried. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you for donating the food funds. I hope you have a lovely evening. Please rest well. It's just a comfy sauna. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> not a seahorse. It's not a comfy... Oh. oh. I don't know. It's a comfy sauna, sir. It's my comfy sauna. Okay. Now I'm sure. <laughs> now the actual original poster said so. Okay. Well, it's a cool comfy sauna. Either way. Badass looking. I like it. <laughs> but with that said, I really gotta go. I've got... Oh my god. How did we end up doing a seven hour stream again? Ah! Why am I like this? We're gonna head out for the day. Um, I'll read the memberships on the way out. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Quite a bit tomorrow, I think. Do we have a double tomorrow? Let me check. Definitely have a lot of work to do for tomorrow's stream. So a lot more things came in. Okay, tomorrow's just the birthday's arts of revenge. So I just have a lot of work to do tonight. And then tomorrow on Wednesday. <laughs> this will be fine. This will be fine. Uh, yeah, it'll be fine. But thank you guys so much for being here. Also, uh-oh. I think I also missed one more super chat it's from Cataclysm. It's loading in now. I flipped out. I just finished school. Cool. Hope you have a good day. Thank you for being here. I'm just about to head out. But oh, my comfy grabber ain't loading. There we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> His name is Titus. And I just typed the first thought I had. I love the stream. Thank you. Titus is adorable. Look at the little blem. The little blem tongue. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds and have a lovely evening, Cataclysm. And Cloudines is comfy in the seahorse power. Foot chat, I blub you. <laughs> Not sure how I feel about that, but thank you for donating the food funds. <laughs> Wait, did you become a cloud sea? Oh, that's kind of sick, actually. That's well drawn as well. It looks so legit. Thank you for donating the food funds and I hope you have a lovely evening. Um, What about Streamlabs? No time for today. It's been seven hours. <laughs> If I can catch up on them, I will. I've definitely got to read them. But yeah, we've been constantly on the back foot when it comes to Streamlabs and Super Chats recently. Um, but tomorrow's all Zatsu done. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you all have a lovely evening. I've really got to go. Do not be led astray by confidence. And as always, I will catch you guys next time. As usual on the way out, I'd like to say a special thank you to everybody who joined the membership today. And everybody who gifted membership. And just in general for being here for this three-part series. It was definitely a longer game than I thought it was going to be. But it was definitely a fun time. Thank you guys so much. Riri! Oh, wait. No, sorry. <laughs> so thank you to everybody who joined the membership, including... Ray Ray. Burb of the Sea Haunts. Oh my god. Ernie Lynn Guerrero, Maureen, Marchi, Peppy Four, Zemai is Lost, Seahorse Coo, thank you so much for the gifted, Maple, Seahorse Summer. <laughs> I pretty guess that's a non summer but honestly, there are so many Summers, some of these seahorses' names, I can't even tell who's who at some point. <laughs> Jen Yaya. Oh, that's the avatar. That's terrifying. You guys told me Jen Yaya's avatar was beautiful. <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> JC Horse, thank you so much for the gifted. And Sunako, welcome to the membership. Fun Fantasia. Mim Mim. Margarita. Sabrina Saberhagen, thank you again for the 50 gifted membership. Mesan. Pisha Pish. Isoku, Van, Ref not. <laughs> Aos V, Heroic Kokodis, King Nero X, Anisasa, <laughs> Nixie, Ray Ray Burb the Sea Hans, thank you so much for the gifted membership as well. Yumi, Balls Shirt the Wizard, Moonflower, Lynn Lilith, Lamb. Yanis, Yinling, Ocean Sheep, thank you so much for the gifted membership. Candy, Amane Hibiki, welcome back to the membership. Hey, the bashful comfy horse, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. 
Oh, wow. You guys started right at the beginning. <laughs> I didn't even realize. <laughs> Veli the Seahorse, number 69. Thank you so much for the gifted. And Def Kuzusara, thank you so much for the gifted. God damn it. <laughs> thank you all so much for being here. Let's see if we can raid anybody on the way out. And yes, tomorrow we shall be doing our catch-up stream on this birthday Zatsus. We cannot raid anybody. That's okay. Thank you all for being here. I'm going to head out for now. Yeah, so much to do. Starting in 10 minutes. God damn it. <laughs> Everybody have a lovely evening. As always, do not be led astray, my confidants. And as always, I will catch you guys next time. of life. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.